and a lot about grapes today. So yeah, why not stick <laughs> on the do, fruity you know, theme? You can see sort of the sort of pinks and berries. raspberries, berries, mm. yeah, berries, yeah. Really, really lovely. Really gorgeous. Love those. Very, very gold would go lovely with those. Oh yeah. And like there again, for anybody new to jewellery making that wants to buy the stand, just pop a simple uh, gold space of bead in between. Mm. Stunning. Just yeah, gorgeous. You've got so much value in this strand due to the amount you have now i've not got many of these ones left it's fastest finger first if you want big bold inherent value if you want statement pieces if you want pieces that are really going to catch the eye time and time again now's your opportunity second chance on this deal of the day it's going to be your last chance price point today last chance to purchase it should have been £124.95. pence. That means your price drop on this to take it to £59.95. pence. <laughs> Sorry, Toby's going, um, um, £65 off. Better than a half price deal. That's a better than half price deal. The value of this should have been, bear in mind it's at jewellery maker prices, £124.95. pence. But we took it down by £65. That is exceptional. It really is something special. Better than half price. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am nudging into my single figures on this now, unsurprisingly. When you're getting a better than half price deal, when you're getting £65 on anything, then, then you know you're getting yourself a real deal. Better than half price on emerald and, sorry, on ruby and sapphire, though. You're in a whole different kettle of fish. You really are. Well done to everyone who's checking that out. As soon as this sells out, don't forget, well, it's gone. It's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. This has taken us a very long time for us to get our hands on deal of the day today stunning with over 65 pounds off your final price on this is just 59.95 well done to absolutely everybody do you know something that will go great with this 95 i told you about this earlier on 95 charm Woo! come back here petal <laughs> petal <laughs> it's a flower it's a flower Brother P, I need a word with you, pal. What you've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is this stunning charm. Last few of them. Okay, that strand's about to go. I'm sorry, that strand's about to go. Okay, well done, well done, everyone, on that. Last chance of the deal of the day. Over oh, £65, £65 pounds off. It's phenomenal. I'm bringing to you right here, right now, this sterling silver flower charm. This is going to absolutely fly out the building. Look at how substantial this is. Look at the size of that in comparison. If that was a ring, that'd be a mammoth ring, wouldn't it? I would love to be able to have this. Would just a piece of chain here and a piece of chain here and that to be my my center pendant on the likes of a wedding day that would be beautiful but for your everyday wear it is 925 it even states it on the back can you see that there 95 it's got movement to it if i just place this down on the table for you you should be able to see how the petals aren't just flat they have this beautiful arc to them makes it more lifelike makes it more realistic web bidders i don't i i want everyone to have a go at this you ready telephone bidders your chance now you're ready for it price point today 395 this is genuine solid sterling silver it's gonna fly it's gonna sell out any moment now i have got fast furious really ridiculous deals coming up for you in this time so you've got to come in and get your hands on it but as quickly as you possibly can moonstone's coming up for you in about 22 minutes but before that this is about to sell out well done to everyone i did try and warn you i forewarned you earlier on it's going to be an absolute deal and a half three pounds and 95 pence for you today okay come on in get your hands on this whilst you can about to sell out in fact almost has well done to everyone final few fastest finger first very quickly, going to bring to you the opportunity to get your hands on the last 26 of this strand. It's genuine pearls. It's great to be able to bring you pearls in bundles. Maybe you just want that one strand of perfect white pearls that you're going to be able to work with all of your different colours. I've got your opportunity here, but like I say, less than 25 chances on it. Take a little look at these. Absolute stunners. And again, go great with that charm. Go sensationally well with that charm. So bright and beautiful. Really illuminates those. It's genuine real deal pearls that we have here for you. And because you've got the real deal pearls, you have the opportunity to get that really nice texture to these. You've got all of that necro building up over time and over time and over time, created in these mollusks. And because you get this layer and layer and layer of very viscous, almost silk like um substance within this you get this beautiful appeal which you can tell is real from a mile off because you've got that stunning texture okay ladies and gentlemen i'm up to about 20 of these left now if you want to treat yourself to something with so much texture because it is natural and boy you can tell this is natural but also when you look look at the amount of pearl essence you get on this just take a little look and that's under this light source that's through all of the different levels of those um glass that you have there through that camera through your tv screen because you've got all of that because you've got that look that can block out time 
time and time again the pearlescence on this but the quality of this is so epic that you can still see those pinks can't you those lilacs those lavenders okay everybody i'm in my teens now your price point today comment on your screen these are genuine real deal pearls these aren't fake these aren't faux these aren't made in a lab these aren't glass they're real deal pearls created by a mollusk over many 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 months and years seven pounds and 95 pence this is a necklace stunt strand for me as well if you're tuning in for the first time and you're going oh, how on earth is that real deal? We have great connections with our farmers of these gemstones and of these organics, and that means we've been able to get a sensational price point. But just to let you know, because a lot of people don't know this when they first tune in, <coughs> is that our strands that we do, we don't count out the pearls for you. This is touching at the back. That, for me, perfect for a necklace length strand. What about for you? Would it look good on you, do you think? Would you look beautiful in a classical strand of pearls? Maybe individually knotted. Don't forget, I had those silk threads on earlier. Do we still have some of them available, Toby? We had some of those silk threads available for you earlier. We do still have some on. And we talked about conditioning them um, yesterday, and we briefly touched upon it again today. Imagine these pearl knotted with that beautiful white silk in between, giving you a really traditional look. Last chances on those ones. Seriously low in stock now. Now to work to everybody. £7.95. pence. are a really luminous strand there. Well done to you all. Going to go great, I've got to say, with, whoop, going to go great with my moonstone as well. Coming up in about 20 minutes or so. Just have a little look at those. Wow, they work well together. They really do, don't you think? Last chance on those ones. Well done to everybody. Last chance on those 7.95 single figures on those ones now. Nice work to you. Okay, I'm bringing to you the opportunity to get your hands on yarn now. You would have seen earlier on the ribbon yarn. You would have seen earlier that we were with the lovely Sheila and she did those cushions and she did the little rosettes in the centre. You can do them in kind of any colour you want now because look at the range and variety I have here in these colours. I was saying previously, great for just a nice little simple hair tie, which is very in at the moment, but of course, perfect for your home wear. It's so soft, genuinely. It, it feels like that soft bit of your dog's nose. Do you know the bit of me? The bit just above your dog's nose that feels just like, no other, that you're just stroking out. <coughs> oh, that's made everything else okay. It's that kind of feeling. You're getting three of these, and they are a really long length. You've got three metres worth of each of them. Only 20 chances now, because so many people, as soon as those graphic came in, were like, right, we're fast, we're furious, we're doing great prices, go, 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 go. Your price point on all three of these today is rolling down. This is not the price point you would normally expect, but we are rolling it down nonetheless. £18 is great for this amount, for the quality, for the softness, for the detail, the print. £11.95 is actually your price point on this today. And it is so beautifully soft. It really is just wondrous, the touch of this, the feel of this. You can see you have those different floral designs and you have those different elements that are picked up within the colours. And because you get the, the more delicate, dainty designs, almost like a Kafkitsuness design, here and then you have those more traditional larger floral sections in there okay everybody i'm in my teens on it again now you've got to be as quick as a dart to get your hands on these ones you really really do last chance opportunity on these once it's gone it's gone you don't want to look back and go oh darn i missed out on those fact of the matter is we brought these to you quite a few of these in kits and in goodies and over the last weeks or two but last collection of this selection for you last 10 of those now 10, 11 pounds and 95 pence well done don't forget that price point will go back up not that they're going to be stuck around for that long me doesn't think cabochon 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 Oh, I'm bringing to you the cameo detail look here. And again, I'm on my last chance saloon on this one. Well, almost, almost last chance saloon on it. If you've not seen this before, get ready to fall in love. Because not only do you have that stunning tiger's eye, which is cracking quality, you could see that is a naturally occurring phenomenon, ladies and gentlemen. I know people are absolutely blown away with it. They think it's almost like a foil. It's not. It's all of these elements, all of these layers and layers and layers of this individual crystal structure, which then has this light scattering between all of the layers. But you don't only get that look. You get the cameo as well in this stunning mother of pearl detail. A really beautiful um, feature face we have there with stunning kind of rosettes, ringlets of hair. It's a beautiful piece, really easy to work with. You can just glue this onto a base if you wanted to. You could just um, glue this onto fabric and wear it as a really simple pendant or, of course, onto those backing brass bases we do. Loads of you are checking out now, probably because we've all seen the price. You ready for it? Today. 
That's been rolled down for you at £4.95. And let me just show you the size of this, just to give you an idea of the size of this. If you just wanted to kind of um, glue this onto a, onto a metal base, then you absolutely could. Isn't that just beautiful? Don't you think? How that light follows you. It's mystical that that's real, isn't it? That it's not a foe. Okay, loads of people multi-buying now that we've dropped that price point down, unsurprisingly so. You could prong set this as well if you're great into your wire work. But if you are just new, get one of our metal bases. Bit of go. Leave it for a bit, obviously. You've got yourself a really beautiful um, neckline piece there. Or, of course, great size as well. If you wanted a really big, bold statement, quite traditional-looking bracelet. Four ninety-five on these. Quantity-wise, I am low. Almost in my last chance saloon. Oh, sorry, I am last chance saloon now on these ones. Not surprising at £4.95. Could you just buy a really great quality piece of um, cabochon of um, um, natural tiger's eye at four ninety five of this type of size with the addition, of, of, without even taking on the addition of that beautiful shell that's all individually kind of carved. It's just beautiful. It really is. £4.95 for you today on that one. Nice work, everyone. Many multi-buyers. And I'm not surprised. Because you could do yourself and your best friend a piece like this, couldn't you? Oh my gosh, imagine wedding, bride, wedding, bride wears one, mother of the bride wears one. Also, if you're a corker at wire work, this is way beyond what I could ever do. But a locket you could do with this, that's the front of a locket, open it, a little photo inside. Just an idea. £4.95 for you. Final, single figures actually there, we've nearly, nearly. Now, how do you feel about summer holidays? Are we going on one? Not us. We could if you wanted to, but I mean, you know, how do you feel when you think of summer holidays? Do you think oh, I've not got one booked yet, or do you think oh, my friends are going, I'm jealous, or do you think I can't wait? Whatever you feel at the moment about your summer holiday, I'm about to put it all into the front of your mind because the colour of this is holiday, celebrate, coral coloured shell. We've got here. If you've got any coral in your collection. You know, we've been doing those, um, I call them um, um, the hourglass shape, but we've referred to them as bone recently. The bone coral, the bone shaped coral. Or maybe those coral drops I did for you not so long ago. These are about to fly out the door, by the way, it's just as a forewarning. What I've got here for you, ladies and gentlemen, is a stunning strand of your coral coloured shell. What does that mean? Well, it means you've got that natural colouring of the coral and you've got it in the shell form. So you get big, bold, appreciative pieces that we wouldn't be able to get in your coral because, of course, coral, you can't tend to get in those mammoth pieces pieces for, for many reasons um, but you get the look of it but you get that shell as a base so that means you've got sturdiness you've got workability you've got wearability there as well because let's face it that's one of the most important things about pieces I'm not going to be buying pieces um, that, that I can't imagine wearing that I can maybe only imagine wearing once and then it is going to be no use to me we wouldn't do that you, you don't do that we're bringing to you genuine real deal gemstones here that will last but because it's a shell it's much sturdier than the likes of a pearl Pills don't like certain acids, don't like um, certain chemicals, for example, your hairspray. They don't like it, they don't enjoy it. Shell doesn't matter whatsoever. Shell is like as hard as nails in comparison to a, to a pearl. It, it doesn't matter if you put hairspray on this, if maybe you're um, going to go on holiday and you're going to be likely to wear these whilst you're you know, um, having a little walk along the shore and your feet kind of dipping into the sea or whatever. You know, you don't have to worry about um, these at all because they're going to be absolutely fine because they're strong, they're stu sturdy, they're durable. Get your hands in them whilst you can, because ladies and gentlemen, the price points of these are going to knock your socks off. Perfect, 12 mil rounds at £4.95 for an entire strand of them. Sheila, what a gorgeous holiday strand. Perfect for it, isn't it? Gorgeous, absolutely. With that, put that with the turquoise and the green. Yeah, the greens and the, and the, like the emeralds. Yeah, I the did emeralds. that Zambian emerald I yeah. did before. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And they're both durable, so they could stand up against each other. Mm. Genuine Zambian emerald I had there for you, ladies and gentlemen. That was um, on your screen previously. Do click back on that, because we re uh, really did reduce the price dramatically. £15 we took off it. Amazing. £4.95 on your screen right now. And just to show you as well, I don't want people to be afraid of this. This is touching at the back. I don't want people to be afraid of the colour. I don't think that colour washes me out or drains me out at all. It, it actually adds it, warmth it, to me. It does on your dress as well. You know, yeah. it, you don't really look at your dress. You look at the, the necklace, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It brings out a real warmth. It makes me look more tanned, and therefore it's good by my books. <laughs> Four pounds and ninety-five pence. You can buy a bottle of fake tan for that, could you? Um, a great deal there for you. Do check those out whilst you have the opportunity. Low in stock now, so do make sure you're getting them whilst you have the opportunity to do so. 
it's going to go great with that turquoise as well. You're absolutely right. Also, probably going to go great. Yeah, it does. Goes great with a moonstone. Why? Because this moonstone of this quality, I mean, you can see the quality from there, can't you? Moonstone of this quality, really, it's going to go with anything. How do you feel about a bit of inspiration? Avec our budding beaders, because I've got the opportunity for you to now. First things first, should I show you? Let me show you the jewellery first. Let's just mix this up. This is our budding beader jewellery. Budding beaders are these lovely ladies who um, work alongside us to show off some of our bundles to, to kind of how far they can go, how beautiful they will look, and give you some free inspiration. So we love them a lot. Have a little look at what our wonderful budding be beader, smiley faced Anne, who I saw today. Hello, Anne. You're, I don't know if you're still in the building. If you're still in the building, go home. It's a Saturday. Yeah, go home. They go at three, I think. She's gone, is she? Good. Yeah. Oh, glad. Um, so. Lovely Anne. Um, this, this is what you've created with these, using loads of different colours, using loads of different textures. Really beautiful look, really beautiful look. I love that you've gone for this bubble-like effect with all of these different colours and different feels. And I also like that you've gone big, bold statement, or quite classical with this, don't you think? That's quite a classical, elegant look. I really like those pieces, I truly do. Um, I'll, bring, I'll show you exactly what colours and what pieces we've got in here. Thanks for working with those, Anne. Oh, you're at home. Brew in hand, is it? Or is it wine o'clock, Anne? It's five o'clock somewhere, Anne, isn't it? Um, I've got for you here your dyed quartz, and you've got a mammoth selection. Four strands worth of these in total in the white, in the blue, in the purple, and in the pink. You've got in size order, let me size order these. White is the smallest at an 8 mil. Blue is up next because that's a 9 mil. And then you've got two 10 mil strands there, giving you a big, bold burst of colour. Of quartz, who names this collection? Of quartz, we're going to give you a great price on this. Your price point today for all four strands. Rolling down. Pete, stay where you are. I've got a bone to pick with you, pudding. <laughs> Get ready to walk around, dear, my love. Get ready to walk around. Your price for it today, £9.95 for you today on this such a stunning, stunning price point to get your hands on such a mammoth collection. It really... <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, brother. It's such a stunning collection, it really is. Um, whilst you're all coming in, um, I'd like to introduce you, if you don't know who this is, it is my uh, wonderful <laughs> brother Pete. Hello, brother hey, Pete, how are you? Right. I'm pretty good. Um, someone oh, oh, filled me in. Where are you going? <laughs> I, I have a feeling like... You have a feeling you know what this is about? Yeah. Are you embarrassed? Well, well I, I didn't really... You didn't really... He's completely walked out <laughs> now. Brother <laughs> Pete! Brother Pete saved somebody's life Aww. the other day. Genuinely, he did. Oh, bless He him. genuinely did. He saw someone... Were you in a shopping centre or something, Brother Pete? He's gone all embarrassed. He was just on the street in Birmingham and he saw a gentleman who didn't look in the best way. So he called the ambulance, he sat there with him. You had to support oh. his head and everything, didn't you, Brother Pete? Brother Pete, bringing dreams to life all the time. Yeah, well done, Brother Pete. Well done you, Brother Pete. You are like a superhero. The jewellery make a superhero, isn't he, Brother Pete? He's gone, he, he had to run off then because he's all blushing. He's all embarrassed. Aww. Oh, he's an absolute babe, isn't he? Absolute love. We love you, Brother Pete. Don't we? Don't we? <laughs> um, well done, everyone who's getting your hands on this. £9.95. pence. Credit where credit's due. This is a bun beautiful bundle. Beautiful bundle. <clears throat> Think of all the other stories I could have told about you, Brother Pete. Think of all the others. I only saved the good stuff. Nine ninety-five for you today. He's a mischievous pickle. And um, loads of you treat yourself to these ones. And thank you again, Anne, for that. I love how you've again, as, as Anne often does, showed us the different varieties and how the colours work with them from the silver and the gold. Well done to everyone. Oh, stretchy. I'm really into stretchy bracelets at the moment. Massively well, so. You, you can layer them, can't you? Which mm. is great. Yeah. yeah. I love those as a pairing. I'm going to keep that on. <laughs> okay, where are we going to? How do you feel about Fire Opal, Shayla? 
I've said it many a time. I've been down to the mine where they do the fire opal, and that is that is gorgeous. That is that is so vibrant, isn't it? Yeah. It's it, and it's it's vibrant within almost two colours, really, because you can have more to fire opal, can't you? Definitely. You know, you can have, that yeah. is stunning. It's strong. It is it's strong. Powerful. It is. Yeah. You're absolutely and right. And that's just Brother Pete. <laughs> oh, he's back. Look at him. Um, I've got for you here your shaded fire opal. And I it is a big, that. strong intensity of it you. Is. It's a big brightness. Don't forget, when this is mined, it's in this really unique and individual way. It's called open cast mines. And what you get is you get these really narrow, winding paths pathways which are very very close to to volcanic activity that's one of the kind of ways in which this is reminiscent of its location its area area because it's around these volcanoes and you essentially walk down these long winding paths which are around about 40 meters worth in height at either side here bear in mind a door's about two meters about 40 meters worth in height and that's how they're mined they're mined down these long long corridors and and in these areas where you get dormant or, or even um, um kind of living still active volcanic um, eruptions and volcanic regions the skyline very much made up of these huge volcanic regions and because of that one of the reasons it's very reminiscent in the colors here i've just been told i've got less than 40 of these Come They're on in and get them whilst you can. Really Again, it's another one of my infinity necklaces. Look, no clasp needed. Pop it on. Ready to rock. Oh, I don't want to hit my mic. Hit, pop it on. Ready to rock and roll. I'd get Something two warm. and put some chain, as I said, in between. I think it would look absolutely amazing. It'd be stunning, it's wouldn't gorgeous. it? Gorgeous, yeah. Stunning. Really Fourteen ninety-five. Yeah, two of them. Even just, even just, really simple, really simple. You know, we were talking about stacker bracelets. Really simple. There you are. I've stacked them up. Done, dusted. How long did it take me to do that? Exactly. Not very long at all. Get those ones whilst you have the opportunity to do so. Nice work. I'm into my 30s now. Into my 30s. Do check those ones out whilst you have the opportunity to do so. Because I love opal. It's unique. It's individual. It's hot. It's fiery. It's warm. It's like a big fat hug of something delicious. Do you know what I mean? The sunstone earlier on as well, mm. that would, wouldn't it? Oh, I with the sunstone. Oh, yeah, yeah it would go cracking with that sunstone I had for you. Or even with the moonstone. Oh, yeah. Coming up in less than 17 and a half minutes. Probably, probably about five, to be honest. <laughs> Look at that together. What a pop of joy that is. Okay, everybody, checking out those baskets whilst you have the opportunity. Oh, oh, my goodness, Sarah! I used to live in Ceredigion, Ceredigion, I did, that's in Wales, in Wales, North Wales, I live quite near to you still, I used to live there, Sarah, for a very long time of my life, we used to have a dog kennel, you might have known it, anyway, um, Ceredigion's in with us today, Essex is in with us today, Staffordshire, you're in, hello to Surrey as well, Hampshire's in with us, Angus is in with us, and Cheshire, of course, too, okay, last chance on these ones, seriously, I'm in my... 20s on this now. So we're 14.95. Well done, everyone. A real nice pop, pop, pop de ping of colour. It's for you. Okay, road light tubes, anybody? Last 50 chances on this. This is going to sell out as quick as the Teletubbies did back at Christmas a few years ago. Have a little look at these, ladies and gentlemen, because they are absolutely stunning. If you love natural gems, if you love statement gems, then this is the one for you. If you're the likes of a Gemma Crow follower, then you will know this is one of her ultimate gemstones. Because you've got that unique and individual look and texture in every single one, this is a worker's dream. It really is. Okay, a bit, whoa, people who are kind of already loving the price on this, really treating themselves to it in abundance. First things to note, the gemstone we hardly ever get to see, rhodonite, although it's been used in some of the most famous pieces of work in the world. If you just um, um, search engine, rhodonite Kremlin, you'll be able to see a statue of, of the Kremlin, obviously, made out of this gemstone, the vast majority of it, and, and, and the likes of the face of it and the steeples on this created using real gold, pure real gold, you know, 20, 22 carats, I think it is, and using um, sapphires and emeralds alongside this gem. That's the kind of status this has this is the kind of sister to this gemstone that we see price point today 
five pounds and 95 pence guess what i'm in my last chance saloon already already on this so many of you checked out do you know what it's because someone's come in and done a massive massive bulk order on this one maybe treating themselves this because they've got an idea in mind for the tubes which you rarely get to see i'm in single figures i'm in single figures if everybody checked out right now i would only have a very few left i would have about three left that's it i'm in single figures right here right now i've got to move on got to move on last few of those 5.95 amazing treats like that when you see goodies like that and i forewarn you you really do have to get your hands on them quick okay faceted rounds i'm bringing to you now these are so delicate in their appeal but the strength and pack punch of uh, its color is something else it really is something spectacular i want this to go with my moonstone i'm bringing you that moonstone with a big big naughty smile on my face because the quality we've got there like i said to be able to bring you that under 30 pounds I, i'm astonished at but i'm going to and um, i've got for you here the amethyst which will go just beautifully with it what a big impact of that zambian s coloring you're getting there it really is impactful isn't it what a beautiful look you're getting with this a real rich luxurious appeal sheila this would go gorgeous with your cardi it really would it would wouldn't it yeah. what do you like about amethyst like this you know what that would look like? The, the pink amethyst that you had earlier on as well. You're that not wrong. That with my cardigan. Yes. That I have to have. Just gorgeous, isn't it? It is exceptional, really, isn't it? Really, really, yeah. It gives and you... faceted again. Yeah, faceted again. It yeah. gives you a real richness mm. when it's this time, doesn't it? It's opulence, it? isn't it? It's opulence. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's opulence. It's rich. It's regal. It's got that... You know when you see these pictures of ancient rulers and they have the um, the furs and they have the mm. velvet, it's that kind of purple yeah. rich velvet that they have, isn't it? It's an exp an expensive colour to get usually as well. Amethyst very much ranges in, in price dependent on location, dependent on clarity, colour, but also in, 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 in the sense of tone. And the tone of this is really rich and deep. You're, you're really up there on the tone of this. You've got to be, you know, around the 70%, maybe slightly more in tone on this one. Because you've got that, because you've got that intensity, then you've got big price points usually connotated with this. It's the most popular, generally, described by the GIA of all courses, the most popular, and also generally the most expensive of all colours as well. Get your hands on this whilst you can because it's a little little treat and a half your price point today six pounds and 95 pence well i didn't expect that the thing is i want you to go and refresh your memory when you've got chance you know this evening or this afternoon or whatever when you're just putting your feet up for, for your first glass of whatever you're treating yourselves to today when you're doing that i want you to have a little look around at the types of prices you would expect for deep rich colored amethyst like this where amethyst graded purely on saturation like certain you know tanzanites for example mainly looking at that tone and that saturation this would be way up there in grading you would be really looking at the high grade stuff here because it's got a serious deepness and richness about it and 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 six pounds and 95 pence for this really is something not to be ignored at all get your hands on it whilst you have the opportunity to do so because it's very very special indeed ladies and gentlemen <laughs> sorry that reminded me of the brit on bridget jones do you remember that bit <coughs> ladies and <coughs> ladies and gentlemen <coughs> Oi! Oi! Because <laughs> everyone keeps speaking. And then he takes over and he goes, I'll just turn the microphone on. Just remind me of that. Anyway, Oi! It's a star buy. I'm really, genuinely, very excited to bring this to you. Why? Because I get to bring you Moonstone every day, pretty much. I think I can pass me, cast my me mind back to a day I've not been able to bring you a Moonstone. Moonstone is one of those gemstones that we see more often than we don't probably when it comes to day-by-day -day occurrences here at Jewelry Maker. Because of that, I've become a bit of a snob. There, I've said it. I've become a bit of a snob with me, Moonstone, because 
I love that we're able to bring you a big amount of it and a big variety of it, but because I've seen so many different pieces from totally and absolutely opaque, almost uh, uh, quite an unclean browning colour to beautiful, bold, pure, as you like, almost pearl white colours that have such an abundance of that light scattering underneath these elements of feldspar that, that it's just beguiling to the eyes. I've seen such all of that kind of difference and everything in between pretty much and because I'm used to seeing that I have been only looking for the epic quality now the high end the epic epic quality and because of that my collection of moonstone as vast as it is is becoming very much more of a connoisseur collection and I know that makes me sound like Look at me, guys. Look at me with my high-grade moonstone. But it is the truth, and I'd rather be truthful with you. I like to get something in certain gems that, that really does demand status and demand priority. And I've got to say, probably the last... Oh, I don't know how many, but the, the last five, six, seven strands of moonstone that I brought you have been the up, uh, ultimate high-end quality, where the purity of white, or, or whatever colour it is, is absolutely pure. No speckles, no dips, no dives, no greys, no browns running underneath them, which is inherent in a moonstone. But also, I've been getting ones that scatter that light so effortlessly, it's like a fairy tale. I have got that ultimate quality here for you at a lesser price than I have paid for my last five or six strands at staff cost. We're going to drop that price now. Now, I just need to say that the price point we're dropping this to is better than staff cost on the last, I, I wish I should have probably made note of it, but it's got to be five or six moonstones that I've bought of ultimate quality at staff cost. When you see the quality of this, you'll see exactly what I mean about the purity of body colour and shiller. That's captivating, isn't it? That is absolutely alluring. to be able to bring to you that beautiful body of colour, which you'll be able to see is translucent. Again, another big property we get with our moonstone, but not always. To be able to bring you that, also with that stunning shiller underneath the surface, is phenomenal. What I have here for you is the main elements I look for in a moonstone. Let me tell you about them. First things first, body of colour. When you get body of colour in a moonstone, now, where is that strand gone? I am in no means, by no means, dissing this strand, because the price of this strand was such a bargain, it was so low in price, and I would use this differently than I would use this. I would use this very sparingly. I would use one or two of these alongside some sterling silver like we had on before. I would use this very sparingly. This is a totally different kettle of fish. I'd, I'd go wild with this. I'd probably do a stretch here with this. But it's just to show you exactly what I mean. When I show you this moonstone alongside it, obviously I'm, I'm focusing more on the whites. Do you see what I mean about the white colour of these in comparison to this? It's got more of a brown back palette to it, hasn't it, on this one? Can you see what I mean with that? It, it, it's more of a milky kind of look to these ones. Whereas this is, for me, more of a high-end pure white. Also, if we look at the quality of these, if I give this one a little bit of a movement, you'll be able to see on the white ones in particular, you don't get um, that much layer of shiller. In fact, I'm trying to see if I can see any on the white ones because it is hard to get this amount of shiller on a white just because of the location and because of the kind of um, area we get them in. Now, because I've got that amount of, of beautiful pure back palette, in comparison to example this one, but also because I have that massive amount of shiller underneath the surface here, which is another thing I look for. Bearing in mind for me, this is made out of feldspar. And long story short, imagine all of these elements of feldspar kind of growing together. And then what happens is they get, they get broken apart and more elements enter within there. The likes of your sodium and calcium enters within there. 
um, which can of course make it really mugging a little bit like the ones we saw before and then it kind of closes up back together now I've explained that in a really random manner but remember that that's happening microscopic proportions okay because the elements inside this are around about a 0.5 microns on this that's about the same width as one individual beam of light that's how fine these layers are and it's layer on layer on layer like that with all of this calcium and sodium that's entered in so that can mean that it kind of gives you a muggy look a little bit like the other one but also it means that when it's done properly and laid properly you get this stunning sparkle and you most certainly have that so I look for Schiller boy this has got it but also what else has it got workability I'm a crafter I'm a creator I'm not going to buy something even if I do just like the look of it and it's a great price I'm not going to buy something unless a I've got something in mind or b I can go I've worked with that shape before and I can do something with that the fact for me is that this is a workable strand because it is round and look it's graduated we do not get graduated white moonstone often so basically what am I trying to say this is quality that deserves to be worked with it's quality the connoisseurs would expect and when that price point comes in, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about when I said the last five or six strands that I've brought of this high quality, of this kind of, this kind of status, I have paid more than that at staff cost, £11.95. Sheila, that, <laughs> you're looking across like, eh? You just did a bit of a... eleven ninety five for this quality. I, I, would, I would multiply on that because... From where I'm standing, and I know I say this, but you can actually see how wonderful it is because of the sparkle of the Schiller. It's just beautiful. It really, really is. It's like the strand we had earlier on, isn't it? And it's bigger. Mm, and it's mm, cheaper. Mm. It's stunning, isn't it? It's cheaper, yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. It's amazing how captivating that is. Do you think? I think it's absolutely stunning. Now, I need to let you know that that is not the should-be price on this. We have dropped that down. That price point is going to be going back up, okay, at 8 o'clock. So ring it in, check it out, get it home in a few days. But just don't miss out on this because the quality of this is epic. And how great is it going to go with the likes of your pearls, for example? I wouldn't put the muggier ones with the pearls. But I'd definitely, definitely be putting it with the likes oh, of this. Stunning. It would be really it? is. I... I, I I'm not. I'm expecting them to be sold out. However many we've got left, mm. because it is. It is first. It's to me. It's like top. Well, it's like triple A. You're right. When I look you at are it, right. it really does look. You're right. It is gorgeous. Yeah. You're right. Absolutely beautiful. It is that I, high I, end quality. I, I don't think the lights here are doing it justice, to be honest. No. From what no. I see, from where I am. Yeah. No, I can understand that. I can understand that absolutely. Yeah, I can understand. The lights in here do sometimes bleach it out a little bit. Sixty triple seven. So it takes through a JM Studio. If you've bought anything, for, if you and have, have any issues with your gemstones, you can get in touch with us and let us know. But you can also, of course, send it back if you call the call centre. They'll be able to help you out as well. Okay, last chance on this one. Nice work to all of you. Stunning, sensational strand at eleven ninety five. Where to? Did you say, my love? Labradorite would go great with it as well, actually. Yeah, whoa. This would go fantastically with your challenge as well, which I can see you're getting on with very well, Sheila, since it was given to you. What I am, actually, now? yeah. Yeah, I'm on my third piece now. These would go great with that triple age grey. Triple, oh, triple grade A. This one, more towards that cusp in colour of the rainbow variety, isn't it? You're getting greens and oranges throughout this. You're getting purples and lilacs as well. Difference in colour, what does that mean? Does it mean we've put a different dye on top or a different foil on top? It's due, due, <laughs> due to the way um, the where, sorry, the light hits within this, whether it hits kind of more towards the surface, more towards the core of the gem. Are those arrows? The arrows have rolled in and they've rolled down. Now, those arrows don't always come in. Don't get used to seeing those arrows, ladies and gentlemen. We're not an auction show. This isn't an auction show. Like, the more of you that come in, the more we drop the price. It's not one of those reverse auction shows. That's none of those. The price we bring you is the price we bring to you. You don't walk into a shop like at the likes of your Debenhams or your Zara or the likes of your... Um, Oh, I don't know. I can't think of any other shops. Top shop <laughs> or, or your Burton's. You don't walk in there and they have the price tag on the clothes and you go up to them and go, 
Any chance you could bring the arrows in on this and just take it down a bit in price for me? That does not happen. There is not a bartering system in those types of shops. And there's not usually here. I know you've seen those arrows a lot uh, of late, but that's just because we're giving you serious treats. Get your hands on these whilst you can because your price point today has rolled down to... £14.95. Wow, that is something else. That is something else, in particular for a beautiful, beautiful faceting on the surface of these. And they are the kind of quirky individual shapes. Why have we done these in quirky individual shapes? You might ask yourself, why have we? Probably because we've cut it for beauty and not and not just for to get the desired look we want. Sometimes if we're cutting a gemstone, you might have a really beautiful piece and you'll go, if I cut that into the round that I'm meant to be doing, then actually um, you're not going to get that much of the appeal because of the way a layers work. So sometimes what they'll do with those is they will cut them for the beauty so that they can be used in strands like this. And that's what we will have done on this one, definitely. 14 95 for you today. Nice work, everyone. Price point rolled down for you. Anyone for some ruby? Drops off, I think. There they are. Found them. I found them. Gems of distinction strands. Now, my lovely Sheila today. Yes, mine. <laughs> <laughs> my lovely <laughs> Sheila today is going to fall in love with these. You know why? Because they're a little bit like her. They're decadent, they're elegant, and they're just such mm. high quality. Oh. Aren't they, Sheila? Oh, faceted drops. <laughs> Ruby. Faceted oh, yes. drops. Look at the clarity on those. You see it? Ooh. What do you think of these, please, Sheila? I think you need to buy those now to go with what's coming up later. Mm. What I've seen. Definitely. It will. What? Mm, yeah. Definitely. They do are. treat yourself to these ones Gorgeous. whilst you have the opportunity. Get lovely, lovely little stuff. flowers, lovely petite flowers. <gasps> perfect for flowers. Yeah. Really, really perfect stunning. for flowers. Not massive quantity in stock on these ones, but as you can see, really a beautiful amount of strength of colour, beautiful and um, clarity elements to these as well. You've got to come in and get the last few whilst you can, because seriously. When I'm bringing you this amount of brightness internally, um, it's something very special. They're on the cusp of your ruby, so that means you've got a real, a very delicate back palette of pink, but most certainly the red, red variety of corundrum. We, we were talking earlier on about colours, weren't we? Do you remember me talking to you about that? Do you remember me um, say, uh, if you don't, don't worry, I've still got my tab open here. I was talking to you earlier on about most popular colours, and I was showing you this, wasn't I? Um, and I was showing you about how these 10 different countries that got asked about their favourite colours and how blue came out on top. If you look for a lot of these, red is actually the second colour, including, but not limited to, the likes of Indonesia, the likes of Singapore, and look, Britain as well. Second favourite colour in Britain is the red colour. Now, the great thing about that is, the great reason to know that is if you are selling on your jewellery, well then, you know, look for your niche, look for your market. Um, look for your market in particular out there so you know what people are looking for but it's great to know isn't it as well if you're making for gifts and you think I do not know what kind of colours they like or what kind of colours they love and the interesting thing for me with that statistic was one of the kind of least favourite colours was actually white many many times so maybe step away from going for the safe white colours why not go for the blues and reds your price point today ladies and gentlemen on this ruby it's rolling down Really? On oh, Ruby, with this amount of clarity. So nice with those silver drops I had earlier, do you remember? £29. Hey, what was that for? £39.95. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> The thing is, I, I, you lot might think, oh, you're proper northern, you are. Some people like probably can't understand me, in particular when I talk fast. But I promise you, this is my like attempt at a nice, posh, kind of understandable TV voice. Sometimes I do slip out of character, like I just did then. Hey, we're on about hey, oh, what? What? How much was that before? Uh, £29.95 is absolutely astonishing, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it really, really is. A great price point, I have to say. It really is a phenomenal deal. £10 back in your pocket. Like, you know, I'm happy if I find 5p on the floor, let alone £10. Be well chuffed. What are you mouthing to me there, Sam? Or what? Or a shrimp in my car. Shrimp, first off. Prawn. Prawn. prawn, it's a prawn. 
Yeah, sorry, ladies and gents. I found a prawn in my car yesterday. Just a prawn. Not like a living one. It had fallen out of a salad slash sandwich that I had, had the previous week. You haven't eaten much today. <laughs> Normally you're sort of having a little... Have you got, no, you haven't munched today. I have been munching. Have you? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mister. Halfway you know. through these. <laughs> Fiery Worcestershire sauce and sun-dried tomato. Oh, <laughs> carbohydrates there. Oh yeah, don't worry. No, it's probably because thought... we've been multitasking. I've been swapping and speaking yeah, at the same probably, time. Probably, yeah. Don't That's do that. True. It's gross. Don't eat with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> don't eat with your mouth full. <laughs> what? I know. I'm amazed people let me work with TV. I work on TV oh, as well. Dear. It's ridiculous. Do eat with your mouth full. Please. <laughs> Otherwise, how else are you meant to do it? Om, 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 om. Weird. Um, £29.95 pence for you today. Um, you've got a real treat there, you do. Nice work to everyone. Okay, last few of those ones. Oh, my goodness. Really? Price point me. Right. Hang on, I'm going to have to do a bit of research here. Well, not a bit of research, I hope you don't mind. I didn't realise we were playing this strand today. Red, super in the That's how I spell things, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from my last name, I spell that in big letters. R-E-D-I-C-A-M. Big letters. Everything else, little letters. Now, which one do I want to go on? Let's go on that one. I'm on going on the GIA website now. If I had time to log in and everything, which I don't, um, then I would do so but i don't have time right now i just want to show you connoisseurs yeah this is good just want to show you gia spinel Ooh. gia spinel gia gemological institute of america quite a few of our presenters here are trained in in the gia um some of our managers are as well um this is um, the GIA website. Very simple. You can go on it. You can log in if, you, if you're part of it as well, which gives you more information. But I'm just on the normal page here. I just want to say Spinel. Okay. When you when you, when I say Spinel, you probably think black straight away. But actually, the rarer variety. Well, let GIA explain it. And you'll have a little look here. First picture, red Spinel, both times. Um, spinel is highly sought after by gem connoisseurs. It talks about the high demand among collectors. Spinel comes in a variety of colours, but the most commercially important are red and pink. I've got a red strand coming up for you in a bit. More pictures of red ones, of course, which are beautiful. On to colour here. Some spinel colours are more rare and valuable than others. In general, red spinel is the most desirable. Um, okay, going on more and more and more about different colours, more different colours, demand on, on, on the rarer colours. Red spinel ranges from talking red spinel, red spinel, time and time and time again. I haven't typed in red spinel, I've just typed in spinel. Spinel, that's it. This comes up. Why? Because the GIA understands the importance of this gemstone. They understand, sorry, what box is it, Tanya? Um, they understand the importance of the quality, the importance of the colour, and the importance of rarity. This, ladies and gentlemen, as the GIA have said themselves, rarest colour of your spinel. You have no idea how difficult this was to get your hands on. Ladies and gentlemen, own a piece of the crown jewels, essentially, with this beautiful red spinel. Why is it one of the rarest colours in the world? Because it's one of the most difficult to get your hands on. Why is it the, the um, um, kind of a regal piece, kind of your own piece of the crown jewels? Because this is referred to, you will have heard the term, I'm sure, the Black Prince, um, the Black Prince Ruby. And, and that is in the crown jewels. It's the main piece in the crown jewels, kind of the, the, the main red gemstone. It's referred to as the Black, um, the Black Prince Ruby. It wasn't for years and years and years until they worked out that wasn't actually a ruby, it was a red spinel. That was one of the best kind of mistakes that there were when created the, the crown jewels. Why? Because red spinel is so much rarer than your ruby. So much rarer. It outweighs it in every single direction. It really, really does. Red spinel, we haven't been able to buy in about over a year now. About over a year. Got an email about it the other day actually saying they were trying again. They were trying again, but we haven't been able to buy it in about a year. This is something that we, last time we did a purchase on this, we got this through a fair few months ago now, but we haven't been able to buy any new for just over a year now. We're trying, boy, we're trying, but it's hard. Your price point today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, sorry, just a little word from my producer. Toby, 
you know, I've just been saying how rare this is. Now it's part of the crown jewels and how we've, we haven't bought any new of this for over a year. What do you mean it's going down, my love? <laughs> Toby just went, uh, well, yeah, the hours are in now, so it's a bit late. Salt. That doesn't seem very, that doesn't seem very real of a sorry. £19.95 pence on one of the rarest gemstones in the world. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, genuinely, this is an absolute corker of an opportunity. I can't get over this. I really can't. I would love you to do your infer to do your research on red spinel and see the types of um, red spinel that you're getting because not much of it will be from this location in Burma. Um, at all, but this is, this is Red Spinel from Burma, Burma, one of the main locations in the world to get it, but also it is so much rarer and more expensive than Ruby time and time again. You understand the kind of, um, the strength of, of the price point you'd normally expect with a Red Spinel. What do you think of this strand? I think it's absolutely stunning. I mean, Red Spinel, it's the first time, to be honest, I have seen that. Yeah. In a well, I don't remember seeing it on jewelry maker myself. No, ever. No, no. ever. No. It is so rare. It I is, probably yeah. brought it to you new strands, as in different strands. This might be my second or my third. Yeah, I was going to say I, I must have missed it because in all the six years I've not, I mean black spinel we we know I mean black's really Abundant. regal. Uh, yeah, mm. but I mean that is that is um, that is another. It's another level, isn't it's it? It's another level, yeah. It, it gives you such an individual red. And if I can just, sorry for moving that, but if I can just show you, it's really hard to see, but it's almost got this purple back palette to it. Can you sort of see it a little bit there? It's a really yes, stunning, rich colour. Yeah. It's not like a ruby red. It, 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 it's, 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 Oh, it's just absolutely captivating. It truly is, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, everybody. Quantity-wise... 40, 40 left now, that's it. If you want to get your hands on these, you better be as quick as a flute. Uh, for 19 pounds and 95 pence, it really is absolutely incredible. Do treat yourself to this whilst you can. It's going to go with so many different pieces, including the likes of that deal of the day, which I had for you earlier on. It's going to go wonderfully with some of the um, um, really pretty gems I've got for that. Um, okay, and we're heading on over to the wonderful Sheila now. Um, last few opportunities on that, it really is. I'm going to head on over to Sheila now to see <laughs> what she's been doing with her quarter to four <laughs> challenge. <laughs> we, um, I say we. Toby gave you this challenge a little bit later than he usual, did, yes, didn't he? Yes, he did, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. He I'll, say, he I'll be on next time. <laughs> Will you? Be warned, Toby. <laughs> um, how are these triple A grade Labradorite to work with? They are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if I'd have had more time, then obviously I'd have done more, made more pieces. But just as a simple, if I'd have had more time, had Toby. More time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, we're just putting some spaces in between them. You know, those those really big bold um, spaces. How lovely that necklace is. You know, it's just. And then I've just put some chain with with one with the the larger drop of the um, mm. labradorite, and uh, and then just put some chain dropping from there. Mm. And then I've used the um, I've used the little spaces, the tiny little ones that were in the strand, and some of the the little wire um, gizmo sections, the tiny little ones in the um, earrings. So yeah, I've used. You've used all a lot. The, uh, I've used all of the, the sort of bits and pieces that were in with the actual strand yeah. of them that were stranded, that the Labradorite was stranded on. So It was a triple A grade Labradorite and we rolled it down in price, ladies and gentlemen, to £59.95 to get those dramatic dynamic pieces, to get that carat weight in each individual one, meaning that inherent value at that epic quality. You've just been treated, you really have. They're stunning. They are really. And I, I, to me, it doesn't matter what anybody's wearing, the first place my eyes go is to the, <laughs> the neck. No, it is, honestly, because I love jewellery and I, I sort of notice every piece of jewellery that everybody wears. So yeah. To me, you can have the most stunning dress, but it's what you wear. Eyes go straight to the chest is what you're trying to say, straight isn't it, Sheila? 
That's what straight Hannah's to the chest. To, yeah. 59 yeah. 95 Hannah. on those ones. A great price. When are you on with us next, Sheila? Next Sunday. We will see you tomorrow. next Sunday, lovely see lady. Sunday. I'm on with you tomorrow, and I've got Flirt with me on the mid show, ladies and gentlemen. So do make sure you're watching then, because not only have we got the likes of uh, Enamel, we've also got Metal Sheet. Stay tuned, because Karen's up with you after oh, this break. Wow. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye. Sarah Elvin brings you her DVD, Friendship Bracelets. This fantastic DVD is filled with excellent techniques to create the perfect friendship bracelet. This includes the chevron style bracelet, the knitted style bracelet, and the crisscross bracelet. Friendships are forever, and so are bracelets. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Join resident designer Sheila for our Bridal Headwear for Beginners DVD. Sheila will guide you through an array of beautiful bridal designs including a pearl tiara, the star hair comb, a twisted spiral tiara and much more. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Tune into Jewelry Maker for the home show where we'll be demonstrating how to apply your favourite technique to accessorise your home. Is that a minute yet? Is that a minute? Minute silence. Was that a minute? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Look at this! Oh! Oh my gosh! Have you ever, sorry, <laughs> have you ever seen anything quite like this? Um, we had to come straight back to this. Not, not me or anything else. The bird cage. Oh. My days. I'm going to put the blackboard behind it again because you, you can't see it. Yeah, I made this. Uh, I, I just uh, quickly made this yesterday. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no, don't be doing no grabby things and showing my face like that, please. Just check this out. It's incredible. Who made this? It wasn't me. Of course it wasn't me. It was our lovely Karen Crawford. Oh my gosh, Karen. Have you even... If, well, there they go again. I've arrived. <laughs> Sorry. Excellent. Every time. I do it every time. I mean, Pete, you don't have to laugh when bad things happen, you know. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> 
He's like um, me, likes a good prop it, it was our Karen. It was our Karen. Karen, Nicole. have you even seen Civilization for the last month? Or have you just had, you know, have you been too busy making this bird uh, yeah, yeah, pretty oh. much. Uh, just. <laughs> it's the most exquisite thing I think we've ever seen. Uh, producer Danny, first thing he said uh, was um, design of the year. Oh, bless him. <laughs> yeah. This is like nothing else we've ever seen before. It's just incredible. It is our home show uh, this weekend here at Jewelry Maker. I would quite happily take this home today. I don't think Cameron will let me, though. Four days work, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Four days solid. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Now, if you think this is something you could do, then you're going to have to come in uh, in a little while and get yourself a kit. I, I would love to have a go at this. Can you imagine this is a centrepiece on the top table at a wedding? Oh, be incredible. Do you know, when I first saw it earlier on, I only saw it sticking out of the box. I thought it was a crown. It looks like, it looks like the Imperial State crown, doesn't it? It's going to pop up. <laughs> it's amazing, Karen. Um, Thank if you're you. just tuned in, by the way, um, I'm Hannah Stewart, taking you through until nine o'clock this evening, joined by the gorgeous Karen Crawford. How are you, Karen? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's lovely to have you back. Thank um, you. Karen's going to show us uh, a little bit uh, at the birdcage, a little demonstration. No, I don't think she can do it all, Bruce. Um, <laughs> it's going to go four days. <laughs> Yikes. Just have to um, move in. <laughs> But she'll show us a little bit. She'll talk us through some of the techniques and you can perhaps give this a go uh, yourself. So come in and get the kit in a little while. I've got so much sterling silver coming up for you tonight as well. Absolutely, tons of 925. Um, have a look at this. I'm going to start the show with this, which is quite new, really. You have seen this before, but it, it's fairly new. I remember um, a couple of weeks back, Gemma Crow, guest design Gemma Crow, had had this um, on the mid-show after I'd come on. And I was looking at the pieces and they were incredible. This chain is fantastic. There is so much much weight to this it's gonna look fabulous however you use it and what's great with this as well and I'm sure that Gemma did it as well when I looked at her pieces after the show um, she'd weaved I think with some kind of fabric or something in between the chain there because in between the links you see you can weave in between there you could pop some gemstones through there with your wire as well if you wanted to but I love that shape it's quite contemporary isn't it Great for embellishing your leather nappers with any of your fabrics, actually. Your clothing as well, this would look incredible. Five <coughs> metres you've got there, and that is so strong. So strong, this chain. Um, I looked at another design as well uh, with this chain, whereby Gemma, I think she'd glued several rows of it together, and that worked really, really well. Very, very effective. Five metres, that's a lot, isn't it? So just taking a simple length of this, attaching a clasp and having it just as it is, that's going to look so on trend. Check out your luster from this, it's fabulous. Gold-plated brass chain, five millimetres in size, your links there. £14.95, V-A-P-O-0-6 is your code for this one. Really easy to get involved this evening. All you have to do is dial the number on the bottom of your screen, 0800 644 655. Or you can get involved on the web as well www.jewelrymaker.com What would you do with this chain, Karen? Have you seen I it was, before? Uh, do you know, it's the first time I've seen it in the flesh, it's actually. Fab, and um, I think I'd make it sort of um, at the front, sort of multi-layered, yeah. I think. That would look a, nice. a, 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 And sort of find a way of wiring the, the layers together. I, th I think that's yeah. what I do. That, that was the first thing that came into my mind when I saw it. It would look fabulous. I love the way. Look how fluid it is as well. So you could, you know, just simply by gluing it's fabulous, it. Fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. You could get some fantastic effects with this. Really, really great. I mean, look how fabulous. And look how quickly that's going to build up as well. That's beautiful, isn't it? Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. That's fabulous. Well done if you managed to get that one. How about some tanzanite? Oh yes, please. Tanzanite <coughs> for you. Have a look at these really beautiful. Miss it, miss out. It's the final 12 chances to come in nice and early. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on the web. Start dialing now. Give yourself a, a little uh, pip to the pose there. Going under what, sorry? Under £20 for Tanzanite. In fact, under £15 for Tanzanite. If you haven't heard the news about this gemstone, where have you been? 
Um, this gemstone, it's one of your big five. It always used to be the big four, didn't it? Rubies, emeralds, sapphires and diamonds. Um, later on it, it was realised how precious tanzanite was, considered how, you know, how precious tanzanite was. It was added to your big four, which is now, of course, your big five. When you think of the big five, which are the most precious gemstones on the planet, out of all of them, which ones are we struggling to get? There's only one, isn't there? And you're looking at it right now. Now, it's a one locational gemstone. It's only found in one place in the entire world. That's the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro over in Tanzania. One mine. Now, when we started mining for this gemstone, we started mining right at the surface of the gemstone. We're now rumoured to be approximately a thousand metres below the surface. What's coming out is a very poor, uh, poor quality and uh, premium prices as well. It's not looking good at all. Now, there is rumoured to be another seam of tanzanite. Whether anybody decides to mine for that or not is another thing because it's probably not even going to be financially viable for anybody to do so. If we do get our hands on tanzanite again, we will never, ever be able to repeat these prices. That's why you need to come in now. Now, we've promised under 20. Our first promise was under 20, actually. Uh, and we've done that, £17.95. But I do believe that I did say out loud it was going under 15, did I? 35 carats of faceted tanzanite rondelles, 30 centimetre strands you have there, at just £12.95. And 95 pence. This is the one gemstone that you need to have in your stash right now. If you sent me an email or a message to the studio today to any of us, we will all tell you the same thing. The one gemstone you need to have in your stash right now, the one gemstone you need to get when you can, is Tanzanite 0800 644 655. If you want to come in and you want to multi buy, please feel free to do so. 1 pmp in any one 24 hour period. So from midnight last night right through until midnight tonight. Doesn't matter how many times you come in and shop with us, one postage and packaging, two pounds and ninety-five pence. Standard here in the UK, even premium is only four pounds and ninety-five pence. Well done. Right, clear quartz. Oh, look at these shapes. Ooh, Are these? Lovely. Do you know these would look good on the bird cage? I as was well. just thinking that myself. Yeah, really, Spot really on. good. Look at the shapes of these. They are gorgeous. Oh, Karen, I love them. I just love it. Do you know, these lend themselves beautifully to earrings, don't they? You've got perfect faceted rice beads there. They are lushness. But talking, going back to the birdcage, which we're probably going to talk about for the rest of time. <laughs> um, me saying that that would make a great centrepiece, wouldn't it, um, on a top table at a wedding. Yeah. Gemstones like this as well. I mean, you could embellish that birdcage, couldn't you, with exactly. pearls and quartz That's and whatever exactly. gemstones you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I think it lends itself well to sort of... Um, a clear quartz yeah. in particular, from from my point of view. Mm. Yeah. That looks so high end, I love that. <laughs> Great thing about clear gemstones is that they go with anything and everything in your stash. So if you just have a think about your own personal stash for a minute, think about all the different coloured gemstones you've got, think about all the different coloured wires you have, all the different coloured findings, all the different coloured threading materials. Is there anything you can think of that these wouldn't work with? I bet there isn't anything, is there? 160 carats of clear quartz you have here. 11 by 5 to 17 by 7 millimetres in size. 19.95. That price tag that you see on your screen right now, it's the only price we've ever, ever been to for this strand. I think the sun's gone to your head, Danny. It's sunny today. Do you know, I did actually. I sat in the garden for about five minutes and I was hot. It was actually hot today. I was like, Phew. it's hot 16 degrees. I think it's degrees, one of the warmest yeah. days we've had, actually, Definitely, isn't it? definitely, yeah. so far this year. Wonderful. Um, do you know what? Even if you sat in the garden, you can take us with you on your device. Yes, you can. And at £12.95, that's a pims o'clock price, isn't it? And the fruit punches are available. Uh, WDRU23 is your card. That's a brand new low for you today. Nobody else has ever paid that price before. Well done if you've managed to get that already. If you checked out a 1995, guess what? You're not paying that. Nobody pays any more than anybody else. You would all only ever pay that final low closing price tag. This pink opal would look gorgeous again, all with a birdcage. Oh, yes. This pink opal, you're not even going to believe where this is going for you a little bit later on. Incredible price. Um, 
pearls. Do you know what? I could put any strand with these clear quartz. Any strand at all. The tanzanite that we've just had, they would work perfectly. Gorgeous. WD, are you 23? And Marianne, well done to you. Anne, you've just got yours. Patricia, well done. Linda in Bedfordshire. Brenda in Nottingham. Mary and Jerry, well done. Fiona in Gloucestershire. Vanya, well done. Collector in Northumberland. Collector in Angus, you've got yours. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Approximately 38 gemstones on that strand there. Uh, Terry in New Mexico says, uh, when is the kit coming up? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. I'm just going to pop that back there. I was, too, I was busy looking at something else. That's the next kit that's coming up for you a little bit later on. Now, come on over and have a look at this kit. We've seen the birdcage already. This birdcage is going to be the talk for the next, I think, forever. Um, producer Danny kind of hit the nail on the head. Um, so the first time we saw it, he said, that is the design of the year. That it's just... And what I said to you, Karen, was that it's, 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 it's so nice to see something completely different that perhaps none of us have ever seen before. And you said it's the first time you've ever made anything other than jewellery. Yeah, it is. Yeah, with wire, yeah. <clears throat> just phenomenal, phenomenal designs. Now, another thing that we were talking about, Danny and I, earlier on, is that you might look at this and see Danny... I, I quite like this. Danny said, do you know what? I'm looking at that and I'm scared. I'm scared because I don't think I could do anything like that. And then I looked at it and said, do you know what? I actually think that most people could do this thing. It's a very time-consuming piece. Yeah. But I think once you've made those components, it's quite straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you, you just sort of, it's just sort of um, straightforward Oops. wrapping them onto... The, the the base of the um, birdcage basically yeah. it, once you've got your shape sorted out um, and what I, what I did was I started with sketching the um, the, the, the the shape of the birdcage right. itself and then sketching in the the shapes of the wire that I wanted um, to be in there okay um, so you plan it out first and then you make your shapes and sort of get them to size and yeah and then make um, several replicas of the shape so as you've got the, all your bits and bobs ready to to be fitted in this is just it's <laughs> just it's good it's one of those pieces that we, i and i said as well when we were outside in the car just like, i really want to light those candles <laughs> but we'd set the fire alarms off so we can't do that but i really want i, I really want to see that um you know on a table and, and a decorated yeah. table. it would just look you know as a I, uh, first thing i thought of was i saw the pearls this fabulous elaborate design and straight away i'm thinking wedding you know if i could have had something like that you know that would have just been yeah. it's such an incredible piece but the great thing about this as well karen is because you're getting so much wire in this kit i mean you know you could add gemstones in there you could weave gemstones exactly. around that wire couldn't you you could embellish that however you wanted to um you really really could so mm. as a bridal commission we, we were having a thing and danny said you know what I honestly think something like that should be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And you said it would most certainly be in three figures. Yeah, yeah. I said I couldn't sell anything like that. If I'd spent four days making something like this, there's no <laughs> way I would part with it. Um, however, if you were making something like this as a commission, I, I, I would, I mean, four days work, that's a lot of work. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, you've got to make your money back on the time oh, yeah. that you've put into it as well. So, yeah, you, you are talking a three figured price tag for that. Just exquisite mm. this design is Karen it's Thank really you. beautiful <laughs> um there is a lot of wire in this kit huge amount of wire and let's face it for this type of design you, you're going to need it there of course you don't have to recreate this design if you don't want to but I would love to have a go at something like this I really really would have a look at how much wire you have in, gosh, the weight of that is incredible. There's a lot of wire, 90 metres of wire you have in total. You've got 50 of your 0.8 millimetre gauge there, which is a huge amount. You've got um, your 1.25. Now, this is a gauge that we don't see very often at all, the 1.25. No, no, that's right. Um, you know, generally with the, 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 um, the plated copper wire, we kind of go up to one millimetre gauge, which is great for your structural pieces. But your 1.25, obviously, you've got that slightly more thicker gauge there as well. So mm. for something like the birdcage, where you're really going to need that structure, 
because you're holding a lot of weight there, supporting exactly. a lot of weight with the rest of the wire. That is fantastic. So you have 10 meters and that's silver plated as well, which I think is fabulous because you've got the look of 925 solid sterling silver wire there, but you don't have the price tag of solid 925 sterling silver. So you've got your 1.25 millimeter gauge there as well. Um, you have again your silver plated copper um, one millimeter gauge and you've got 10 meters that's a really really thick gauge is there but oh my gosh go 1.5 oh as well oh my gosh let's yeah. go one better yeah. one and a half millimeter gauge there as well so it's not just all about the 1.25 there but one and a half wow that's just about as structural well, as when i came up with the idea for the the, the boot cage two yeah. light holder it, it, it you know i sort of said to pip um uh, I'm going to need the heavier gauges yeah. for for doing such a structural piece. So you know, in, in fairness, that you know, they came up with the w w you know with with um, the right ones oh, for me. That which I mean, was perfect. They are mm. phenomenal. I mean, this is a massive, massive opportunity for you at home right now. You know, as wire workers, again, even if you're not going to recreate this design, but as wire workers to be able to get these gauges today, I don't think I've ever ever seen the 1.5 mil. I've seen the two millimetre aluminium wire, uh, two millimetre aluminium wire, that's one of the thickest gauges we have, but the one and a half millimetre gauge, if I've seen it, it's not very often at all because it's I can't true. even remember. Mm -hmm. So your one and a half millimetre gauge, your 1.25 millimetre gauge, your one millimetre gauge there as well, your 0.8 and your point four. This is just such a great wire opportunity, isn't oh, it? Oh, certainly, yeah, certainly. Wow, yeah. love that. You know, and with those thicker gauges, just torque necklaces, um, adjustable bangles, rings, you know, yeah. that structural, those structural designs that yep. you're making, this is a perfect, perfect bundle. You also have, wow, look at these pearls, genuine pearls, two strands of genuine pearls, and they are very, very sizable as well. They're beautiful. Both strands are completely natural. Even if we look at the smaller of the pearls there, I challenge you to go and have a look anywhere else. See if you can find a strand of natural, genuine white pearls anywhere else anywhere near the price tag that the entire kit is going to for you today. It's going to be incredible. You need to be involved. We only have 63 chances available. Wire workers, I would imagine, are going to be multi-buying because that wire opportunity is too good to miss. Having 90 metres of those thicker gauges. Do you know what? I've just remembered this. We've had quite a few customers lately message in saying, have you got any of the thicker gauges of wire? I'm waiting for the one point. I remember one specific message asking for 1.25 millimeter wire. It really is hard mm. to get hold of. And, and as, um, as Karen said, Pip, who puts our kits together, has has very kindly been able to get these. Yes, he's come up with the goods. He really has. So, wow. Um, exactly what I was, what I needed actually for this. That's perfect. Yeah. Just perfect. Two strands of genuine natural pearls. You also have a huge, huge carrot weight, a hundred carats of your white magnesite there. Your V-shaped flowers. 25 by 17 millimeters in size. They work perfectly in this design. They're oh, really, yeah. really beautiful. You, this opportunity, we're gonna have to, have to get the price tag down. Do you know what? There's so many of you already with these in baskets. There's not going to be enough to go around. Telephone bidders, start dialing now. If you came in and bought all of these components individually on the web today, this is a price tag that you would be paying £62.60 for those thicker gauges of wire and 90 metres. That's incredible. However, we are taking this down so low for you. Massive, massive congratulations if you've already checked out 44 pounds and 95 pence now karen do you have a f i know it would be hard to part with that but if you had to what kind of figure would you be popping on that um put with all the um the, besides all the wonderful materials yeah. i had if, if you sort of consider all the work that went into that you mm -hmm. probably from my point of view i'd probably be looking around the 
200 pound mark oh wow you know f for that and, and do you know what and i, I think know that's pip quite said a lot more yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. really conservative Karen. for four so days solid work danny <laughs> danny our sorry, producer danny, danny. <laughs> that's, that's confusing <laughs> i know um do you know what we're not staying there either 44 pounds and 95 pence we should be at 60 something pounds and we're dropping it even lower for you today. Ooh. Wow. That wasn't just a couple of pounds. That wasn't just your P&P. Another £10 off of that price tag. £34.95. And pence. You have just saved £27.95. Oh, that is unbelievable. Only 63 chances. Just ask yourself at home, when was the last time you saw these gauges of wire? I, I, I honestly mm. don't think I've ever, ever seen a 1.5 uh, millimetre gauge of that wire. Uh, Valerie in Staffordshire says, hello all at JM. What a clever lady you are, Karen. Oh, you must have you. lots of patience making the bird cage. <laughs> wow. Enjoy your day. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Oh, Valerie. Do you know what? We've had so many messages, so many messages already about the bird cage. It's exceptional, isn't it? Sue in London says, congratulations, Karen. I agree with those in the studio. Oh. Design of the year, for sure. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. It's just, it's just incredible. We were all frightened to pick it up earlier on. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. You do it. No, you do it. No, you do it. Uh, DIGC17 is your code for that one. Make sure you're checking out your basket. This kit is going to sell out very, very quickly. Um, okay, then. Karen, I'm going to let you start because I know there's a lot to this one. Right, I'll, t I'll talk you sort of um, quickly through the. Yeah. This is the sort of main frame for okay. the for the bird cage. Yeah. So um, I'm going to. Uh, well, this is this is what you start with. Okay. Is um, the you're going you're to be cutting eight eight pieces of the um, the heaviest gauge, which is your 1.5 yeah. um, silver plated wire. Um, so you need eight. Um, either two foot or 60 centimetres, whichever way you mm -hmm. want to look at it. Uh, you are going to be making a spiral at one end, an open yeah. spiral. So you want from there to that that first little notch there is is going to be about, Oops. and there goes my ruler. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Is it going to be about seven inches? Uh -oh. And then you just sort of curve that then with mm -hmm. your finger. Oh, this is, was done with my hands. Okay. Just sort of curve that around with your fingers. And leave that little bit at the top because that's going to be where you're, you're, you're going to be hanging your your, sto your okay. beads from. So you need eight of those. You can see the shape there, yeah. sort of making up the frame. And you're going to need to, to then make um, three of these circles. The nightmare for me was wondering how I was going to um, connect those circles so they wouldn't ah. undo. And yeah. um, anyway, I came up with um, I had some of the. Um, the, the code endings yeah. in um, in the findings packs that I've got, and I used one of those. Ah, good idea. To close the yeah. um, the two, and then I've left them there. Those can once you've got it wired on, mm -hmm. you can sort of trim those yeah. down and fold them around. Mm -hmm. But um, that was just to sort of keep the, the th and those what what need to be about fifteen centimeters in diameter. That's right, six inches yeah. in diameter. Okay, and mm -hmm. you want three of those. Yeah. So then, basically, what you do then to put them together, you're going to be binding all the wires at the top there. Yeah. For your dome, and then you're cutting um, just small pieces. I've used the uh, 0 0.8 because it's lovely and soft, mm -hmm. and so you sort of. Um, I started at the top and worked my way down. You, you sort of yeah. hold them together. It's a bit of a juggling act. I'm, okay. You know, it's not an easy thing yeah, to do. Yeah, I wouldn't But you basically it. sort of, I don't know if I, can sh if I can get that around to show you, but you're sort of wrapping it around. Oh, I missed it. But you sort of want to sort of get that around. I sort of do like a, a crisscross around both of your wires to get that. I don't know if you can see me doing that. And then take okay. it around the other way mm -hmm. so that you're crisscrossing them. It's going to slip now just to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell it's me doing the demo, can't you? Um, but basically, that's it. You sort of yeah. crisscross it on. And then it, it's, it is a bit of a juggling act when you're, first, you're getting your first sort of row yeah. on. But once that first row is okay. attached, the others then become a right. lot simpler. Where you've got your. Um, your closure there it is a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. and you, you just need to take your time yeah and and have a little bit of patience mm -hmm. getting it around the um the, the sort of vertical wires but it will it will happen it's, it's just just yeah. sort of taking your time okay. and 
don't don't allow it to, yeah. to sort of be boss. Show it who's boss. Yeah. So I once suppose as well, Karen, sorry, once you've made kind of one of these, you can yeah. use that as a, as a template for of the rest, course, can't yeah. you? And you don't have to make it this big either. Yeah. You, you can sort of scale it down to whatever size you, that you want. So say, for instance, you were... Um, you were making it for a wedding and you wanted yeah. one on each table. Well, you, you don't want to make a, a huge thing for each table. So you can scale them down to little tiny yeah. ones as, as little tea light holders, oh. single tea lights yeah. in, in, in each one uh, and have them as a centrepiece for the, for wow. the tables. You know, um, and if you're making them yourself, you're saving yourself a whole lot of money, you know, Gosh, doing yeah. it that way. So especially oh. with the, uh, uh, as cheap as this kit uh, is, you know, so I mean, if you're it? making smaller ones as well, you probably get... I know, maybe Gosh, two you could, three you, of that. You, you could get absolutely loads out yeah. of all the work. 90 metres of wire there. Have got uh, quite a few of you multi-buying. Just to say that the, the quantity is very, very low now. There are about 20 of these in baskets. The only way that you can get this is by completing your checkout. There's so many of you there now. Well done if you've managed to get a couple of these, those gauges. That's exactly um, what I would do as well. I do have some more wire, the thicker gauges again for you here, but a gold alternative for you. So again, a, 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 as a wedding, yeah. I'm thinking again, you know, it might be the gold, it might be the warmth of the gold that you want in your designs as well. You've got your 1.5 millimetre, this is brilliant, I love this. 1.5 millimetre gauge there as well, your 10 metres, that's your gold coloured round copper wire you've got there. And you've got 10 millimetres of your 1.25 millimetre gauge there. And you've got 10 metres of your 0 0.4 there as well. So again, an alternative if you if you want to add to that silver. I may mix them both up as well, that's a great look, mixing up your different coloured metals. Um, so again, a huge opportunity for you to get your wire there. You've got 30 metres to add to the kit. £20.85 is where we should be. That is not where we're staying this evening. 0800 644 655. How about we take this down to £4 per reel? Oh, wow. £11. Yeah. Do you know, with all the money that you've saved on the kit, how much money did we save on the kit? £27.95. You could get two of these with the money that you've saved. Take advantage of these thicker gauges of wire because we just don't have them, do we? Well, really? it's such a rare thing, isn't it? To yeah. Get I mean, I'm, one point, the 1.25, yeah. maybe you've got more of a chance of getting that, but the mm. 1.5 is it's just so happen. rare to get hold of. So It's a fanta fantastic opportunity. And do remember, even if you come in and got the kit and you come in and got this, still got one PMP. It's brilliant, isn't it? Well done. SJGC10 is your code for that wire. Right, Karen. Right, so what you want to do then is, is um, I, like I said, I sketched it out first so as I knew what sort yeah. of shapes I, I wanted to sort of fit inside the okay. frame. So these are the, these are a selection of the um, the bits and bobs that are going to be fitted inside. So for the dome, we've got these lovely scrolls. Mm -hmm. um, and what I've done is I've made um, these here. The, this is the... Um, this was the thicker gauge I okay. used for this, the 1.5 yeah. and then 1.25 for that one and mm -hmm. then the the one millimetre for the small yeah. scrolls. And I fitted those inside um, the larger one. Okay. And I, um, what I, I did, I did add some one, um, 0.6 wire to the okay. kit yeah. in order to do some of the wraps mm -hmm. because when you're dealing with heavy gauges, you need yeah. to sort of have a good, yeah. um, strong wrap around them. So... Um, all you do is where the, the two um, tops of the scrolls meet. Okay. You're you're putting um, you're just wrapping a little bit of wire around them to secure them. Like so. Okay. There we are. And you only need to go around about three or four times. Mm -hmm. And then you just trim the wire off. Yeah. Bring that one a bit tighter. You can afford to, to pull the tension mm -hmm. a bit on these as well okay. to make sure you've got nice tight wraps. You're yeah. not going to be too worried about um, pulling the, the, the tension too tight on this. This is why I say it's a nice basic wrap. You haven't yeah. got to worry too much about, about doing that. Mm -hmm. And then do the same on the other yeah. side. And that would look great again, Karen. Really, you know, if you just did, um, you know, wrapped with the gold over the yes. silver, that would look fab, yeah, wouldn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is this is where you can allow your imagination to, to run wild, and 
um, and you don't have to do the same shapes yeah. as I'm doing. You can sort of um, develop totally. your own pattern mm. with, with um, within the frame. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it it's something that like that's why I said to sort of sketch it out mm -hmm. first and and sort of um, ha have a sort of yeah. a play around and see what you can come up with. Um, and then connecting them together is, is sort of like really, really simple. Make sure you've got a nice tight um, wrap. Okay. And there you are. It's it's basically as simple as that to, to sort of yeah. fix those together. And if you notice, I've curved them around a little bit because okay. when you come down here, yeah. you've got you've got the curve of the of the bird cage there. So yeah. That, so, and what you would do then is fit them in. Okay. Sort of there. Mm -hmm. Make sure you've got one the other side as well, and then yeah. wrap, you're wrapping them together then with the with another piece of the. Mm -hmm. um, what size are the are these components? Right. Like okay. So kind of um, for the ones at the top, so yeah. these are going. These ones here, these um, sort of like almost a, a, a number six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look Curly like a number six. six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're going. They'll be fitted in the top part. Okay of the cage so yeah they're, they're going in there and they're, they're sort of forming like an upside down heart shape yeah. if you like and then the other two the um the c-shaped ones are sort of coming further down mm -hmm. and they're, they're being fitted in like yeah. so um and so these ones and the larger ones the so both of these mm -hmm. are um 18 centimeters right, of okay. wire yeah and then the smaller ones that fit inside the larger scrolls there um, those were 15, yeah, 15 right. centimetres yeah. though, so, or six inches mm -hmm. if you like. So those are the measurements for them. You also got to think of um, the bars as well. Now the, okay. the, the, the easiest way I could think of as making the bars was to make these little, um, these little pieces here yeah. with, with two little loops at the end okay. going in opposite directions. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you do come to wire these on, you can't just put on a little bit of wire and hope right. they stay in place because they'll slide around. Ah. So th this is why I've had to add um, a yeah. little bit more wire. So I'm just going to show you what I mean um, with with that and show you where you attach them mm -hmm. to. I'm sorry if, if this is... I'm, I'll try and get this as round to the camera as I can to show you, but it's... It's awkward when you've it's got a it. big piece as yeah. well, wow, to be fair. <laughs> so sort of um, attach the yeah. point four wire and I'll around where you've got your yeah. join there. So I'll, I'll turn mm. that around so you can see what so I've attached it. that's literally just to anchor that on. Yeah, there. yeah. And then you, you carry on wrapping the 0.4 wire around. Yeah. And don't worry if these slide about okay. because you can, you can sort of adjust that as you go along. Yeah. And you carry on wrapping it around until you come mm -hmm. to a point. If you get a snag like that, just sort of bend it back. Right. And bring it up like that. Don't go pulling on yeah. it because that's when your wire will snap. It weakens the wire. Right, so once you've, you've come along a few um, wraps, then you can start um, adding in your, your first little piece of wire mm -hmm. that's going to come down as one of the bars. Okay. And wh what I would say is um, put about three or four wraps around that yeah. to hold it in place. And as you're doing these top ones, you'll also be catching the bottoms of these scrolls yeah. as well. Um, and it's difficult to show that on here. Yeah. It, was, it was always going to be a difficult uh, one to demo, so I yeah. had to talk you through uh, the majority of it. So once you've got that wrapped on, okay... You then carry on until you've made enough space to put on to, uh, put on another one. Yeah. Um, and I should have said these are um, these are about ten or eleven yeah. centimeters in length. Okay. And it's the uh, the one millimeter gauge. Right, you have. Okay. But you carry on all <laughs> the way along, and this is th with with that. In mind, it, it, it sort of stops them from sliding along your wire because yeah. otherwise they will. Okay. There's no sort of wrapping that's that tight. It's yeah. almost like soldering. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So you sort of just have to sort okay. of take the wire mm -hmm. all the way around. And then when you come to the bottom ones, you're, you're attaching the bottom end of yeah. your your scroll. And you're also, um, then you're, you're taking the next one 
on as well. So okay. as, you, as you're wiring along, you're picking up both loops of, of mm -hmm. each of these bars. Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> um, I've got some more one millimeter gauge wire here, the gold for you to add to the gold bundle that you've just had as well. So we've pretty much bought you another kit just in gold wire, haven't we? So you can take Absolutely. your pick, silver or gold, you know what, I would get both. You take these gauges are fabulous. Uh, so you've got your one millimetre gauge there um, and 50 metres as well. Again, that's a lot. And if you're brand new to Wywork, you know, you might be coming in today um, looking at the birdcage thinking, it's amazing, but there's no way that I could do it. Just save that wire for when you feel you're ready as well. Or just start, you know, um, as Karen said, you know, just make it those components. You can you could do a little bit every day. You know, you don't have to rush at it, do you? Well, if, if you sort of say, um, teach yourself how to make one of these circles. Yeah. Um, and then just make these scrolls to fit inside mm -hmm. your circle as a, as a coaster yeah and, and just start doing it that way and then you can sort of start building mm -hmm. these 3d structures yeah uh, and and take it from there but certainly practice doing um, a flat piece as i've just yeah. suggested uh, and making maybe a coaster with it yeah and, and put your, your your sort of scrolls inside and That's just to really get a feel idea. of how how it yeah. works and how it all fits yeah, together and how I it suppose. fits together yeah. have a little bit of a Do practice know, run at nine pounds and 95 pence for 50 meters if you have a go and it goes wrong and you waste a couple of meters do you know it doesn't really matter does it at that price that's incredible, £9.95. 0800 WMPO27. Do you know, for one millimetre gauge, if that price was for 10 metres, I'd say that was incredible. But this is for 50 metres that you've got there. 50 metres to add to your wire work stash. And let's face it, whatever medium you're working in, you're probably going to need wire at some point, aren't you? 0800 644 WMPO27. Did we not used to do 100 metres for 20? £27? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, That's definitely. a big, big... And that was a great price, wasn't it? £27.95. But this at £10, less than £10, for 50 metres that you've got there as well. So with the gold wine that you had earlier on, or as I said, you could perhaps mix these colours together. Again, if this is a bridal commission or something like that, it would work really, really well. WNPO27, if you've got this in your basket, make sure you're checking out. There still are quite a few of you with the kit in your basket. We are down to very, very low stock now. The only way you can secure your purchase is by checking out. Do remember you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If you are not 110% satisfied with any of your purchases when you get them home, send them back. Send them back. Incredible. Righty ho. Okay, Karen. So I'm, I'm going to quickly show you how to make the little tea light holders. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to do a single one. I've done a triple one for the, the bird cage. Okay. But um, a, a single one is really all you need, and you can always sort of fit them together. I don't know if you want to, you can take them out of there if you want them to take them out so ah, they can see. So you can't you take them out from the bottom? From do you? the bottom, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, if I hold it up, you can take it out. Yeah, it's just sort of hooked in. There you go. So it's like holding someone else's baby, isn't it? That's like <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they're not going to stand up because the, the the shape of them. But that's that's the the, the tea light oh, holder in itself. Look at that! Do you know what I love? Even just that, Karen. You know, you could you could make yeah. that to hang on anything, couldn't you? This anything it, else? Yeah. This is it, and it, it's, it's quite ornamental in itself. Yeah. So it, yeah, it wouldn't look. I mean, even if you did sort of um, with the with the heavier gauge, if you sort, yeah. sort of make. Um, a hanging, yeah, so that it hangs like just like that. Post, it, yeah. yeah, just yeah. make a with a, with a circle at the yeah. bottom, uh, and did that. You, you, you're on your way to making. And you a could do that with holder. these bigger gauges it's quite certainly. easily. Oh, mo most you? certainly, yeah, yeah. So um, right, so I've cut. I got to remember how much wire I cut now for this. Um, I should have written it down, really, shouldn't I? Have? We're probably talking about if you cut yourself. Um, but it's, it was, we say 60 centimetres, 50 or 60 centimetres for these. And it, they, they measure, right, four, four centimetres okay. across. That, and that'll be enough to fit yeah. a little tea light in. So if you can find any sort of cylindrical object to sort of wrap these around that, that will mm. suit. I think I used um, my moisturiser bottle yeah. thing that I, I wrapped them around. Okay. Um, and once you've even you've wrapped them around, where the wires cross, then you just use your chain nose pliers mm -hmm. in order to pinch them together, so the wires go vertical. Yeah. When when you pinch them together, the wires will automatically sit vertical like mm -hmm. that. 
So what you do then is you place one inside the other, like that, mm -hmm. with a, you measure that gap there, it's got to be the same width as that. So right, yeah. you're probably talking between 12 and 15 mm -hmm. centimetres for the depth of your okay. of your tea uh, light And to be fair, I, I'm guessing most of us have tea light candles at home, so you could always get one out and, and use that, you know, as you're working, as, as, a, you? as yeah. a guide, certainly, yeah. So you've got your, your four wires there together, and you want to um, get... Oh, I've lost my wire. Oh, there it is, right in mm. front of me. Mm. Idiot. <laughs> Me, <laughs> that is. I'm talking about me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Wrap it around all okay. four of your wires. If you want to, you could always put a little bit of um, masking tape around the top of your wire just yeah. to keep it in place while you're, you're, you're starting off with your wire wrapping. Okay. And this is where you, you'd have to sort of, when you're doing a, a sort of a weave like this, this is where you've got to worry about tension. Um, because it, it's, it, it's having the amount of, um, the right amount of tension so that you can sort of go uh, a couple of wraps around all of them mm -hmm. and then go into the middle wires yeah. and then just do wrap two, a couple of wraps around, well, about three wraps around okay. those as well. Yeah. Um, Amanda in Merseyside says, what a great idea for a wedding centrepiece. You could even use different colour wire to match the bridesmaid dress exactly, here. Exactly, yeah. Such yeah, a good idea. It is, isn't it? And if you want, if, even if you want a vintage oh. um, look, you can oh. use that sort of antique bronze wire or yeah. copper wire. Um, well, do, do you know the birdcage, you're saying that actually, Karen, the birdcage is quite a vintage thing, you know, if you go and have a look at in vintage tea shops or exactly. vintage decor, you know, you see birdcages on wallpaper and stuff like that, so that would work perfectly. Yeah. Um, and Amanda says, what a stunning piece, may try a smaller one first, as I'm very new to wire work. Yeah. This is the great thing as well, Amanda, is that you can do it on a smaller scale, but also... There is no rush, you know, just take your time. As I said earlier on, perhaps just, you know, spend a couple of days making up these individual components, you know. Yeah. The thing is, if you, if you take your time, I think you'll be fine, yeah. you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. So give it a go. Send us a picture as well, Amanda, I'd love to see that. I don't know, I really want to have a go myself now. I'm, here's me thinking I'm going to make a huge one when, <laughs> wedding centrepiece, sell it for hundreds of pounds. But just the, all the gemstones you could hang off it as well, you know? Yeah. Pearls exactly. and those clear quartz and oh, oh imagine those quartz on it, they'd look <gasps> fabulous. Wouldn't, wouldn't they? they just yeah. So you can see where I'm going like that. So I've done three of the the, the wraps in the cent around the centre wires, the okay. two centre wires, and then three wraps around all four. Yeah. And they're the ones that you want to be careful about the tension. So Fine. you just place the wire around, you don't pull it around. Yeah. Um, to, to get the, um, and I've just done three wraps around the centre mm -hmm. wires and then three wraps around the um, outer wires. Okay. I'll just show that again, what I'm doing. It was having the time to prepare all the bits and bobs for the demo as well. It yeah, was, I, I just run out of time when it when it came to. Yeah. S otherwise, I'd have had more sort of ready for you. But it oh, was. Oh, don't um, worry. And I think as well, the, the great thing about this particular piece, Karen, is that we can look at it and just from looking at it, we can see what you've done. You know, you can see those individual components. But as you said, you can make any yeah. shapes, any kind of scrolls and swirls you want to go in that design. Well, exactly. I think once you've seen them individually as yeah. well and, and sort of um, uh, and just see it that it's just yeah. simple wrapping techniques yeah. that, that fits it all together, mm -hmm. it, it's... It, it's sort of once it's broken down like that it's easier yeah. to see how it's done isn't it yeah so that that's it that's what you're going to be doing okay. all the way up there to, yeah. to where the hanger is now for the actual um tea light you want one a bit lower than the other okay so all you're going to do then is push them out yeah the circle pieces when they ah, one like see. that okay yeah and then you make these scrolls. I've made four. You probably need. I've made. Oh, actually, I've only made. It's funny. I thought I had four, but never mind. I think one flew off. <laughs> um, but you make these scrolls yeah. to fit in around the um, edge there. Okay. I probably need to adjust the depth of that. There mm -hmm. we go. Again, using your your point four wire. Mhm. Mm 
Now you can either do what I did with the, the bars and yeah. go all the way along with your, your foot point four wire or you can just sort of um, tack it on here and there with just a couple of wraps. Okay. It's entirely up to mm. you. And then I'll just show you how to put this one on and then show you what to do at the bottom. Okay. To hold the tea light mm -hmm. in place so it doesn't fall out the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So what guys are you wrapping with there? This is put the point four. That's the point four. Yeah. And just just cut um, a, a sort of a comfortable length of wire to okay. work with for, for these bits. Um, it doesn't have to be um, any particular length, but just enough for you to sort of do a couple mm -hmm. of wraps at at each point that it okay. um, the scroll yeah. comes in contact with the the wire really. That's so pretty. And again, you know, just you like you say, just making the tea light um, holders, not necessarily in the bird cage, start off doing something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. mean, the, 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 the idea of, of these demos is to, is to show people, um, give people ideas, show them techniques yeah. that they can then adapt to yeah. um, whatever they, they mm. need it for. And, uh, you know, you can use these techniques either in a piece of yeah. jewellery or like I suggested a coaster or yeah. or, or even a, for a votive candle, something mm -hmm. like that. It doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be a bird cage, you don't have yeah. to sort of um do anything as elaborate as that. But once you've got the idea of, of how to make a framework and uh, and how to make the bits to to go inside mm -hmm. the frame, I think that that's that's all you really need to know yeah. to, to adapt it to mm. whatever it is that you want for yeah. your home yeah. or for your wedding table or wha whatever you want it for. Mm. But um, and it's it's good fun to sort of get into these techniques because yeah. it does give you an idea of of how um, how wire behaves, mm -hmm. so that you get a feel for it yourself and you, you get an understanding of, of yeah. how it works, how it work hardens as you're going along. Mm -hmm. um, what it will do, what it won't do, uh, how to connect things together, because these are cold connections, yeah. remember there's no soldering involved, mm. and so the connections have to be um, secure, yeah. uh, especially if it's going to be a 3D um, design like like this is. So it, it's really getting, it, this is great practice for getting to know your wire and getting to understand mm -hmm. um, the mechanics of it yeah. really. Such a fabulous design. So once you've got the, all those scrolls mm -hmm. in, in place, yeah. what you really I, I, I did a big elaborate thing with bits of wire underneath and okay. and then I thought, why on earth, as I was tacking on mm. the the scrolls, I, I sort of had a brainwave. Okay. Um, <laughs> which often happens when you, when you're doing something, you, you 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 finish it and then think, oh, why on earth did I do all that? Why didn't I just as I was tacking these on? Why didn't I just take the wire across the bottom ah, to hold the and candle. save yeah. myself a whole lot of time? Right. But I mean, at, at the time, I was thinking more structural than I was practical, <laughs> and therefore, uh, it, it, you know, I did it the same yeah. sort of round the houses way, really. So you kind of started with this one here, and yeah. then thought, you know what? I can make life a lot easier for if, myself. If I just did it. <laughs> yeah, just crossed it over even, even if you use a sort of, a, you don't have to use the 0.4 wire to do that. You can use a thicker yeah. gauge like 0.6 or 0.8. Yeah. But just sort of just take it across. Um, just, just to From one side it, to the yeah. other as you're fitting on your scrolls. Just so that your candle's got something. And then you do it the other way as well to form mm -hmm. a cross. So yeah. that the candle's got something to, to sit on. on and they're not heavy That's either it. are they tea no. light candles so no. you know it's not a huge amount of support so there's no, that you don't need a whole lot of um support yeah. there it, it's they're not weighty it's just yeah. something to hold them in place is all you need mm -hmm. And that's basically it. That's fantastic. Carry on the, the wrapping yeah. at the top, make a hook then. You can do little um, scrolls either side yeah. uh, with the, the spare wires and then make a yeah. couple of them or just one of them into a hook wow. to fit onto the hanger inside the birdcage. That wow. is it. That is fantastic. Well, thank you, Karen, so much. You've managed to squeeze that down, <laughs> that huge piece. Yeah, it is never going to be easy, and, it? and you've explained it very, very well as well, so that's brilliant. Thank Any you so much. Any questions, though, I'm on Facebook if anyone needs to ask anything. There you go, I'm Karen Crawford. Right. You can find her on Facebook. Go along. Uh, if you've got any questions along the way, then just ask Karen and she'll be there to help you. Um, I think it's time for a cheeky star buy, is it not? Ooh. Yes, it is.
Double trouble. Oh yes, look at these. Do you know this? I'm just, I've got all these ideas whizzing around my head now to do with this bird cage because I'm just thinking weddings. I'm thinking Christmas. You know, if you made a bird cage like that, you could perhaps make um, you know detachable something that you can kind of you know interchangeable gemstone pieces that you you know you can change it for different occasions. And I was just looking at these, thinking, do you know what? These would be great on that bird cage at Christmas. They'd be perfect, wouldn't they? Um, double trouble for you. These are fabulous. These gemstones can go such a long, long way. Because they are so sizable individually, you know, you could just use one of these in a half jeweled pendant bail, pop that onto a chain or, or one of your thicker gauges of gold wire and have that as a talk necklace. Phenomenal. Even just one of these gemstones has such impact massive massive impact because of the color of these because of the shape this really is an attention grabbing strand isn't it i mean imagine doing something really elaborate going to town and uh restranding one of these and just having that in a necklace design i mean that is so catwalk isn't it so catwalk very very designer looking we've seen guest designer jan uh, quite often just using these kind of shapes with whatever gemstones and kind of wire wrapping just one of them into a ring or as i said before you know using one of those um in a half drill pendant band and having one of those in a necklace design there's 400 carats in each strand 400 carats in each strand that's 800 carats of gemstones you've got there and if I'm, I'm just looking at different sizes and different shapes in these you know this one here that's huge you know th there's some width on that gemstone for a, a ring statement ring just that one gemstone alone wire wrapped would look incredible wouldn't it 14 by 5 to 35 by 6 millimetres in size. Now, 19 pounds and 90 pence. Let's just remember, you've got 800 carats of genuine gemstones here. 800 carats already per carat. That's ridiculous. Star by, though, means we can take it even lower for you today. 0800, 644, 655, 14 pounds and 95 pence. You know, that's not even two pence a carat. Not even two pennies for genuine gemstones. It's ridiculous, isn't it? 800 655 Remember, you can add this to your order today. You'll have no extra cost on your PMP there. It doesn't matter how many times you're coming in. I really like this. Do you know, I might just restrand something like this. In fact, you've got two strands there. Why not restrand one of them? Make that kind of uh, something that you can attach to your, your little black dress. How fabulous would that look? You could restrand them. Have that across your clutch bag. Love that. That would look fabulous embellishment, wouldn't it? But actually, with all of these gemstones, you've got a huge opportunity to do so many things with these. If I just count out one of the strands, you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Do you know what? There's probably 80 gemstones approximately on just one of these strands here. They will go so far. Maybe just think about wrapping one of these, just one gemstone, into a ring... Um, what kind of price tag would you pop on that at home? Four pounds? Five pounds? <gasps> With this many gemstones? Have a think about that. Wowzers. Um, hold the lines. Well done if you've managed to check that one out. Let's bring you... <gasps> Look at oh, these! They're like little spinning tops. Oh, screams Art Deco, oh. that, doesn't it? Really, really does. Karen, these are gorgeous. Oh, they are fabulous. Wow. I don't think I've ever, ever seen these shapes before. I, I, I really don't. These have only been on once. Karen, what would you do with a gemstone of this shape? Uh, uh, just as I said, they are, uh, it, that's the first thing that hit me, came yeah. into my head, was that they are definitely Art Deco. Whoa. Definitely. I could see a, sort of like a hexagonal shape, a frame around them or yeah. something, you know, with maybe little seed pearls. Uh, wonderful they are absolutely gorgeous they are phenomenal do you know i'm do loving the way that these have been fasted just look at how the light bounces off these gemstones oh, that's what caught my eye as you picked it up the yeah. dazzle made me look over because i was sort I of bet. busy in doing this but they are <laughs> do you know the weight to this strand as well is phenomenal it really really is now if you've got any of the gold or any of the silver wire that we've had so far tonight oh my word they look it look fantastic the gold or the silver um, with these gemstones again just like your clear quartz that we had earlier on 
there isn't anything in your stash, your gemstone stash, your threading stash, you know, your wire work stash. There isn't anything that these won't go with. They are just phenomenal. They're so different to any other shape that we're used to seeing here at Jewelry Maker. They're fabulous. You've got 195 carats in total there of your genuine black spinel. Graduated faceted bicones, they're 9 to 14 millimetres in size. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 individual gemstones around £19.95. Pence. Phenomenal, phenomenal deal. Look at the carat weight. You know, individually, individually they're huge. Approximately £1.25 per gemstone there. Do you know, even the smallest gemstones on this strand, that could be a statement ring right there. Statement ring, huge carat weight. Huge size, cost you one pounds and twenty-five pence. Phenomenal. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Well done if you've managed to check that out. Now coming up after the break, I've got these back in stock. The Infinity Charms nine two five sterling silver. They are really whoopsie, really pretty. Oh, can I just give you another sneaky peek of some nine two five that I've got coming up for you later? Look at these little snakes. Oh. Love these. They're coming up a little bit later on, the 925 snakes. I've also got some beautiful pink opal. Oh. And the pink opal. Oh, but this pink though, Karen, it's so feminine, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Absolutely Baby pink. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Oh. Again, bridesmaids, weddings. Perfect. I think it's a great add on to that kit. I, I just did. Really. It really would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous, and you are never ever going to believe where this is going on price for you. All coming up in the next hour, so don't go anywhere, and we'll be back with you in just a few minutes' time. Tune into Jewelry Maker for the home show where we'll be demonstrating how to apply your favourite technique to accessorise your home. I started crafting from a very young age, doing all sorts of different crafting. That developed into card making and then onto jewelry making. I got started because my sister started giving us jewellery and the women in the family jewellery as gifts. To start I was making it for me and then my friends saw what I was wearing. And then one of my friends said, well, why don't you have a go at selling? So I thought, well, I'll give it a go and see how it goes. I do like a challenge. It's Because sometimes you, you look at something that you can't do it. But then you don't know if you don't try, do you? <laughs> when you've made it and you've just made it, you think, that's nice, put it on. When you get it out the next time, that's when you think, yeah, that looks really good. That looks quite professional and I'm proud to wear it. Quite often at work, they'll, they'll ask me what I'm wearing. They're astonished, first of all, you think something's so simple and they're, they're astonished at the, the piece of jewellery that you've made. They say it looks so professional and when I show them how easy it is to do, um, they're saying, oh, can I have a go of it? These necklaces are great for layering up, for happiness, for your sort of holidays. Because they're there in the living room with you, you get to see the same people on a regular basis and you feel a bit like, like you know them. It's like a family, you know all the, the guests that are on the, on the TV and then when you come to something like a workshop it's really good because you, you seem to know everybody, you know about the people that you're working with. It just feels like your own family, that you're actually there with them and you are part of their family, you're part of their, you know, their community.
Join guest designer Gemma Crow as she brings you a fascinating DVD that teaches you how to create all of your important findings that are essential to everybody's collection. Gemma will take you through step by step to create all of your finishing touches that bring your pieces to life. Essential for all jewellery makers. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Good evening, welcome back to Jewelry Maker. If you have just tuned in, go and have a look on the website www.jewelrymaker.com. See if there's anything still available uh, from the show so far. There are still some of the kit left, unbelievably. Uh, we had 1.25 millimeter gauge, we had one and a half millimeter gauge wire in the kit as well. Fantastic deal for you. So get yourself over to the web um, and make sure you check things out as well. Still a lot of things in baskets. Um, have a look at these. <laughs> Labradorite, oh my gosh, these cabochons are just phenomenal. I've just been picking up these individually on the break, and do you know what? Every single one of them here has the most fantastic, fantastic Labrador essence. This is exactly what you should be seeing from quality Labradorite. That beautiful Labrador essence, that colour that you can see there, is completely natural. Gorgeous coppery hues, golden hues, like the gemstone is on fire. I have so many cabochons here. I don't know where, I don't know which one to pick up next. I've got so many. Do you know what? In fact, I'm going to count how many I have in this pack. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen individual cabochons. Now, I can't guarantee that you're going to get nineteen. But I can guarantee you the carat weight that's on your screen right now, which is 720 carats. Yes, please. Yes, please. Can you imagine how many pieces you could make with these? Statement rings, statement pendants, beautiful brooches, cuffs. They would look phenomenal. Some colour coming off those. They're beautiful, aren't they, Karen? Yeah, they are. And again, with the wire in the kit, exactly. all that structure, you know, like a top exactly necklace. What you need. Oh. Be perfect, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. One of these for me, statement ring. Just look at this on the hands. You're gonna get different shapes, different sizes in there. So just do you know what I would do actually? I'd multi-buy. I'd get a couple of packs of these, get them home, and pick my favourite ones. That is just phenomenal. This is one of those gemstones that you have to see in natural daylight. My goodness me. If you think this looks good now, just wait until you take them outside. 0800 644 655. Do you know what? For 34 pounds and 95 pence, I am in. Because I know that using just one of these and wire wrapping one of these into a design, I'm going to get my money back. 34, yeah. It, for the carrot <laughs> weight that I have here in one gemstone, no problem at all. We're all different. Obviously, it depends on where you're selling, and some of us like to pass on our deals, which is fine. But £24.95. That works out. I've got 19 cabochons here. So that is just over a pound per cabochon. Just over a pound per cabochon and three pence per carrot. Oh, phenomenal, phenomenal deal you've got there today. Oh, 0800 644 655. So even if, even if you, are, you know, I said at 34.95, I'd have my money back on one of these cabochons. Even if you popped a £10 price tag on this, I'd be multi-buying off your craft stall and you would still have your money back and some, and a lot actually. The wire we've had, the gold, the silver, They'd all work, wouldn't they? My go-to colour with Labradorite is silver. How about you, Karen? Yeah, probably would be, actually. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I've, I've used it with gold as well, and this, it, it does look lovely. But um, I think because of the, the, you normally get blues and greens out of it. Yeah. I, th I think silver would be my, my go-to colour as well. Yeah, I love, I love yeah. silver with Labradorite. The quality of these is just incredible. Twenty-four ninety-five. make sure you're checking out your baskets. DKCD32. Well done. Right, let's have a look. Oh, can I put my neck on the line? This is my favourite strand of Labradorite Ooh. ever. Do you know what I'm doing when I come off air, Farron? Oh. Oh, I don't know. Why, do I put them on my hand? Do I hold them up? Do I hold them out? 
Yeah, doodle. <laughs> oh, God, but look. Just look at the colours. <gasps> Do you know why these are my favourites? Because there is so much Labrador essence and this strand is absolutely packed full of Labradorite. 260, oh my gosh, look at those golden hues. <gasps> and this and the pinks through as well, which you don't oh, often get with them. Um, you don't, do you, that? Karen? No. Pinks and purples. When I was looking at this strand in the yeah. corridor um, early on, I just couldn't stop looking at it. I'm going to turn it over for you as well. Um, oh, do you know, Karen, I think I'd be very tempted to multi-buy because I yeah. want, oh my gosh, look at this one. They are sizable drops, those. They're huge. Mm. I'd be tempted to multi-buy because I think I'd want to just re-strand one strand exactly how it is and have the most incredible yeah. necklace design. Can yeah. you imagine? You could also have several pendants off that and maybe a couple of pairs of earrings as well with the smaller ones. You That's know? what I mean. That's why I think you'd have to multi-buy, wouldn't you? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. I want to do it all with the strand. Oh, my days. 27 centimetres. Do you know, if I had to guess the carat weight of this strand, I would have said there's a lot more than 265 carats because it certainly looks like a lot more than 265 carats. Do you know, I'm moving ever so, ever so slightly. And just look, as the light catches them at different mm. angles, look at those colours. You can see the golden hues, the blues. Oh my gosh, how many of these do we have? 50, five zero. I need at least two for my project. At least two. So if you could just save me two, that would be great. 24 pounds and 95 pence is incredible. Look how many gemstones you have here. 12 by eight to 25 by 12 millimeters in size. Do you know what? I've got to say, Karen, and again, we're all different, I know, but if I was re-stranding this particular strand because of the quality, that would be a three-figure piece with, yeah, all, that, yeah. with and, all that Labrador. And, and especially if you put um, spaces in between the, oh. the drops as well. I mean, you're probably, it, depending on what material you, you, yeah. you use, you're probably sort of well in the hundreds. Oh, yeah, for mm. sure for sure how about rose gold space bees how about silver mm. space bees you know that the silver um space bee packs that we have the tubes yeah yeah just pop it oh just can we just look at this all evening that would be great <laughs> 800 644 655 do you know it's one of those gemstones whether you are wearing labradorite or whether you have it on your craft stall i guarantee somebody will notice it somebody will notice it um, Sarah in Gloucestershire says the JM black wire also goes well with Labradorite Ooh, that would look what a good fab, idea mm. I really like that idea that would look incredible great thing again about Labradorite is there is so much colour coming through from your Labrador essence anything goes it really really does I think oh, <laughs> oh. Danny's going with oh Danny says, do you know what? Just just put this strand with that, Hannah. Just, Ooh, just let me see nice it. Nice idea. Yes. Danny, what, do you know what? He's a show off, our Danny. <laughs> he, he, wants to, he wants to get noticed. Got Dan see, after in my the gallery job, there. <laughs> um, there are absolutely tons of you coming through for this strand. I only want two. I only want two. I like 100, 644, 655. I have to... Oh... I want them. Hi, ladies, got mine. Woo! Says our Maureen in Nottinghamshire. Maureen, well done. It's my oh. favourite strand ever. It's just packed. Do you know what? I'm going to count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Ooh. Approximately 39 gemstones you have on this strand. And just look at them go. Oh. Best strand ever, in my opinion, of Labradorite. QN, are you 31, how many pennies? 63 pence per gemstone. That works out to £1.27 for a pair of earrings. Oh, this quality, as a pair of earrings, I'd have to use a minimum of 925. Yeah, They'd probably definitely. be about 20 pounds with 95 yeah, yeah yeah i go along with that yeah for just one pair of earrings yeah oh i love this i'm not letting you take this strand away from me tonight sam i know that you're super <laughs> efficient and everything you're not taking this away i'm just gonna have to have it on the desk all night 
Love it. All right, 100, six triple four, six double five. Do you want some more Labradorite? I do. I'm just going to pop the, these particular strands. This is how I like them. Packed full in a bracelet on the wrist. Gorgeous. And do you know what? You're still going to have loads left over to make earrings, to make rings. Oh, hello. No, Sam. No, 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 no. Sam, I meant it. I wasn't fibbing. Thank you. <laughs> She's trying to take it away. <laughs> Just trying to say, I'm, I, I need, I've got to have that strand. I just want to look at it all night. If, I, if you take it away, I might forget, you see. I can't forget. Um, have a look. <laughs> I'm going to have to get both, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to have to get both. Yeah, I think you are. Oh, look at these. I oh, just, do you know, Karen, that I, I've never met anybody that said they don't like Labradorite. It's one of those gemstones that you can never get bored of. You never get tired of these gemstones. Do you know, do you? if you'd have asked me that question years ago, I'd have said I can't stand Labradorite no. because the quality I'd seen... Was so really? Poor, it just looked like a dirty, ugly gemstone. Do you know, I've got to yeah. agree with you. <laughs> bad, bad quality Labradorite looks like dirty dishwater. It does. It does, isn't it? With no Labrador yeah. essence. No. It, it's not nice. It really isn't. This is, I mean, if you want jewellery to get you noticed, Labradorite, my word, just go for it. 250 carats, your faceted drops, 10 to 15 millimetres, 19 centimetre strand. And actually, this being a home show with Labradorite, I'm always talking about sun catchers, especially with Labradorite oh. and Moonstone. If you've got them in your window, when direct sunlight catches them, oh, I mean, you could go for a similar kind of structure as the birdcage and exactly. have your gemstones hanging down inside, Yes, you? that's, that's <gasps> an excellent idea, actually, yeah, it would work well. Wow. Can you do that next time, Yeah, Karen? sun catcher, yeah. £19.95 for your 250 carats. QORU17 is your code for this one. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There's approximately 40 gemstones there. Again, just using the smallest gemstone on this strand, taking the two smallest gemstones in 925 sterling silver, you're going to have your money back. Most of our guest designers here at Jewelry Maker say if they're using 925 in earrings, you know, just for those two shepherd's hooks alone, and your gemstones, whatever gemstones you're using, you've got to be looking at a minimum of 15 to 20 pounds. And you'd have so many more gemstones left over. Well done if you got those. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Okay. Um, look at these pyrite. Do you know what? I'm going to put them with the black spinel. Ooh. Do you know what? This pyrite is like actual treasure. Isn't it? Actual treasure. There's such a high shine on it. That's, that's what's getting to me, is the fact that there's such a high shine. It's phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Can you think it? You could just drop one of these into a design and yeah. just use one of them, and that's going to give you so much impact. I think yeah, that's correct, actually. I think, yeah, definitely. Just wow. one is that you wouldn't need the whole strands, would you? Cause it look <laughs> I, I know. It really is. <laughs> It really is. Um, it's an overpowering gemstone, isn't it? Because there's just so much going on there. You've got so much shine, so much lustre. They are little gemstone nuggets of beautiful pie, right? 175 carats, 6 by 3 to 12 by 3 millimetres in size. Again, this is a great gemstone to have in your stash, you know, at all times. Because when there are times that you just want to throw in that little bit of lustre to a design, or maybe you're looking at a design... And uh, you, you think you finished it and you look at it thinking, do you know what? It's just missing something. I can't put my finger on it, but it's just missing something. It could be that you hold up one of these pyrite gemstones and you're like, yes, that's it. That little bit of luster. £9.95 pence for you this evening. Well done if you've already checked out. Nobody pays any more than anybody else. 0800 644 655 ZB. RU58 is your code for this one. You have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29 individual gemstones there. ZB, RU58. I have... Um, can I show part of the next kit? It's not coming up until the 8 o'clock hour. However, I've got to give you a heads up because you need to be here. 
You need to be. I've got something brand new that is going to blow your socks off. Let me just put uh, this beautiful design on that our Sandra, one of our budding beaders, has made. It's beautiful. Oh, you can see it from there. You can see it from there. I have four of these beautiful, oh, carved mother of pearl flowers coming up for you in the next kit. And they are brand new. Are they shell? They look like mother of pearl. We're just going to double check for you. But have a look. Oh, hello. Oh, they're stunning, aren't they? Oh, they are. Of course, they are shell. So much iridescence. It reminds me of Mother of Pearl. They look beautiful. You will get four of these and they're coming up in the next kit for you. Eight o'clock. Brand new. Again, not a huge quantity. Yikes, they're gorgeous. I might just keep this uh, bracelet on. Um, have a look at these. These are gorgeous. Oh, I, keep, I keep bringing you gemstone essentials, don't I? This, again... Any coloured thread, any coloured wire, any coloured gemstone just works with black spinel. The master of disguise, um, known as the master of disguise because it's often been mistaken for that of a black diamond. But you know, give me black spinel over a black diamond any day of the week. Sometimes with black diamonds you get pits, you get flaws that you don't see with black spinel. Luxurious gemstone, that's what you are getting here. 115 carats of genuine black spinel. Now, I will always tell you that this is a high-end gemstone. And this is a high-end gemstone. Yet our prices here at Jewelry Maker really always make me feel silly when I say that. You know, in the Imperial State Crown, just above the Cullen and Diamond, 300 and something carat Cullen and Diamond. Oh, I know. Um, sits the Black Prince's Ruby. And it's called the Black Prince's Ruby because it was always thought to be a ruby. In later days, it was actually discovered to be a red spinel. If it's good enough for royalty, you've got 115 catch. Do you know the pink opal that I've got coming up for you? Look at these Oh, I've together. seen pink and black together. Wow. That's stunning. Can't go wrong. You yeah. just cannot go wrong, can you? How sophisticated, how classy do those look together that's the great thing about black spinel it is sophistication it is, it is isn't pure it? class it does isn't it, it add that little bit of yeah. elegance to any piece that you make oh, it really does and you know i love black spinel with pearls as well Me art too. deco yeah 1920s exactly nine pounds and 95 pence nine pounds and 95 pence 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. IXRU94 is your code for this one. I would check out super duper quickly. You've got huge rondelles there. They're 5 by 3 to 9 by 4 millimeters in size. And because you've got that classic color there, they're just going to look fantastic with anything and everything that you use in your stash lots of you there well done if you've got that in your basket do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can um aquamarine whoa this is really high end oh hang on this isn't a bead quality strand the this color is gemstone is. quality oh yeah gemstone quality look at this oh the clarity on this aquamarine is just oh. phenomenal. I mean, we don't very often see clarity like this in aquamarine here at Jewel Maker, do we? No, no. And the colour is... Te it's textbook. It really is, actually. It really is. That That's is breathtaking, though. some of the finest aquamarine I think we've ever seen yeah. here at Jewel Maker. Can you imagine a bridal veil embellished oh, with gosh. this? Is it something blue? Oh, yeah. How beautiful would that look? You've got 40 carats of genuine aquamarine here. The sparkle in this gemstone is just fantastic. If you've ever heard the term, the lighter, the brighter, generally when you have a gemstone that is lighter in colour, that allows more light to travel through the gemstone, therefore giving you more brilliance. The brilliance being that internal light that you can see coming from your aquamarine there. So if you love a bit of sparkle, 
go for your lighter gemstones because you get luster and you get the brilliance as well. If you're working with your birthstone jewellery, um, you will need your aquamarine in your stash because it is the birthstone for March as well, known as the gem of the sea. You've got that textbook colour in this strand here and you've got a big carrot weight and I have to say and, and I'll always point this out wherever we have you know quality and clarity like this to me this isn't bead quality this is the quality that would be set into gold if you have a look on that I mean can you imagine if you're fortunate enough to have come in um, here at Jewelry Maker and got any of our gold we launched gold probably about five six weeks ago now channel setting some of these gemstones yeah. into that gold oh, you know yeah, having yeah. them in earrings oh my word it's one of those gemstones as well and i've always always said this here on the high street in the uk topaz and aquamarine i i just don't get it i always look at them and i just <laughs> think how can you get away with that i mean how can you get away with prices like that for yeah. topaz and aquamarine you know it's like diamond like prices for the for the smallest cat weights and i'm talking not even a carrot i'm talking points of aquamarine you can be paying well into three figures on the high street when this gemstone is set into jewelry it's very sought after it's one of those gemstones that so many people love it's that delicate hue it's that sparkle wow 57 pounds do you know what already i have to say every time i pick up a strand most of the time you've probably heard me say this before i don't like to know prices unless i'm unless i'm told i absolutely have to know so when i pick up any strand in my head straight away i have an idea of price this for me was ending on 69 pounds and 95 pence that just should be price tag 57 pounds and 95 pence bridal commissions this would be perfect as your something blue that little delicate hue it, you'll know you know if you've, if you've um, planned your wedding if you've got married before oh. getting that something blue into your attire can be quite tricky sometimes the subtleness of aquamarine is just perfect 37 pounds and 95 pence that's like half the price i thought we were going to be at nearly that's mm. incredible that for is. the clarity that you have here well done if you've already managed to check this out do you know what i would do if i were you get this home you've got a 30 day money back guarantee that 30 days it doesn't start from today it starts from the day that you get this delivered to your door in a couple of days time uh, did hannah mention 925 sterling silver says the customer yes i did would you like to see it <laughs> um i've got the infinity charms coming up for you in five minutes Oh, look at these. 95 selling silver. And at 8 o'clock, I've got the snake bead spacers. These are so on trend right now. Loving those. I've never seen these before. They're gorgeous, aren't they? So those are coming up a little bit later on. And your Infinity Charms coming up for you in about five minutes' time. If you've got the Aquamarine in your basket, just make sure you're checking out. Do you know, actually, with this particular strand of Aquamarine, I wouldn't use anything less than 925 sterling silver. I wouldn't oh, either. No. Oh, no. You wouldn't, would you, Karen? No. Definitely not. So high-end. So, so high. <gasps> Can you imagine this with pearls? Danny just said, what about with pearls? Oh, I like it. Oh. Have you seen these? Wow. Um, these. You know, I'm doing it again, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna speak out loud now. I know what we do with pearl prices here at Jewelry Maker. However, these are quite possibly some of the biggest pearls I have ever seen. Jewelry maker prices, these cannot go below, these can't go below 50 pounds, no way, no way. Look at this, look at the pearlescence. <gasps> Can you imagine seeing these in a boutique with no price tag on? Uh, do you know, the quality, the size of these, yeah. I've just <laughs> restrand them, It's Karen. just so unfair to call them a potato pearl. I know. I, I mean, I know they're not perfectly round, but... <laughs> There's nothing potato-ish about these. No. Definitely not. Do you know what? They're gorgeous. Oh, if I could have... Oh, it would be a tough call, but, you know, I'm still looking at the Labradorite. But me thinking about value, I think if I could have any one strand tonight, it would be these, because in my eyes, these are perfection. That is some of the best pearlescence I think I've ever seen. That shine 
That lustre is breathtaking. Look at the size of these nine by 10 millimeters. Now, if you're tuning in for the very first time, this might be the auction that you think, I don't think so, hang on a little minute. Just to let you know, our buying power here at Joymaker is incredible. And I don't think we can be beaten anywhere else on prices. Now, if you just have a think about the last time you went shopping, did you see pearls and did you see the prices? These are the real deal. Now, a couple of months ago, maybe not even that long ago, I was um, walking through Stratford-upon-Avon and I walked past a jeweller's. That particular jeweller's, you can't get in. You have to ring the doorbell. Genuinely, you have to ring the doorbell. You can't just walk in. So I was looking in the window. I thought, oh, I'm going to have a look. There was a pair of pearl earrings, two gemstones, and they were probably... I'm going to say they were probably 12 millimetres in size, but they were perfectly round. So there's a lot to be said for perfectly round pearls. They will, they will always uh, be more considered than your pearls that are not perfectly round. Two gemstones, they were eight and a half thousand pounds. Oh. Yes, Karen. Oh, I know. And then next to those was a matching necklace. The pearls were the same size but it was a strand, a full strand. There was no price tag. I bet there wasn't. <laughs> can you imagine if two of the gemstones, Karen, were eight and a half thousand pounds, can you imagine the price tag of that necklace? I, now, I, think, I think it's one of those things, if you've got to ask the price, you can't afford exactly, it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know, for me, I was just like, this is when I love jewelry maker because I know these aren't perfectly round. If they were, our price tag would still be phenomenal, but we wouldn't be able to do what we do now. But do you know what? For me, a pearl that is not perfectly round, that's a real pearl that you're looking at there. You know, for, sp for fakes and synthetics, have you ever seen a fake or synthetic strand of pearls or pair of earrings that are not perfectly round? Fakes and synthetics, generally, they're always perfectly round. Right, I said 50. I'm going to tell you the absolute truth now. When I said 50, Danny laughed. He said, you're wrong, they're going under 30. That's what did silly, I think? That's a silly price. 29.95. £14.95. and pence. Now, again, um, it might sound like I'm a really greedy person. Um, if I'd re-stranded these... Maybe one of the infinity uh, clasps there as well. It'd have to be a minimum of 95 sterling silver. This size, this quality, there is no way on this planet that I would sell these on at anything less than three figures. They are phenomenal. At 9 by 10 millimetres, bam, indeed. Uh, B-A-M-G 21. I've got multi-buyers. Do you know what? I think my entire budget today would be blown on these pearls. Uh, genuinely at 14 pounds and 95 pence i am getting these today um danny could you write down the code for the labradorite and the pearls please can you imagine just one black spinel in there as well you know popping one one do you know 14.95 14.95 if i came in today um and I hadn't been in for a couple of weeks, maybe, and I was thinking, do you know what, I've got a £50 budget for today, £50 budget for the month. It would be gone. It would be gone. I would be coming in and I would be getting three or four of these. No two ways about it. At this price tag, that is unbelievable. They are not fake. They are not synthetic. They are the real deal. And you know what? We're bringing you a £14.95 price tag and you still have 30 days to think about it. Do you know, I wouldn't need 0.3 seconds to think about this. I really <laughs> no. wouldn't. They're just... Karen, I don't know about you, but I've never, ever it's seen luster uh, yeah, like I, this. I think it's breathtaking, actually. But when it came on screen, I mean, I'm seeing them in the flesh. So yeah. Even, when, even on screen, though, they looked spectacular, I thought. Oh, I just cannot get my head around these. Now, I've got a strand of ruby coming out. I've just suddenly thought... Mm. What about popping one of these rubies, just one of the rubies, dropping down in the centre there? Did you watch the Queen at 90 the other night? No, I didn't. I missed it. She always wears her pearls, doesn't she? Mm. Always wears her pearls, the Queen. And I was looking at all of her gems and her jewellery. Do you know, she could have quite easily 
been wearing this strand yeah. at 14 95 but you look and you think thousands, don't you? <laughs> this is just incredible. If you haven't got this yet, I would do it now. It's just beautiful. I'm going to count out how many you've got. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'm going to go with approximately 40 gemstones. That could be 20 pairs of earrings for you. Do you know what? Get two. 20 pairs of earrings and the most beautiful restrand that just simply pearl knot it solid sterling silver clasp absolute minimum uh, Susan in Dorset's got two Joanne in Tyler Weir's got two Christine in Essex has got two Patricia in London's got two Carol in Dorset's got two Jeanette in Gloucestershire's got two Mary in Shropshire's got two uh, Lee's in Somerset's got three Angela in Lanarkshire you've got two as well I've got about 30 in baskets at the moment when this many people are multi-buying you know that price tag is incredible. If you are brand new and you're still thinking, oh, I'm not sure, it's too good to be true, generally, and we were having this discussion yesterday, day before, Danny said he'd found a car. He'd found a car, low mileage, fairly new, really low price tag. Found out it had been written off. Oh. Yeah, when he did his little search. Do you know, this is, this is generally when things are too good to be true, they normally are, there's no small print, there is no catch. This plus your PMP, that's it. Look at what you've got. I can't believe the size of these. I just want to stroke them. It's time for a spell by. To infinity and beyond. Look at these. These are beautiful. I just don't, I don't know why I had the urge to do that. Danny just said the infinity charms. I just wanted to turn into buzz like you. Um, <laughs> these are so beautiful. I love 925. I'm always banging on about 925 sterling silver. It's always been my favourite precious metal and it always will be as well. It's the most lustrous of all of your precious metals. You can see your 925 stamp on there as well. Back in stock, when was the last time we had them? October? October was the last time we had these. They are stunning. Now, whatever design you put these into, they will add value because they are 925 sterling silver. Even if you're not using any gemstones, they're gonna add value. You know, just pop a little bit of chain on these, a jump ring and some chain. You could pop that into a bracelet and it would look beautiful. Use these as charms, make them a feature in your design. That infinity symbol, it can be so meaningful, can't it? You know, that little personalized gift for somebody. They are beautiful. And you've got some grammage here. You will get five pieces in total. So again, it's entirely up to you. With something like this, I think 925, I always want to make it go as far as I possibly can. Um, you know, so I wouldn't put all of these into one design. It could be actually that you could have two pairs of earrings. So you could pop some jump rings on those. Two pairs of earrings, uh, just simple earrings on your shepherd's hooks and you could have a pendant as well and you could have a matching set there. Or you could use them individually, as I say, as charms. You could use them as connectors. I'm just going to pop one of these on the wrist and you can see the size of this really delicate sterling silver chain that's going to look so so pretty they're 15 by 5 millimeters in size in fact your smaller seed beads your two millimeter seed beads you could weave some of those inside oh. couldn't you and that would look really really pretty they're beautiful aren't they just as a um as you've got it there on your wrist just yeah. as a, a focal point of a yeah. bracelet maybe the pink opal or, or oh, something can shaky would, would look fantastic look at that I look mean, really really pretty combination isn't it gorgeous really pretty they're going to work in any design again with any gemstone i was just thinking actually talking about um uh, why wrapping gemstones into the center there the infinity symbol you know it, it can often symbolize love you know and relationships the, the infinity symbol why not? Why not? Why wrap your birthstone and your partner's birthstone in there? Hey, hey how about that? Be it's romantic, nice wouldn't it? Yeah, it's oh, a nice or, idea. or your children's birthstones in yes. there as well. Yeah, you know, well, something like idea, that. Yeah, you know, make it even more personal. I like that. 
KU RF82. They are flying out of the door. The Infinity Silver, it can be about anything, can't it? And that is the beauty about it. So they're really, really versatile. Five pieces, all 925 sterling silver. 0800 644 655. Haven't seen them since October of last year. Oh, well, that's silly, isn't it? <laughs> 6.95 how about using one of these in the pearls that you just got oh my word that is an incredible incredible price tag that's just over a pound per charm there or per connector whatever you want to use these for if you want to come in and you want to get two three four of these please feel free to do so because it doesn't matter how many you how many you come in for it doesn't matter how many times you buy in any one 24-hour period so from midnight last night right through until midnight tonight one postage and packaging two pounds and 95 pence standard here in the uk if you're a little bit impatient like myself upgrade to uh, premium four pounds and 95 pence you're going to have it a little bit quicker and um, we still got people texting in about the pearls uh nicole in east Lothian says i've seen 10 millimeter pearl studs set in silver for 249 pounds 10 millimeter pearls are oh, these pearls i've got to get me these i think they're some of the biggest they're, they're the most lustrous i've ever seen yeah i i agree with that yeah, everyone's, Karen's green, Bruce, Dr. Bruce is a green. I've just never seen that much luster. How high Look end are these? Yeah. That's the real deal right there. How many of us saw? I thought years and years ago before I worked in this industry, I never, ever dreamt that I would ever own Strand of Pearls, ever. Never thought I'd be able to Do you know, the, fu the funny thing is I, I gave, um, I made a necklace for a friend and I put pearls on there and... She said, oh, my God, how much does that cost you? That must have cost you a fortune. She said, I never thought I'd ever own yeah. a real pearl. Mm. She said exactly the same. It, that, well, you know, we all have, and it's that perceived value. You know, pearls, genuine pearls, you know, normally fetch thousands of pounds, hundreds of pounds. Who ever thought you could come here at Jewelry Maker and get prices like these? It's ridiculous. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family. They need to be tuning in and getting these kind of prices. Six ninety five for sterling silver as well. Incredible, incredible job. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. The code for the pearls is at the bottom of your screen. I just like. I'm gonna have to get two of these as well. Two of the uh, labradorite and two of these. Maybe I shouldn't have come in today. Spent it before you burnt it. That's what my mum always says to me. <laughs> have a look at these. Pink opals. These are beautiful. Do you remember that purple opal I had uh, a good few minutes ago now? Natural purple opal, gorgeous. Peruvian, blue opal, pink opal, green opal. Do you know what? This will go with any of those. White opal. Coming up for you towards the end of the hour. Well done if you got that 925. Working 925. Something did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love a bit of Dolly. Do you like Dolly Parton, Karen? Some of her stuff I have actually quite liked, and I'm not a, a country and western fan, but you can't well, I help admit, it. You, 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 she, she has done some. She got pretty voice as well. Oh, she's just so lovely. I hope I'm that yeah. glamorous while I'm Dolly's age. I tell you, she's <laughs> fab. Um, sorry, Danny. Uh, sorry. Right. Ooh, look at these. The, do you know these have always, always been so popular? And actually, again, with the thicker gauge, I've got two. Um, with the thicker gauge of wire that you had in the kit earlier on, if you want to make some torque necklaces, wire wrapping these um, around a torque necklace looks fabulous. I'm just going to use the tweezers there to help me, help me uh, undo this, so I can hold it out for you. Whatever gemstone, we've had uh, agate, we've had jasper, um, these, they're like piano keys, these ones, and really, really versatile. They will go with so much, so much, it's not happening, oh, there we go, um, so much in your stash. Oh, hang on a little minute. Oh, we'll get there, don't you worry. Um, you will get two of these, by the way. Have a look. How lustrous. 
They are fabulous, aren't they? Really, really beautiful. 70 carats, and that is on each strand. So that's 140 carats of your layout bars. So you've got, do you know what? Just as a pair of earrings, if, you, if you'd graduated these as they are, imagine the impact they would have. How about one of those pearls? nestled in the middle there as well Ooh, monochrome they'd look fabulous with those pearls wouldn't they they're four by ten millimeters to four by thirty millimeters in size nine pounds and 95 pence you are going to get two of these as well two of them 140 carats oh 800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com um what would you do with this karen what would you do with shapes like this i was just looking at it then and um i was thinking again art deco maybe with the yeah. other black spinel um Ooh, that strand nice. that you had yeah that would look fabulous and then with the pearls as well i'd be just a perfect combination. Or oh, even with the pink opal, it'd be a perfect combination but let's face it again they're black mm. gemstones is there anything that they wouldn't go with no, they go with everything, wouldn't they? There we go, I've got there in the end. Have a look at those. You could go and just take one of those. You could wire wrap around these as well because they're large gemstones. If you want to just add a little bit of detail there, no problem. M-O-P-O -O 95, right. Um, right, have a look. These are some miss it, miss out auctions for you. I've got some more of the chain. Look at this. It is fabulous. Oh, love it. I love the way this unravels. So pretty. I love this chain. This is fairly new. She was here at Joy Maker. Haven't had it very long at all. It's been on a couple of times. Um, Gemma Crow had this in her kits um, a couple of weeks ago back in March. And we just can get some fantastic, fantastic results with this. You can weave in and out of those links. Really contemporary. Really, really contemporary. I love it. I really do love them. Gorgeous, isn't mm. it? And if you've got the one we had earlier, I think we had the gold coloured one early on rose gold apologies you could really mix those up couldn't you use those colors together five millimeters in size your antique copper plated box chain approximately five millimeters 11 pounds and 95 pence f-u-p-o 84 for five meters Do you know what? i think you could make a coaster out of this just gluing it together that would look fab wouldn't it that's a good idea yeah coasters yeah, with five good. meters i need some new coasters <laughs> um right Kyanite for you. Oh my. <gasps> right. This is where I am going through prices in my head now. I have never ever seen this much kyanite in one strand, I don't think. So Danny is curious now because this is what happens every time. Um, I am now going through prices in my head this is kyanite this is a collector's gemstone it's completely natural coming all the way from the rooftop of the world over in the himalayas my favorite blue gemstone because it is completely natural and has the most fantastic vividness of color within this gemstone the luster it's almost pearly like luster a real silky like luster you've got to this gemstone for us to give you rounds at 200 carats of round you know we have cabochons um i think i've seen a seven carat cabochon before 200 carats of rounds this could quite possibly be a first for me i've had a strand of nuggets oh, i've had wow. cabochons collector's gemstone 49.95 eight millimeter rounds for your gents pieces as well perfect perfect gemstone you've got here 0800 644 655 i thought do you know i've got to be honest three figures for me this is it's kyanite 200 carats at eight millimeter rounds as well each one of these is absolutely huge that price tag is ridiculous 39 pounds and 95 wow. pence i've got to be honest again two of these gemstones 925 no, nothing less nothing less in earrings 40 pounds 50 pounds depending on where i'm selling i'd have my money back on two of these gemstones there's probably approximately 40 here oh 800 655 four chances left if you've got this in your basket do not miss out you don't have to you just need to check out as soon as you can well done if you've got that um cheryl welton collector in somerset collector in northumberland who is it gonna be no i'm bringing it back i'm bringing it back sorry can i just show you the luster again 
You've almost got chatoyancy, haven't you? Oh. It's beautiful. Sorry, there's one right in the centre. Sorry, Danny's like, right, next. Um, sorry, can you see that one in the centre? It looks like a planet. Can you see that swirl? Oh, it's just Beautiful. gorgeous. Like outer space, isn't it? I love them, yeah. Oh, I don't think you're going to get them, Karen. Colour is glorious. With the pearls. Oh! Um, some more Labradorite for you. Have a look at these. These are gorgeous statement rings. Statement rings are oh, hello colour. Look at that labradorescence. Just magical. Beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Do you know, if you saw a carat weight like this, any one of these gemstones, just one of them set into sterling silver in a silver boutique in those seaside shops that I always talk about. There's one in particular in Pembrokeshire um, that I go to quite often. And uh, Labradorite is always there. A Labradorite, Amethyst, um, Amber, those kind of gemstones. I've seen pieces probably around this size here, uh, set into 925 sterling silver, anything from £70 upwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Thing is, Karen, I've, I've paid. You know, yeah. I've paid those uh, kind of prices. People before. do, yeah. People do pay that because that's what they expect. Yeah. You do, though, don't you? Yeah. But here, jewelry maker. Not fourteen ninety five where we should be. Danny's like, do you know what? We've got eleven chances left. Nine ninety five. Oh. Fastest fingers first. You've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven individual gemstones there. One hundred and forty five carats. 13 by 10 to 20 by 15 millimetres in size. They are hot rocks at 9.95. Do you know what? That's not even a pound each. Not even a pound each. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. I can't believe where that time has gone. It's time for another star buy. <laughs> This pink is gorgeous. Just, you know, it makes me think of marshmallows. Soft and fluffy bunnies yes. or marshmallows. It's just that really, really delicate hue. Well, girly pink. You know, I've got to be honest, I'm not really um, a, a girly girl. You know, I'm not into my, my pinks and my purples so much, but this gemstone for me and this particular hue, just like your Morganite, you know, it's that soft, delicate pink that's fluffy. I just <laughs> love it. It is like a fluffy pink. I've said the same as you. I'm not particularly into pinks, yeah. but it depends on what pink. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this, it's just... So soft. You know how, um, you know, citrine, it's referred to as the happy gemstone, isn't it? Because you look at it and, it, and it's like got that uplifting colour and it makes you smile. This is making me smile, this strand. Yeah. It really, really is. It's just that soft. It's almost a warm pink hue that you've got with your opal there. This is phenomenal. Really, really pretty. Now, do you remember good... Oh, uh, two months ago maybe even more possibly i had a kit with some natural purple opaline and it was on and gone it's exactly what's going to happen with this this is natural pink opal your entire stash could just be about this gemstone and no other because there's so many varieties there's so many different colors of your opal as well. Generally, pink opal, a mm, couple of nugget strands I think I've had in, in bundles with dendrite opal and stuff like that before, but a strand like this, I can't say I've ever seen one if I'm completely honest. Natural opal, collector's gemstone. So think about the opal that you've already got in your stash. Is it Ethiopian? How, are you lucky enough to have some of the natural purple opal that we've had? How about some of the Peruvian blue opal? How about the green opal? Do you know the blue opal with this? Oh, it would look gorgeous. Or just some white opals, some beautiful Australian opal. Anything will work with these. Add it to your other pinks. You know, if you've got some morganite, some kunzite, mixing those beautiful soft pink hues together, candy floss pink. You have a big carrot weight, and I can tell you now, these are going to sell out. 
they will be on and gone. Anytime we have natural opal, they are on and gone when we're looking at this colour. It is so rare. Now, Danny's just looking on our website, and apart from the nuggets, this is the most affordable strand of pink opal you're going to be able to get your hands on here at Jewelry Maker. I would be dialing now, trust me, because there will be so many of you in five minutes' time kicking yourself. Again, let's pay a uh, guess the price tag. Um, pink opal. Pink opal, collector's gemstone, natural. I would have to say, genuinely, bottom of my heart, jewelry maker price, $29.95 for this, and I think that's really good. £29.95. Pink opal and rose quartz pendant online right now. Rose quartz and pink opal in a pendant on a chain over £600. Over £600. Pounds. You can, and you're free to do this anytime. If you're watching on the web, great. Just open up a new tab, type in Pink Opal and see what kind of prices you can find yourself. We will not be beating. No. You've still got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Can I just say that there is a huge amount of you on the web right now and already there are multi-bias twos. In fact, pretty much every other person on my call screen right now is multi-buying. Now, Webers, Webers can see the price tag. I can't, and the telephone bidders can't. Now, telephone bidders, if the Webers are already buying twos, threes, I've got a four there as well. You need to be involved. You need to be dialing now because we mean business. www.jewelrymaker.com or dial that telephone number on the bottom of your screen as quickly as you can. You've got 40 carats. 40, do you know? Can I just say 40 carats? 40 points. 40 points and I'd be happy at 29.95 genuinely this is pink yeah this is pink opal this is natural pink opal 40 points do you know me saying that Danny's got 40 points 40 points is a big carrot weight 40 points is a big carrot weight in jewelry 40 carrots is redonkulous i tell you you have faceted rondelles Five by one, sorry, five by two to two by one millimetres in size. Do you know what? Can I? I don't care. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. This is genuine pink opal that's natural. It deserves this time. I'm going to count how many gemstones you have exactly on this strand. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Just talk amongst yourselves. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Not done. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 60. No, 70. Gosh, there's so many I've lost count. I am on 70. 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88. 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 101. <laughs> 101 approximately on this strand. Do you know what? You can make these go so far. 101. 101 natural pink opals. Channel setting, just taking, I don't know, four, four of these. Channel setting them into a ring. Oh, I wouldn't use anything less than 925, Karen. No, no. What would you do with this strand, Karen? I think it would just look nice restrung as a bracelet, as I said earlier, oh. with one of the in infinity oh, links. Yes, definitely. I really do. It's such a, a beautiful, delicate strand. Do you know what? You could make an entire suite from this strand, actually. You could, actually, Couldn't you? yeah, easily. Look at that together with 925. This is a great thing. Again, it's one of those gemstones. Just one second, Danny. Karen. What kind of price tag do you think we're going to on this opal? Well, when you said £30, yeah. I, was, I was already thinking 35 to 40 because okay. of 
the prices I've seen all pull up b before yeah. and the fact that they're faceted. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to say. Okay, so Maybe. I said 29.95. You're saying 30 to 40. But I'm going to tell you, we're going to do something really special. Yeah. And this is jewellery maker. So yeah. jewellery maker prices. <laughs> Should we show a text? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Claire and Greater London says, how much? That is nuts. Yeah, you got mine. Right, that's going to be interesting. What about 120? Oh, you're joking. What, 110? <laughs> oh, really? No. Six pounds and 95 pence. Six pack. Do you know I went to Cabri World yesterday? Had a great time. It cost uh, me um, and my son, and I went with guest designer Claire and her daughter as well. Uh, collectively, it cost us £50 to get in for the four of us. We got three bars of chocolate each, which, you know, is a bonus. Um, they lasted like not very long, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, <laughs> yes. Danny just said, I can just imagine you and Claire walking around uh, Cadbury World saying, do you know what, I could have got some pink opal for this. Yeah, we had fun. That chocolate didn't last very long at all. You've just got yourself a collector's strand. Genuine pink opal that is 100% natural at £6.95. You know, when we think about this realistically, this day and age, what you can get for £6.95 is not a lot. It's really not a lot. But you have the most phenomenal strand of genuine, natural pink opal at just 6 dollars even with your PMP. Even with your PMP, we're under £10, aren't we? I mean, come on. I tell you, we won't be beaten. 30 day money back guarantee. 30 days. Within that time, you can go anywhere. Anywhere you like, you can look online. If you find anything else, same quality, same carat weight, anywhere near this price tag, feel free to send this back. 30 days is there for your peace of mind, nothing else. You've got quality, you've got the carat weight here, and my goodness me, we've given you the best price tag. VU, are you 56 is your code for this one. A huge, huge congratulations if you've managed to check that out. What a steal. That's incredible. It is. It's magnificent. I love it. I love it. Um, right, after the break, we have, did you say chains? A chain section. Who made that? I don't quite like the track. I really <laughs> like the track. I really like what you've done there, Sam. Choo choo chain section 925. Don't go anywhere and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Ooh, ooh. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. 
You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call center. Tune into Jewelry Maker for the home show, where we'll be demonstrating how to apply your favorite technique to accessorize your home. Welcome back. <laughs> choo, choo. Um, welcome back to uh, Jewelry Maker. Sam, how long did that take you? couple of minutes that long joking joking <laughs> um look choo choo chain gonna have a little bit of a chain section i do like this this though that's good i like what you've done there yeah i know i know it's really good they are good tracks um chains for you now i'm gonna start off with five five one meter lengths of silver plated chain for you these are fabulous love 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 these now, with five metres, goodness me, that's a lot of chain, isn't it? So, you could take one metre length and you could layer that look up, couldn't you? And uh, just have that. As it is, I really, really like that. Silver, of course, again, it's my favourite. Always will be. Look at that luster. Even from there, it looks fabulous. Now, I've only got 12 chances. They will all be on and gone. I've just looked at all of these chains. I do have one particular favourite, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the links here, six by three millimetres. So actually, you could get your head pins through there. You could get your thicker gauges of wire through there, actually. And you could wire wrap onto those if you wanted to add a pendant in there. You could, no problem at all. Any gemstones? In fact, how about one of these? How about one of these? Yes. This is not working. <laughs> what are you doing, Anna? Um, I've no idea. Absolutely no idea. Maybe that way. Maybe we do like that. You could wire wrap one of these that's coming up in the kit, couldn't you? And you could have that on this chain. That chain is so substantial. You could do that, no problem. Statement, look, hello. Um, that works out to just two pounds per metre. Two pounds per metre length of chain. You've got five individual metres. And do remember that with just one metre, you could get uh, two 16-inch lengths for necklaces and a seven-inch bracelet or anklet if you wanted to. So they're going to go a really, really long way. So actually, that's ten, yeah, ten 16-inch lengths you could get out of five metres that you've got there. 0800, 644, 655, FP, AZ, one Eight is your code for these last seven chances. Telephone bidders, please don't sit there and think, do you know what, I've not got time. Quantity is too low, I've not got time. If you don't dial in, you will never ever know. And we do have so many people that sit there with things in their baskets and don't check out. So just be really, really quick. FP, AZ, one eight. Okay, sterling silver chains. Now I have five bracelet chains. These are gorgeous. Now these are 925. Last time I had these, in fact, I don't know how we've got any left. How many do we have? 18. Now I'm just going to pop one on the wrist and then I'll pop the other five over my hand. So you've got five bracelets. Do you know what? I'd come in and just get these for gifts. Yeah, me too. Just gifts. Yeah. Such a great idea, isn't it? Look at the links on these. They're really beautiful. You've got your round links and your oval links on there as well. You've got your lobster claw fastening. 
you're going to get five in total. I've just got three out, but you will get five. 17 centimetres in length, which is approximately just over three and uh, sorry six and three quarter inches in length solid 95 sterling silver finished bracelet you don't have to do anything to these if you don't want to or again those links sizable enough to pop your head through uh, head pins through there and add gemstones to that design if you wanted to you could even pop one of the uh, infinity charms in there couldn't you wc vv10 is your code for these for one of these one of these do you know what I've got to say? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. And I'd be happy, more than happy, at ten pounds each. Five pounds each, I'd multi buy. How about two ninety-nine each? So even if you sold these on, you know, at kind of eight pounds, you've made your money back and some made a profit. Um, oh gosh, there's lots and lots of you there. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. I've got a couple of multi buys. Massive, massive. Well done. 0800 644 655. Hold those telephone lines. Well done, Webbers. Okay. I did have a favourite. This is it. It's the fluidity of these chains. Just have a look. Oh, wow. In fact, I'm going to hold this on the blackboard because it does look pretty fabulous on there. There's a lot of silver in here in fact look even from there my goodness me luster tastic this is beautiful your snake chain 925 sterling silver been on once before i've got the last 30 46 centimeters in length that is approximately 18 inches in length there the fluidity of these snake chains is just gorgeous you've got such incredible weight there 3.8 grams of 925 sterling silver in your snake chain this feels incredible as well really really beautiful you can feel that weight you can see the luster of your 925 sterling silver i would be multi-buying again adding value to your designs kerry and paul in belfast have got two barbara in surrey's got two sally in staffish has got two uh, varna in surrey you've got two as well 0800 644 655 for the final 30 only been on air once before about to sell out £8.95. Well, there's no point writing down the code, is there? Because we've only got 30. Danny says, I'll write down the code for you, Hannah. I'll pop it on your list. Uh, XNVB24. I have got no chance. <laughs> no chance. Have you seen the call screen? <gasps> okay. Have a look at this design this one's got a huge extender chain on extender chains are brilliant um really really great because you know it depends on the um on the the neckline that you're wearing how how high or low the neckline is uh, and also sometimes um it depends on the weight of the pendant that you're wearing as well but these ones again good to go so you've got your extender chain on there 925 sterling silver fabulous i think chains are great as a gift idea because if you're not sure if someone's ring size and you're not sure if someone's got their ears pierced or not come in and get them a chain and then you can make them a pendant for their birthday you can make them another pendant for the next birthday another pendant for christmas if you like sorry i mentioned it again um 95 sterling silver 16 inches in length with your two inch extender chain that's that is 16 to 18 inches Six pounds and ninety-five pence, one point three grams of nine two five sterling silver. X I P O ninety seven is your code for this one. How many did we have? Fifteen. Oh, one five. One five. Fifteen chances already. There are so many of you multiplying that quantity is going, going. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Hold those lines. I've got one more for you. Okie cokies, let's whoopsie. have a look at this one. Again, you've got your extender chain on this one. Oh gosh, this is really, really lustrous. The cut on this chain on the links gives you so much sparkle. See, the thing is with sterling silver as well is even if you just wore one of these chains, no gemstones, no pendant whatsoever, 
It's a real feminine look, real delicate look that I absolutely love. XSPO48 is your code for this one. Again, you're looking at a 16 inch chain with your two inch extender on there as well. So that's 16 to 18 inches in length there. 0800 655. Straight down, again, six pounds and 95 pence for you. 0800 644 655, as soon as you can. Dial in, hit your number one button. There is an automated message on the phone lines when you come through. You can listen to it anytime you like. Right now, I'll just press your number one button, get through to the call center and confirms so you'll have your chains home in just a few days time. Coming up a little bit later on, um, these pearls. These are lushness. Look at these. Oh, do you know, these are perfect for wire wrapping, aren't they? Into a ring, just one of those. Bridesmaids. I love those. They're really beautiful. They're gorgeous, They're beautiful, aren't they? they? Those are coming up for you uh, about half past the hour. And towards the end of the hour, if you were looking for something to go with those huge pearls that you got earlier on, how about some ruby? Look at this colour. Wow, gorgeous, mm. love that, really rich ruby. So that's coming up towards the end of the hour. Right, um, earring posts, butterfly backs as well. This is a great way of topping up your stash. There are so many earring findings here. These are brilliant as well because, you know, whatever age you are, you know, for, for the younger generation that perhaps are just having their ears pierced and, and uh, starting to wear earrings, these are perfect. And again, you know, whatever age, they're timeless. They're classic, these are. And you can add so much to these if you want to. Any size gemstone, any colour gemstone, any shape gemstone that you like. Simple studs with your loops on, so you can attach your gemstones there. And you've got your butterfly backings on these as well. So really, really secure fastening. Look how many pairs you've got. You have 50 pairs of earrings. 50 pairs in total. That is a huge amount of earring findings to top up your stash with. Have a look at the post there as well. Got very, in fact, I'll use the tweezers so you can see. Bless you, Daniel. Uh, a very long post there as well with your butterfly backing really really secure and they're gold plated so you've got that luster that look of solid gold but you don't have the price tag of solid gold 50 pairs yikes they're gonna last you a long time do you know what eight pounds and 95 pence i'd already multi-buy you're telling me we're going lower oh my gosh I hundred six double four six double five ez jd five zero is your code oh my gosh that is less than 10 pence a pair 50 pairs of earrings at four pounds and 95 pence that's ridiculous it is, isn't it? <laughs> 10 pence a pair pennies pennies per pair i would multi buy i really really would that is such a fabulous deal for you come in get as many as you like in fact as many auctions as you like from midnight last night right through until midnight tonight one postage and packaging um andrew in hertfordshire says uh, hi there my lovely ladies at last karen i get to message you live on tv <laughs> beautiful designs i am watching intently thank you for the inspiration and hannah you're wonderful Oh, <laughs> uh, great show, everyone. Oh, thank you for that. That's lovely. I think I know who that is, actually, because I'm pretty sure we're friends on Facebook. Oh. That's why, if that's the person I'm thinking of, hiya. It's oh. nice to hear from you. Well, the thing is, Karen, you're not here very often, are you? So we, we have to take advantage. Well, he said to me on Facebook he was going to try and message me, so oh. bless him. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Fabulous. Did you see the birdcage? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? In the next kit, in the next kit as well, I've got something brand new for you. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick sneaky peek. I've got some more wire, copper wire as well. And these. Bad news. I don't like bad news. We've got a double figure quantity. And these are brand new. These are, do you know, bridal, mother of the bride, your corsages. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, Karen. Yes, how high end with the brooches. Oh my days. There's not going to be enough, is there? No. Yikes. That's coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. Second kit for you with some copper wire. I cannot wait for that one. 
um, 15 minutes until the pearls as well, so not long at all to wait for those. Right, let's have a look. Oh, look. Oh, from that pearl, uh, pearl opal, pink opal is what I meant. Pink opal to this. What does this make you think of, Sam? Mm. Yes, Sam, my wavelength the beach holidays yes how fabulous with this just simply restranded simple stretchy bracelets yeah it, it, it does scream summertime doesn't it yeah do you know what we've had a little snippet of that oh, today with those flat um ovals oh the pearls yes Carol. oh look at that not just a pretty face look at those <laughs> <laughs> look at those together that is oh, such a beach look isn't it, it? is isn't it girly beach look and with the pink opals as well can you imagine mm. code for the pink opals i'm surprised there's any left um at the bottom of your screen there 200 went wow um we did have a large quantity of those code at the bottom of your screen for the pink opal if you missed out it's still there would look fabulous with this coral and with those pearls that are coming up for you very very soon as well it is a really really fantastic again it's one of those happy gemstones isn't it uplifting simple stretchy bracelets just for the summer really wearable with your jeans and t-shirt maxi dress oh yes <laughs> YPP 07 is your code for this one at £4.95 for genuine pink coral you've got there. Well done. If you've already checked out, add this to your order. £4. That's a clearance price tag. We shouldn't be below um, £6.95 for anything here at Jewelry Make, you know. Apparently. £4.95. What's oh, that? 0800 644 655 YPP 07 with your light blues as well. You know, you, you, your beautiful uh, soft blues, your baby blues, your baby pinks, they look great together. Love them. Well done if you've managed to get those. And um, bead stoppers. Do you know why Danny's never seen the bead stoppers before? He's never bought you the bead stoppers before. I had some um, not too long ago. Um, these are always really, really popular. This is one of those, um, it, a really simple solution, isn't it, to one of uh, life's very annoying jewellery making problems that we all have. It's just so simple as well. Um, when we are working away, it might be that you're taking your time um, working on a piece. I need to cut a strand, I think. Um, working on a piece and um, the phone rings or the doorbell goes and you put your strand down and they're off they're off thanks sam here's one sam made earlier um so as you can see you know it might be that you, you you're chatting away on the phone oh phone's ringing hello hello oh yeah yeah um oh i've just bruised missed it just, i've just lost half of them just lost half of them there. But what you could do is just have a little stash of your bead stoppers on your desk, phone rings, bead stopper on. <laughs> Problem solved, Sam. Problem solved. And do you know what as well? Also, when you're going to craft fairs as well, when you're going to craft fairs um, and maybe you're halfway through something, you need to take the strand with you. So save you putting that in your bag, risking tying a knot that's not going to stay put. Um, you can pop your bead stopper on like so, like so, there you go. They are not going anywhere. It's just one of those really simple solutions, isn't it? Great thing is, is that you're going to get 12 pieces as well. So you can, this is, these are great for me. Somebody that starts projects and never finishes them. Um, this is great for me. So you can just pop these on all of your strands pop them in your craft bag leave them on your work desk go off and go do something else if you need to SYGX09 six pounds and 95 pence for you do you know the amount of guest designers that have come in and said you know what I've got so many of those I I've got, got so I many got of them, them. Yeah. they're brilliant aren't they Karen Actually, I was going to ask if I could borrow one <laughs> yeah you can borrow one no problem at all isn't you know what's interesting about these I think is that so many guest designers have said yeah you know I've bought a lot of those um because I always lose them but this is what I love, the fact that you've got a pack of 12 there. Don't lose them. Don't lose them. Multi-buy as well at that price tag. £6.95 for you. 0800 644 655. Well done if you've got those. Sorry, Sam. 
drop some of them off there before I use the bead stopper. If I'd use the bead stopper, I was just trying to demonstrate not using the bead stopper. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> um, right. Um, Schmokey. Oh, look at these oh. shapes. Oh, it's the shapes. They've got little cubes. Oh. Wow. It's one of my favourites. Smoky quartz. Evening gemstone. Not officially. It's only me that calls it that, I think. Um, it's actually Kunzite that's referred to as the evening gemstone. But for me, this just has such evening elegance. Uh, yeah. You know, it's such an elegant gemstone. Smoky I'd, quartz. I'd like to see it used in combination with that sort of box chain you had earlier Ooh. on. Ooh, that would work, uh, Yeah, it? I'd like love to see it in a multi-strand necklace. Do you know, that would work because, if I remember rightly, that was our Sam's hand. See what I mean? <laughs> you, you can't leave anything. If you leave anything, there she is. <laughs> She's having it. Have you, have you taken the Labradorite? Where's the Labradorite? Where is the Labradorite? I haven't taken the Labradorite. Peace did. Don't blame Peace. Um, <laughs> if I remember rightly, the links on the chain were five millimetres. These are four millimetres. This could work, you know, could yeah. work. Um, your cubes as well, you can create some really contemporary pieces with these. Look at that oh, glamour. Look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at the clarity. They're fab, aren't they? That is incredible clarity you've got on your smoky quartz there. Do you know what I love about smoky quartz as well is that not all of us... Um, not all of us like the harshness of a black gemstone, do we? So if you want that more subtle tone, that softer tone, yeah. use your smoky quartz instead. Yeah. Would you like to say hello, Danny? Well, he didn't speak, he just went... <laughs> he came in and he's gone. I think it's because he's had a shave, he doesn't want to show his face. Um, have a look. See, would this work? I'm not so sure it would, you know, now. Danny's just passed me the chain. You'd have to get that home. But what I was thinking was yeah. a, um, a, a piece of chain. Yeah. Uh, like a multi-strand, like, then you have smoky quartz, then another length of chain, then your smoky quartz. So you've got a multi-strand, yeah. either a choker or a necklace, so they're coming down in layers that in between, so that the smoky quartz is, is sort of layered in yeah. between. Maybe with smoky quartz you could put, like, a little... Um, I don't know, two millimetre seed bead or, or wow. space bead or something. That would be such a contemporary design yeah. as well, wouldn't it, with those cubes? I would that love to see look. that. That would look fabulous. Yeah. Um, do you know, you're getting two strands here. 60 carats in each strand, £11.90, phenomenal price tag. But actually, where are we taking it, Danny? Crazy town. <laughs> Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for you. PZGC one zero is your card. You're going to get two for that. Yeah. Oh my See, word. See, if you were getting one, Karen, you'd be happy, wouldn't you? I would. Me too. Me too. But two strands you've got there. Again, just simple stretchy bracelets. You know, joy making doesn't have to be complicated. It really doesn't. So again, if you're brand new to us here at Joy Maker and you're thinking, oh, I couldn't make that birdcage that Karen. It doesn't have to, you know, it takes time. We all have to start somewhere. Simple stretchy bracelets with this. Simple earrings, you know, dropping maybe um, three, four of these onto a head pin, making a shepherd's hook with your head pin, which again, it will tell you how to do in the Getting Started booklet. You could do that. You're going to have a simple pair of earrings very, very quickly. I still do simple stretchies. Yeah, do you know what? It's, it's something, isn't it, Karen? Yeah. Everybody always wants as well, I think, as a, as a crafter. Or wearing jewellery yourself. You want that really versatile, really wearable piece of jewellery, don't you? Exactly, You don't yeah. always want to wear that masterpiece. You want something for every day. Well, exactly, yeah. I mean, it, it, it doesn't have to be statement jewellery. I mean, yeah. we, we do statement jewellery because it's eye-catching and it's easy for, mm -hmm. easier for people to sort of learn from. Yeah. I mean, that, that's why, why us as guest designers do it, because I think when people see something visually yeah. impacting, the, the, it's easier to learn from. Mm. So that's why we do it. But for every day where if I was selling my jewellery, I, I wouldn't be sort of doing many statement pieces. It would be, mm. you know, simple jewellery that looks yeah. elegant and like boutique jewellery, you oh. know? Yes, love it. Do you know what? There's so many of you multi-buying. I don't blame you. Don't blame you. Well done. Um, sorry, Danny. Heard Jeff wasn't listening. He doesn't know. He says he wasn't listening to himself. He has no idea. Do you ever do that? I do that all the time. Say something. Somebody says to you, what did you just say? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I do it all the time, Karen. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I'm like that as well. 
Um, magnetic clasps. I don't have the pearls anymore, unfortunately, because Sam has stolen them. <laughs> Do I? Where? Oh, those pearls. Sorry, I thought you meant the ones from earlier on. Beg your pudding. Um, magnetic clasps for you. I always think these, you've got to have them on your craft store. I can't part them. They're too magnetic. Is that possible? Um, it's always great to have them on your craft store because, you know, there may, there may be someone um, that comes over to your craft store and says, Do you know what? I love that necklace, but I have dexterity problems and I have trouble fastening a bolt ring clasp or a lobster claw fastening. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. I can change that. If that's a design whereby you can change your fastening, brilliant. Um, magnetic clasps, they're great for anybody with dexterity problems. It's such a secure fastening. The magnetic, um, the magnet, if you like, on this is really, really strong. So it does take some pull to get that apart but you've also got your little catch on there as well so when you turn that that's not going anywhere with macrame designs and kumihimo designs these are perfect as well you're going to be able to get a lot of thread in there a lot of cord in there you will get three pieces three pieces in total so it might be that you've got a macrame necklace or a kumihimo necklace you've got a ribbon end on there that has um, you know an S hook or something a little bit more fiddly on there, you can change it if you want. If you can change it for your customer so that they can have the benefit of the magnetic clasp, go for it. Four pounds and ninety-five pence for you. You will get three individual pieces. Oh, it didn't work that time. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, sorry, Bruce. Look at him just playing games, Bruce. Like, I'm trying to do my job here, Hannah. Um, 0800 644 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. E A T A 30 is your code for this one. 0800 644 Well done, Webbers. A couple of you multi buying there. So massive, massive congratulations. Well done. If you haven't dialed yet, you can still do it now. 0800 644 Hold the lines. You may be successful. Um, it's time for another cheeky star buy. Do you know the iridescence in these is phenomenal. Honestly, the blues, the greens, the pinks that I can see, they are just dreamy. They are, st look at the luxuriousness of these. Do you know what I love about this particular strand is the shape of the pearls that we have. It opens up so many doors, doesn't it? Ways that we can set these and ways that we can use them in our jewellery. You've got your drill hole, top to bottom drill hole there. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. You could quite easily just simply claw prong set one of those into a ring and that would look divine, wouldn't it? It'd look beautiful. You can see that iridescence. Look at the pinks coming through there. Um, as I was saying earlier, I love, you know, different shapes in your pearls. These ovals are stunning because it's giving you that real organic look. You know, pearls are an organic gemstone and you really have that look with this particular strand that you have here. That iridescence, that's something we all want to see in our pearls, you know, those beautiful hues coming through there. The iridescence that I'm referring to, by the way, are those colours that you can see, those subtle colours, that shiny colour coming through. So at some angles you can see some beautiful pinks coming through. You can see some gorgeous greens coming through, some lilac hues coming through there as well. That's iridescence and that's what we should be seeing from beautiful quality pearls like this. They are phenomenal. And do you know what? You've got so many <coughs> in this strand. Now, when I see pearls of any kind, I automatically think wedding. Automatically think bridal, think wedding. I'm thinking with the birdcage design that Karen did earlier on, you know, if you wanted to incorporate these into that design, they would look fabulous hanging down in that birdcage, you know, or wrapped around somehow. They're perfect for something like that. Again, if you wanted to make these go really far, individual rings. 
earrings. There's no reason why, again, making it really simple, you can just drop one of these onto a head pin and attach that to an earring finding. Bridal pair of earrings, mother of the bride, mother of the bridegroom, they are phenomenal. Now you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, nine, twenty nine individual beautiful ovals there. And every single one of them has that incredible luster, that beautiful, beautiful iridescence. That's the sign of quality right there. They're 15 by 10 millimetres in size. That is really, really sizable. Now, again, this is great that we do this here at Jewelry Maker because going back to the pearls that we had earlier on, you know, they were huge, um, you know, they were nearly round, if you like. But this irregular shape means that we can do something even better on price tag because roundness is one of the things that is taken into consideration when it comes to valuing pearls. So pearls that are irregular, again, for me, this is proof that this is a genuine strand. It's not fake, it's not synthetics. As I said earlier on, when you, when you tend to see the synthetics and the faux pearls and, and the fakes, they tend to always be perfect rounds because they're trying to simulate the look of a perfect pearl. You don't very often see synthetics of this shape. This is why I love your irregular shapes that we get here at Jewelry Maker. There are so many on this strand. In fact, you could have an entire suite, couldn't you? An entire bridal suite. You could use some of these in a beautiful hair comb, couldn't you? Or a tiara. Yeah. Um, you could have a pair of earrings. You could have one in a pendant. You could have one in a ring. There's so many there. I'd multi-buy. I just have to multi-buy. It's really easy to get involved. All you need to do is dial the number on the bottom of your screen. That's 0800 644 655. And of course, you can get involved on the web. Either way, it's not going to cost you a penny. £9.95. pence. Nine ninety five. Sharon in Cambridgeshire has got three of these. Again, I'm going to get our jewelry maker trumpet out and blow it. Um, this is what I love about us here at Jewelry Maker. What I love about us here is that we bring you these prices and we don't say, do you know what? I know that's a clearance price tag, so what we'll do to make it, uh, you know, make it fair, to make sure everyone gets them, uh, is we will limit you to two, three per customer. It's jewelry maker, because if you want to come in and you want to get five of these, you want to get ten of these, we're going to let you. <laughs> if the stock's there, you can take as many as you like. There's no limit to how many you can come in and purchase. And you've only got one postage and packaging to pay from midnight last night right through until midnight tonight. It's £2.95 standard. When you look at delivery costs elsewhere, I've told you before, going back to Christmas, I did leave something till the last minute, it's typical of me. Um, I was buying a book, the book was £5 because I left it late, the postage was £14.99. Oh. I had to pay it as well, Karen, it was oh. a book that I really needed to get for somebody. Yeah. Um, £14.99, postage. I know, you would have expected it to weigh a ton for that price, but it was just a tiny little book. Um, £9.95 pence plus your two ninety-five P and P. Absolute steal of a deal. Do you know what these would go with? Star buy that I have coming up for you at the end of the hour. Oh it's my perfect, days. Isn't it? You could, couldn't you? You could kind of every other drop a pearl in, drop a ruby in, drop a pearl in, or just go for one ruby in that necklace. With the pearls. Is, is that what we say? Oh, drop a ruby in, you know. Yeah, just very <laughs> casually. Very <laughs> casually. Yeah. But this is the thing here at Jewelry. You're kind of like I'm taking it for granted, aren't I? You, yeah, yeah, we just are. Drop, well, we drop do. A ruby in. Not synthetic ruby. Genuine ruby. <laughs> They're coming up for you towards the end of the hour. They are gorgeous. Um, did you say emeralds? <laughs> <laughs> have a look. I have some brand new emeralds oh hello now okay this is a big big carrot weight this is natural completely natural 
100 carats of Brazilian, see this is what I'm doing now, I'm thinking, okay, where are we going to go on price? 100 carats, natural Brazilian emerald. Do you know, again, what I love about our particular uh, strands of Brazilian emerald is that you get um, hints of other locations. It's all from Brazil, but the colour hues within this strand, you know, are showing us hints of the Zambian greens. They're showing us hints of the Colombian greens within this particular strand. And I love those different tones, those different hues that you've got yeah, running. Right, your hundred. Yeah. It's 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 kind of, um, you know, well, green is Mother Nature's backdrop, isn't it? You know, this is why yes. I love emerald so much. Yes. It's a very striking colour. But to have all these different hues within these strands, it makes you look more. It adds texture to your designs. It adds depth to your designs, mm, doesn't it? I agree. It, it makes you look at each and every single one of those emeralds and see that different delicate hue. You know, in every single one, those beautiful inclusions within each emerald that you have there. Those inclusions, that's Mother Nature's fingerprint within the gemstone. You know, I want inclusions in my emerald. No two on the planet will ever ever be the same now do you know so many people have said to me and i totally totally get this i never used to like green gemstones at all now my top six are all green it was emerald that changed my mind for me if you are one of those people, and I, I've, there's been plenty of guest designers that have stood here and said, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of green gemstones, but I do love that. Yeah. Um, emerald is one of those that you've got to get home. You've got to get home. If you're wearing emerald, if you have it on your craft stall, it's got such striking colour. Somebody will come over and ask you about that design somebody will ask you about that piece of jewellery. Now, let's not forget, emerald, this is one of the most precious gemstones on the planet. This is a gemstone that the Queen has in her own personal collection. It's one of your big five. Who doesn't know emerald? Who hasn't heard of emerald? There's not many people, is there? Probably, along with diamonds, sapphires, rubies, one of the most famous gemstones on the planet. It's been worn by hundreds, by hundreds? Yeah, definitely, but been worn for hundreds, for hundreds and hundreds of years, um, by kings and queens, by royalty. So, for me, a carrot of emerald, for me, is an absolute dream. A carrot of emerald in any design. You are going to get a hundred carrots of genuine natural brazilian emerald for nine pounds and 95 pence this is a brand new strand 10 pence a carrot 10 pence per carrot for genuine emerald 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com you found an emerald solitaire for £1,500. It's not bad, actually. Um, we can't make direct comparisons. Um, you know, emeralds set into jewellery, maybe of gemstone quality, set into gold, platinum. This is 100 carats of B quality emerald that you have here. This is your opportunity to be able to get a huge, huge carat weight of genuine emerald for £9.95. If you are sat there, if you're sat there, like I was years and years ago, um, thinking, no. I don't like green gemstones. Come in and get this. Do you know what? You won't send it back. You won't send it back. 0800 644 655, trust me. 30 days you've got to think about it as well. At nine pounds and 95 pence, that is pennies per carat you've got there. In fact, that's not pennies per carat. That's, uh, yeah, 9.9 pence per carat. Get me, it is. See, sometimes I can't get the maths around my head for this reason. 9.9 .9 pence per carat for genuine emerald bonkers i tell you do you know again um i'm going to bring the pearls back that i just had because that's going to really work but also the emeralds uh sorry the rubies <laughs> emerald on the brain um the rubies <laughs> ruby and emerald yes please my favorite gemstone in the whole world and my birthstone result 
for a result. Yeah, that price is just crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It really so is. If I told you, um, Karen just said that paying, you know, 9.95 that price tag for emerald, ridiculous. If I told you that you could get this strand of emerald and this strand of ruby for under 50 pounds, what would you say? Oh, can you imagine? Can, if we could do that, that would be brilliant. That would be fantastic. Oh, 800 644 There are still approximately 25 in baskets right now. All you need to do is check them out. Get these home. You will absolutely love them. Again, if you're doing your birthstone pieces, emerald is one that you have to have in your stash. It's the birthstone for Meg. You lucky, lucky people. Can you change your birthday? Could I have like a... I can't, I can't even have my half birthday in May, can I? Being in July. <laughs> Gorgeous. Right. Um, sorry, say that again, Danny. Oh, do you know, as, as, as you said that, it's the first thing I looked at. Ooh, these really caught my eye. Look at these. Oh, I see. This colour is fabulous. I love these gemstones. They're so versatile, you know, these shapes. They're brilliant, aren't mm. they? I do love them, actually. They're cool. You've got some real peacock hues coming through. I know it sounds mad, but... Uh, it, the, this sort of really strikes me as a summer piece. I'd be interested to see what they look like with that coral you had earlier on. Oh, let's have a look. Um, the question is, what did I do with the coral? Because uh, <laughs> It's probably gone, is it? Probably. Probably Sam. Probably super efficient Sam. Yeah, be super efficient Sam. Uh, it's not me putting it back in the wrong place. Oh, yes, Karen. Yeah. <gasps> that is a good call. Look at these. Do you know, I never, ever would have thought to put these together. It's funny, and you, know, you see something, and it, it reminds you of something else. And wow. I think because it, it, it sort of struck me as being quite similar, yeah. and the shape as well. They are fantastic. Mm. That is, you have got kind of, uh, you know, your turquoise hues on the ocean. Yeah. So on that boat trip when you're on holiday. Yes beautiful they are gorgeous and again these shapes they're so versatile you know and you've got such impact from just one of these gemstones so again just wire wrapping one of these you know very delicate wire wrap uh, simple pendant design gorgeous one of these in a ring design stunning you're still going to have all of that impact because of the shape the size and the color that you have here 400 carats wow that's a massive, massive cat weight. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for you. See this again. These are those strands where I've got a multi-buy because I want to make them go really far and use them individually. But you know what? I want a real impact piece of. I want a real in-your-face piece of jewellery that just says, "Look at me." Yeah, me too. That would look phenomenal, wouldn't it? <laughs> I mean, how many people would compliment you on your jewellery if you were wearing a design like this? Everybody would. Yeah. Oh, I like that necklace. Ooh, let me have a go. Let's have a try. Let's have a try. No, sorry, can't take it off. Uh, seven pounds and 95 pence. WMPO71 is your code for this one. Hold those lines, well done. Right. Um, silver sea beads. Oh, do you know what this has made me think of again? The bird cage. Why, just delicate attention to detail. It is, yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about wire wrapping you know um some of these and that's the great thing about the bird cage design from earlier on is that you can take it wherever yeah. um you want you know you can add so much to that these are stunning whether you are using these to make um to make some more of your some of your higher end gemstones go even further using them as spaces um, as they are intended in between your gemstones Adding luster to designs as well. Do you know what I love to see these used in? Kumihimo and macrame. They just look phenomenal. They really do. Now, you have 600 pieces. 600 pieces. 
that is such a huge amount now a very very long time ago now uh, we may have seen guest designer mark smith do it more recently however um i haven't seen it myself but he did um a macrame bracelet long time ago whereby he used a hundred a hundred um seed beads like this very similar created a very links of london design as the designs are available a um, hundred of them. So you could have done that six times over with something like this. They are just one of those, one of those findings that you need to have constantly stacked up because it's surprising how quickly you can get through things like this. HR PO46. Look at the luster there as well. Silver plated brass seed beads. Now the three millimeter seed beads that you have here at twelve ninety five. Phenomenal, phenomenal price tag already. Do you know what? Let's take some money off. Let's put some money back in your pocket this evening. 0800 644 at £7.95 for you. Do you know? Come in if you want two, if you want three, one postage and packaging for you today. 0800 644 hrp 46 Lots and lots of you on those telephone lines right now. Well done for dialing in early. Press that number one button. You can speak to the call centre. Add these onto your order. You're going to have them home in just a few days' time. Not long at all. And do you know what? Again, versatility, any design, any gemstone, Absolutely anything. Uh, Peggy and Mick, well done in Oxfordshire. Tina collects it in Cornwall. Uh, Kathy in Derbyshire, you've just got <coughs> yours. Well done to you. Anna in Greater Manchester, collect it in Lincolnshire. Mary in the West Midlands, you're there. If you do want to get interactive this evening, by the way, let us know how fabulous your day has been in the sunshine. Uh, 60777, start a message with the word JM Studio. Or uh, you can send us a message on the web. If you're watching live on the web as well, you can just click inside the uh, message, the studio, um, and send us a message. I always do that when I'm at home. I'm always there sending messages. <laughs> Dib um, generally dibs in jewellery. Yeah, just leave that in the studio and mark it for the attention of Hannah Stewart. I'll get it next time. I mean. <laughs> um, right, do you know what? We are... Look, at. I can feel your eyes burning, Miss Anne. No, Um... <laughs> We are 15 minutes It's probably 596 there now um, We are approximately 15 minutes away from the next kit um, In the next kit, I'm going to give you a heads up Been showing you these for quite a long time now I've got something brand new that you have never ever seen before and my word I wish we had a couple of hundred I really do but we don't I've got four of these in the kit they're just I mean we have done all the work for you here haven't we gorgeous beautiful shells they're coming up just after eight o'clock in the next kit for you there are Four of those, Mother of the Bride, Mother of the Bridegroom. Yes, loving it. Corsage, brooch, pendant. Not long to wait for those. Um, it's time for another star bite. These, the richness of colour is just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, rubies, do you know, I've got some ruby in, in my collection, my own personal collection at home, really, really tiny amount um, that, that somebody sent to me as a gift, actually, one of our customers. Um, I need to get more into my stash because, and I say this every time I have it, and with these prices, Hannah, come on. Ruby, again, one of your big five, one of the most precious gemstones on the planet. If, again, you're doing your birthstone pieces, you're going to need to have this. It is the birthstone for July. Sam, when's my birthday? July. The... Oh. Oh, rubbish. Danny, if you don't know, our friendship is off. No, hang on, hang on. Yours is February 
Let me just have a think. Look, did you get a birthday present? Yes. Well, no, but I'm just saying it because I tell you all the time. I bet all of the customers are sat home saying, I know when it is. Because I say it a lot. 24-7. Can't forget it, can you? <laughs> yeah. It's easy to remember that now, is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. See, Karen, you will always I'm remember, remember my birthday that one. now. I expect hundreds of cards on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Um, it's my birthday, July the 24th, 24-7. Um, it's one of those. I'm, I'm really, I feel quite privileged to have this as a birthstone, actually, because it is one of the most precious. It's one of your big five, considered to be one of the most precious gemstones on the planet. You have that beautiful, beautiful depth of colour, which makes me suspicious. Well, not suspicious. It makes me think this is completely natural because this depth of colour, you don't generally see it in treated rubies. Now, there's a lot of gemstones in the industry that are treated and there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Wherever we can enhance beauty, um, we'll do it. We do it with ourselves, don't we? As ladies, makeup, we dye our hair. Obviously, mine's natural. Um, yeah, you know, so wherever there's room for improvement, we do it. This... 100% natural. Now, I will, if you came in here today and there was a strand of Fisher filled rubies that had the most beautiful inner glow, I will still tell you these are my favourite because you don't get depth of colour like this in a treated ruby. It's that real deep, almost raspberry hue, isn't it? Beautiful raspberry hue um, to your rubies here that I am head over heels in love with. You know, this colour, it makes me think of love. You know, it's just the colour of love. Such a romantic gemstone. And again, you know, to, to own Ruby, that's something pretty spectacular. Can I just say, screen's not doing these justice. I'm looking down and that colour, I'm almost seeing some pinks coming through as I'm looking down there as well. Swirls of pinks. The richness in every single one. I would use these sparingly. You know, I'd be taking one of these, dropping it maybe into the strand of pearls that we had earlier on. I mean, can you imagine wearing a ruby and pearl necklace? As, as Karen pointed out earlier on, you know, how casually I just went, you know, oh, just, you know, just ruby and pearls, <laughs> yes. every other, you know? <laughs> Who can say that? Who can say that? If you went into Harrods in London and you went down to the, um, you know, you know, all the jewellery concessions, all the designers down there, and you saw a ruby and pearl necklace with no price tag, you would know, you would know that that price tag would be for probably five figures, wouldn't it? You know, it's one of those. That, again, we, we, you know, very flippantly, yeah, pearls and rubies. But we can do that here at Jewelry Maker because our prices are so good. You are getting a oh, hundred. A hundred. Do you know, and again, let's just get this carrot weight into perspective here because hundred carats, again, we can say we say that very flippantly here at Jewelry Maker, don't we? Because we see it a lot. The average carat weight for an engagement ring here in the UK is 33 points. That is a third of one carat. That's the average carat weight for an engagement ring. A hundred carats. That is 1,000 points of ruby. There's a hundred points that make up one carat. So that gives us one thousand points that is so much ruby that you are going to have the opportunity to get home your graduated pair seven by five to twelve by six millimeters in size at 11 pounds and 95 pence yikes nothing less Nothing less than 95 sterling silver. Pair of earrings, have I got my money back? Have I got my money back on a pair of earrings? 95 sterling silver. I will be doubling my money 
on just two of the gemstones. You've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, four, six, eight, approximately 28 rubies. And we're at eight pounds and 95 pence for you this evening. It is time to get involved. 8.95, ruby under 10 pounds. Oh, do you know what? I'm not, I'm not even sure that the last strand of nuggets I had was this low. Ruby nuggets, 8.95. Do you know, ruby nuggets at 12.95 is great. Look at what you have here. And do you know what? I promise you, when you get these home, you're going to be amazed by that colour because the screen is not doing these justice. They have the most beautiful, silky-like luster. This is natural ruby natural ruby 95 percent of the world's rubies are treated in some way that leaves us with five percent that is natural how rare so we're not just paying 8.95 for 100 carats of ruby we're paying 8.95 for 100 carats of five percent of the entire world supply part of that five percent i should say uh, part of that five percent of the entire world supply of natural ruby I'm going to high five you all, I'll tell you. Uh, Valma in Greater London, Caroline's got two. Sharon in Cambridge, Susan, uh, Deck and Dine in Hampshire, times two. Karen in Denbyshire, well done. Christine, you've got yours. Uh, Christine's got two, actually. Well done to you. Uh, Playing in Greater London, you've got two. Well done. Elaine in Cambria, Jack collected in Merseyside. Philip, Suzanne, Sean's got two. Anne in the West Midlands, Lynette collected in Hampshire. Yvonne, Linda, congratulations. Teresa's just got two. Anne in Manchester, Sandra collected in Yorkshire. Shirley, Claire, Debbie collected in Merseyside. Marilyn, Arlene, Mary in the West Midlands. Uh, Linda, uh, Valmy and Greater London has just suddenly decided to get two. Teresa's got three. Well done, Caroline's got two. There are so many of you there. Telephone bidders, stay where you are. Make sure you speak with the call centre. You can do this. Just press your number one button. And if you haven't dialed yet, you can still do it. There's still time. 0800 644 655. N A R U 62 is your code for this. Now, coming up after the break straight after the break hello little fella look at these oh this is the only snake i will ever come this close to i tell you three of them oh i love those aren't they gorgeous oh, i really love those they are so so cute i absolutely love them and those are coming up just after the break, so not too long to wait for those at all. Um, should we squeeze in one more? Yes. Right. <gasps> now we have given these to Karen as a challenge. Mother of the bride. Yes. Mother of the bridegrooms, don't worry. You've still got plenty of time, Karen. Um, have a look at these. We'll have a look at Karen's challenge uh, towards the end of the show. They are beautiful. Look at this colour. Love, love, love. Okay, you've got that almost raspberry hue there, haven't you? A beautiful blush pink there as well. They are stunning. Dusky pink. Metallic fuchsia and your pink shell duo. 12 millimetres in size. They're huge, aren't they? Really, really sizable gemstones that you have there. You've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, approximately thirty-three on each strand. Ah, oh, Karen. <laughs> now, me saying mother of the bride. I know my mum would have loved to have worn this on my wedding day. If I'd have invited her. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's exactly what she's going to be sat at home going, yeah, if you invited me, I ran off into the sunset. It's not that I don't like my mother. I just didn't tell anybody. Um, yeah, that's such a beautiful design, isn't it? It's beautiful colours, isn't oh, it? I love it. It works this. so well with the antique bronze wire. It really does. Mm. In fact, now I've seen that with antique bronze, I wouldn't use anything else. Yeah, it really goes well with pink. I love it. Seven ninety five. Gosh. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for two strands. Wow, such an incredible deal for you there. I like hundred six double four six double five ZU GC fifty-eight is your code for these. That's less than four pounds per strand. Perfect roundness you've got there as well at twelve millimeters in size. I like hundred six double four six double five. Do you know what? That's just giving me an idea. That flower there, this flower here, oh, 
perfect. These are coming up for you after the break in the next kit along with the 925 solid sterling silver snake charms as well. Don't go anywhere and I'll be back with you in just a few minutes time. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. I started crafting from a very young age, doing all sorts of different crafting. That developed into card making and then onto jewelry making. I got started because my sister started giving us jewellery and the women in the family jewellery as gifts. To start I was making it for me and then my friends saw what I was wearing and then one of my friends said well why don't you have a go at selling so I thought well I'll give it a go and see how it goes. I do like a challenge it's because sometimes you look at something that you can't do it but then you don't know if you don't try do you? <laughs> when you've made it and you've just made it that's nice, put it on. When you get it out the next time, that's when you think, yeah, that looks really good, that looks quite professional, and I'm proud to wear it. Quite often at work, they'll, they'll ask me what I'm wearing. They're astonished, first of all, you think something's so simple, and they're, they're astonished at the, the piece of jewellery that you've made. They say it looks so professional, and when I show them how easy it is to do, um, they're saying, oh, can I have a go of it? These necklaces are great for layering up for happiness for your sort of holidays. Because they're there in the living room with you, you get to see the same people on a regular basis and you feel a bit like, like you know them. It's like a family, you know all the, the guests that are on the, on the TV and then when you come to something like a workshop, it's really good because you, you seem to know everybody, you know about the people that you're working with. It just feels like your own family, that you're actually there with them and you are part of their family, you're part of their, you know, their community. Sarah Elvin brings you her DVD, Friendship Bracelets. This fantastic DVD is filled with excellent techniques to create the perfect friendship bracelet. This includes the chevron style bracelet, the knitted style bracelet, and the crisscross bracelet. Friendships are forever, and so are bracelets. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Join guest designer Mark Smith for our introduction to Paracord DVD. This DVD will talk you through the various steps on melting and splicing, the Paracord jig, back-to-back -back bracelets, non-clip bracelets and snake knot bracelets. Get the inspiration and help you need to create your very own handmade jewellery. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Have a look at these little cuties. Oh, I love these. Do you know how designer these are right now? Um, there's there's quite a lot of um, 
uh, kind of animal motif things around at the moment. So clothing on handbags, perfume, but even makeup actually, um, I've seen very recently as well. Kind of everywhere. And it's either one or the other, butterflies or snakes. There is one huge, huge clothing designer that uses snakes in a lot of his designs. These could quite easily have his name next to them. And you know what? If they did, oh, well, you'd probably be looking at something like £50 each for something like this. Oh, quite easily. They are so, so pretty. If you are a crafter and you want to be right on trend, you've got to have them. You've got to have them. These will appeal to so many people. Gift ideas as well, brilliant. In fact, the snake chain that I had earlier on, just one of those on the snake chain would look gorgeous. One of those on a chain on the wrist, on a bracelet design, would look beautiful as well. They are 925 solid sterling silver, so they will add value to any of your designs. They are, and do you know what I love about these as well, is that you could wire wrap around these quite easily if you wanted to, no problem at all. 10 by eight millimeters in size, and you are going to get all three of them, all three. Back in stock after a good few months for you, another fantastic opportunity for you to come in and get these today. H-E-R-F-82 is your code for these. Now, I do have the snake chain um, still from early on. Sometimes you get thicker snake chains as well. That would look fantastic on one of these on a bracelet. Just simply popping one of those onto that necklace design or a bracelet, that's going to work really, really well. Any threading, you know, any any kind of macrame or kumihimo as well, you might be able to fit one of those over mm. perfectly, you know? Make the perfect size just to fit that snake charm there. And that's going to look gorgeous. They've got so much luster. And I love the detail as well, the texture on these, adding to that attention to detail. £13.95. Now, I just want to go back again to... Um, very famous charm brand here on the high street in the UK. Um, we've all heard about their prices. Very recently, um, I know somebody that spent £600 on a charm bracelet. You know, if that floats your boat, <laughs> great. Uh, if you can afford it, brilliant. Um, however, it doesn't have to be that pricey. If you have a look on their website, you can be paying around the £40 price tag for a solid stunning silver charm with no gemstones. £40 for one. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for three charms. That works out to two pounds and sixty-five-ish um, pence each for a nine-two-five sterling silver charm. Do you know what the great thing about this as well? The great thing about these is you wouldn't necessarily have to do anything with them. You could get these and you could sell them individually on your craft store as they are, yeah, or at, you know, yeah. as an addition to a design that you've already got. I'd love to see them in between beads, see how they'd fit together. Oh, that would look lush. Yeah. Wouldn't it? That would look really, really nice. You could work that into a design so that that would fit just snug, yeah. nestled in between some rounds there beautifully. I love that. Just as that little focal point in a design, they will look fantastic. Lots of you multi-buying. Anna in Greater Manchester has five. That's 15. Gosh. That's 15. Uh, Lorraine in Essex says, recently purchased some of these, lovely with leather and Ooh. emerald nuggets. Oh, very nice. Excellent quality. That's, re that's really designer, isn't it? Leather yeah. and emerald nuggets. Yeah. I'm just trying to think. What size did I say these were, Danny? 10 by 8. So have I got any rounds? Roundabout. Do you know what? I'm looking at all the strands. Every strands I have here, I don't have. <laughs> Other than the showers, which are quite large, actually. I could do with some smaller Maybe rounds. The oh, yeah, I haven't got the kyanides. But if I just... I'm just going to pop, try and nestle this little chap in there. I mean, these are larger than what I'd like to use, but they're the only rounds I have to hand at the moment. I've got them off the strand if oh, you want a couple. little star. Thanks, love. Two of the shells loose. I'm just gonna nestle him in there. So it might be that you want to use um, smaller gemstones. 
but just to give you an idea, that's with larger gemstones But there. even that looks nice, as large as they are, it does look nice yeah. in between, doesn't it? Yeah, really does. Really, see, it just adds that luster, doesn't it? It almost adds a bit of uh, pearlescence to your shells there it as well, actually, doesn't it? does actually, doesn't it? Yeah. They just bounce off each other. So in between your gemstones as well, they're going to look fantastic, aren't they? 0800 644 655. Um... Oh, I've read that text message. Sorry, I was reading another text message then. Um, well done to Rosie in Devon. You've got two weights in New York. You've got two. Brenda in Tynaway, collected in Suffolk, collected in New York. So Christine in five. Uh, Susan in Merseyside, collected in Conway. Well done, Maria in Greater London. Alexander and Myra, the telephone lines have gone bananas. Absolutely bananas. Three of them at £7.95. and pence. I love that. That's just... Do you know what? I'm just thinking as well, Karen, wondering... If that would work into a design, if you just kind of pop one of those on top of an earring somehow, yeah. just at the top there. Yeah, that, uh, funny enough, that comes to mind for me as well. I think yeah. go in, in between beads or maybe somehow into an earring. I'd love to see that. That looks gorgeous, mm. doesn't it? Really proud. H-E-R-F-8. 82 is your code for these. I've got about 40 in baskets right now. You must make sure you're checking out as soon as possible. Right. Lots of messages asking for the kit. Should I take those beads off you? Oh, thank you, lovely. Um, lots and lots of messages about these. I'm not surprised. Now, how many do we actually have? 73. Oh, it's not a lot, is it? Not a lot at all. Now, these are brand new. They've never, ever been seen before. They're going to go so quickly. This is the kind of thing where they have used come in a multi-buy because they've never seen them before and they're such a small quantity anyway you're probably not going to see them again for quite some time have a look i oh, just the detail in these is spectacular really really spectacular now you've got two different designs i'll show you them all so you've got two they're huge as well huge so you've got two different designs. So if you have a look at the carving detail on each of those, you can see that they're slightly different in their design there. So this one here and this one here have got the whiter shell at the front and then you've got two with the darker shell at the front there as well. Beautiful iridescent shell and for me it's not like you know I mean let's be honest we could do, we could have just brought you one layer of shell you know the larger layer of shell there carved would look stunning and I think you'd all come in just the same but what I love the fact here is the amount of shell that we've used in one design that layered up look to really give you that texture in your design you know that 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 three-dimensional look to your designs as well mm -hmm. It, it makes you want to pick up jewellery, doesn't it? When you see that texture and you see that dimension in your jewellery, it makes you want to pick up that piece and have a close look, have a look around that design as well. The attention to detail is phenomenal. We have done all of the work for you. We've done it all for you. I mean, there really isn't much you would have to do to a design like this. And let's face it, probably not going to want to do too much because you don't want to take anything away from these That's really right, do you yeah, yeah they're so beautiful all by themselves they are gorgeous now you will get four four pieces in total which really oh, do you know for me straight away i'm thinking mother of the bride and mother of the bridegroom i'd make them matching corsages matching corsages they are huge, aren't they? Really, really sizable. So you could have one of those. You could pop, uh, just literally glue. Oh, do you know what? I've got to show you the back of these. Oh, my days. Look at these. And this is the back of the shell. Look at the iridescence. Pinks. Grit. That's the back. That's like abalone, isn't it? So that's the back. So... I'm thinking now, Karen, could you do something that's kind of reversible, two-sided? You know, you could maybe do a bit of fancy wire work on there and, and, and yeah, turn maybe. it around for a different look. It's almost a shame, isn't it, yeah. to kind of not make something in the back. So maybe have that a, a, as a reversible design as well. That's gorgeous. So beautiful. And look at the size of them. They are 
huge. 43 millimetres in size. Those little ridges in between every petal there. That's a fantastic opportunity to wire wrap with these, isn't it? You know, whether that be a brooch, whether that be a pendant, whether it be a corsage, one of these on a cuff as well. That is impact jewellery. Impact jewellery. And with any coloured wire. Again, for me, it have to be silver. I want to go with silver. But any colour is going to work with these. The iridescence just phenomenal just phenomenal 0800 644 655 you're not just getting four of your iridescent shells there you've also got some more wire to add to your stash tonight copper one of the most popular colors um, you've got three different gauges here you've got 10 millimeters of your point eight, 10 millimetres, sorry, 10 metres, that wouldn't be very much. <laughs> uh, 10 metres of your point eight millimetre gauge. You've got 10 metres of your point four, and you've got 10 metres of your point six. So three fantastic, fantastic gauges there as well. KV GC 29 is your code for this. So you're getting 30 metres of wire, and you've got four of your iridescent shells there now <laughs> already i have multi buyers we only started with 73 if this is just should be now can i just say again we're all different i know good job really um if i was making two matching corsages so what i might do with this i probably do some really elaborate wire work and all i would add is pearls for, for a mother of the bride and mother of the bridegroom. So I'd, I'd, I'd like to do two matching corsages for, for bridal pieces, for the, for the mums. Do you know what? I've got to say for one of them, I want to go around the £50 mark, Karen, oh. because it will be genuine pearl and you really say it's yeah. bridal again. Yeah. You know, it's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. Depends how much work you put in, obviously. 1995 for four we're under 20 pounds for a kit oh my gosh under 20 pounds for a kit you've got four of the iridescent shell flowers and you've got 30 meters of wire that's like five pounds per flower and the wire for free 30 meters of wire for free there brilliant you know i can see i'm just looking at my call screen right now and there are three of you that have just decided, four of you now, just said, you know what? I think I'm going to get two. I think I'm going to get two. The kit's under £20. I mean, even, okay, again, we're all different. Even if you wanted to put a £20 price tag on one of those corsages, if you do that four times, that's £80. That's a £60 profit that you've made there. And you're probably still going to have a lot of wire left. Uh, Miss Janet in Easter 6 says, those flowers are lustertastic. Great designs, Karen, and great show team. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Miss Janet. That's lovely. I hope you've managed to get the kit. I really, really do. Uh, that quantity is going very, very quickly. As I said before, there are so many of you multi buying, quantity is falling even quicker. Now, I'm going to take these designs over with me. Uh, because our Karen has made a beautiful um, napkin holder. And again, you know, this is something really, really easy for Christmas. In fact, not Christmas. Sorry, I said it again. Um, just special occasions. You know, if you're someone that likes to host, I like to do it. I like cooking, but I like to sit there and drink while I watch Herbie cook and host. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to take that off for a second if I yeah, can, Karen, yeah, just sure, to show sure. us all the way around there. Look at this. You know, for those important dinner parties, those special dinner parties, this is a really, really beautiful idea. Can you imagine... Now, there's a department store. I don't really um, spend much time in there. I tend to park in it. Uh, not in the store. I park in the car, <laughs> by the store when I go to the shopping centre. Walk through um, uh, walk through this particular store and then go into the shopping centre. So it's a big department store. Um, their carrier bags are green and white. It's a man's name. If these were on sale in that shop for the set of four... I think you could quite easily be paying £100 easily in that department yeah. store for something like this. You really, really could. The detail in this is beautiful. Look at this wire work. Karen, I love it. 
absolutely love that. And let's face it, when you've got your uh, dinner guests round, ooh, where'd you get these napkin ring holders from? Yeah. Yeah. And it wouldn't take much more work to make that into a, a wearable bangle, an adjustable bangle at of that. Of course, yeah. yeah. Definitely. That's, mm. so, that's just beautiful. I love, love, love that design. Um, one of our buddy readers, Sandra, as well, that has made this design. And you said as well this was your first idea, wasn't it, to, yeah. to make uh, one of these into a cuff. Again, look at that. Mother of the, look at the iridescence from there. Mother beautiful. of the bride, mother of the bridegroom. This was our Sandra that made this. Sandra, this is gorgeous. I've wanted to wear it for the whole show, except for if I had of, um, it would have uh, detracted from everything else <laughs> that I was showing. This it's is beautiful, phenomenal. isn't it? Gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? So again, just an example of what you and let's face it, if you're wearing because it, again with 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 uh, pearlescence with um shells it's all about the angle in which the light hits the gemstone to enable you to see that uh, gorgeous luster that you're going to get so with something as a piece of jewelry that is going to move imagine i mean again from there you can just see as the light bounces off that you will turn heads you're going to turn heads and um, how many are in baskets danny 11 of you now within baskets how many do we have left Ooh. Do you know what? We've got single figures left and more of you coming through on the phone lines. I did say this kit was going to sell out very, very quickly. If you want this, you can still do it. Dial in quickly. I'm always saying, you know, telephone bidders, and I get this as well when I'm sat at home, I think I'm not going to do it. Quantity is not big enough. If you don't try, you will never, ever know. There's lots of people that sit with things in their baskets that don't check out. Um, oh, hello. Ooh. This reminds me of that chocolate factory I went to yesterday. Mm. Do you know when you walk around, it's all you can smell. Oh it's my all you can smell when you walk around. They give you three bars each when you go in. Three oh big really? chocolate bars when oh you go in. And then, and then you get a cup of melted chocolate <gasps> and you get to choose what you have in it. Chocolate buttons, crunchy pieces, marshmallows. Oh gosh, by the time I came out, Karen. Oh my word. Yikes. It's good though, it's really good. Uh, 100 metres of purple wire you have here. I love this. Coloured wire is fantastic. Any opportunities you get to get the coloured wire, come in and get it, because in my opinion, we don't see enough of it. 100 metres there. If you're brand new to wire work, again, and you're thinking you want to do some higher end pieces, you maybe want to come in a little bit later on and get some sterling silver wire. Practice with your coloured wire. You know, practice when you've got them incredible deals because if you waste a couple of metres out of a hundred metres, it doesn't really matter, does it? Not at all. With your coloured gemstones, with your clear gemstones, it looks fantastic. Twisted. Yeah. Imagine this and gold twisted together. Yeah, I've actually done that. Put and gold together. The copper again. I've copper, got the, uh, exactly. the bangle on there yeah. as well. You can see the purple and the copper together. It's going to look magnificent. You've got your 0.8 and your one millimetre gauge. Oh! my days Gosh. so that works out <laughs> to less than seven pounds fifty each for 50 meters per meter 14 pence <laughs> 14 pence for a meter of wire that is bonkers. How about, as well, you could, again, with the iridescence you've got from those shells, there's no reason why you couldn't use this on your napkin holders. You know, maybe you've got a beautiful um, tablecloth, you know. Exactly, yeah. Lovely tablecloth, yeah. and this is going to be a great contrast. Or if you've got a floral centrepiece or something yeah. that you, uh, and you want to sort of match it up. Mm. I think that looks great in fascinators as well, the coloured oh, wire. I think it just fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous. Everything, yeah. um, Tracy in Cantantra says, please stop, I love chocolate. <laughs> um, Tracy, if you've not been, you've got to go. You <laughs> have to go. Something you probably only do once. Um, you've got to go. It's so interesting. Yeah. Really, really interesting as well as walking around all day and it just smells like heaven. It's oh. amazing. Um, all right, 100, 644, 655, 14 pounds and 95 pence. There's so many of you there. Make sure you're checking out nice and early to confirm your purchases. The only way you can do it is by completing your checkout. If you've got something in your basket, it's not technically yours. You need to check out. Well done. Um, right then, Karen, I'm going to let you show us how to okay. make this. So I'm going to start by showing you how to make the um, the, the the cuff of the uh, napkin ring, which is is going to end up looking like okay. this lattice work here. So you cut yourself um, six 
30 centimetre lengths so of... So you can. Can I just show that again? Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. So it's, so it's 6 30 centimetre lengths of 0 0.8 wire. Okay. Yeah. And what I've done is I've taped five of them together uh, about two inches away from the from the end. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, with the sixth one, I've bent it across okay. the other five wires um, at a right angle there. So what I'm going to do with that is take it around those other wires. <coughs> and with each sort of wrap you make, you press it flat. Okay. And I'm going to do that about four times. This makes it tight. It, this sort of holds yeah, the, the, the entire nice thing. Yeah, grip on it. Yeah, and it's, it's a good way of ending um, weaving like this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I want to have a go at making these now. Because you could do this with, you know, you could do it with big cabochons, you could do it with the, the, the gems that exactly. you've got in the kit, and it's just something really nice. It's a nice keepsake. Yeah. It does sound like a really nice gift, actually, wouldn't it? Like napkin ring holders, like as an anniversary gift yeah. or something like that. Something really I special. think you can actually do this weave with beads in between as well. <gasps> I mean, I've, I've done it. that before. I've actually, well, I've actually made a necklace on jewellery maker using yeah. that very technique. So wow, yeah. So it's um, right. So there's my wraps yeah. completed. So what I'm going to do is trim it at the back of the. Um, where's my cutters gone? There they are. I'm going to trim it to the back, mm -hmm. and then just flatten that down to finish. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do then is fan these wires out just a little bit. Oh, they're stuck together. There we are. Hmm. Okay. So always working from left to right. Uh, you take the left out to wire across the other five, and then you go over and under, mm -hmm. over and under. Okay. Like so. So there you are. There's your first sort mm -hmm. of weave and then you take that wire you bend it so that it comes next to the last okay. wire on the on the outer right hand side and you keep doing that with each outer mm -hmm. wire so that it goes over and under over and under and again Bend it so that it comes next to the last wire. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you that one more time. Yeah. Bend it across. And then take it over and under. Over and under. Mm -hmm. Oops, done it wrong the wrong one. So you can see that yeah, lattice yeah. work developing. Okay. And then bring it up there. So yeah. you... you Gradually widen that out, yeah. and then when you get halfway, you sort of gradually sort of yeah. taper it back down and finish it off in exactly the same way as I've done here. So what you end up with then is a piece about four and a half inches long, because when that's bent around, then it's it's going to become small enough then okay. to be uh, um, to become the um, napkin ring mm -hmm. holder. So with these then ends fan them out and just finish them off in spirals. Okay. I love spirals. I just think it's a lovely way of... They just look really pretty, don't they? Yeah. It's something that's it really easy to do and it's so effective. Exactly, yeah. I think it's just a nice way of finishing wires mm. off. Um, I mean, what you've got to keep in mind is this: these are all as I said before earlier on, these are cold connections. There's yeah. no soldering. Yeah. And so you've you've got to make whatever piece you do, you've got to finish it securely and yeah. neatly. Um, and th this is the perfect way of, of, of finishing off sort of any wire work piece. So just using it as decoration. Yeah, yeah. And um, particularly so with, with bangles or with napkin rings, it's mm -hmm. nice to have a little bit of decoration at the back of, um, of the piece as, as yeah. well. I think it's just a nice professional. Oh, definitely. We, we always look at the back. Yeah, uh, exactly. Of things, don't we? 
gorgeous. Yeah. Um, right, I'm going to let you carry on with that for a second. Um, Karen, I've got the Lazy Daisy. Do you know what? I haven't seen this. Six months, maybe. It's been a while, hasn't maybe it? Maybe even mm. more. It really is um, a phenomenal. Uh, for your Viking knit, this is where you do your Viking knit with your wire, which is, is so effective as well, isn't it? Um, you can go online and have a look at tutorials if you want to. Um, and have a look at the Viking knit online to see how to do that. But your draw plate is basically... Oh, hang on a minute. Is there something missing? Should I have there's something else with this? Just checking, love. Okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, so your draw plate here, basically what you will do is when you've done your Viking knit um, with... Um, your wire what you're going to do is you're going to uh, to make that smaller and to get that consistency of size throughout your design as well what you would do is wrap that with your cloth and you're going to pull it through the lazy daisy so you'd start with your, your bigger size there and you'd work down in size uh, so that you get that consistency because you know how sometimes with wire especially I've always had this trouble when I'm making designs if I was trying to do um, just like at the start, Karen, where you were trying to do that little wrap just at mm. the end here. I bent, because of the heat in your hands, you naturally bend the wire. You put kinks in the wire. I really have trouble with that. I can never get, <laughs> like, I can never get things straight. This is where that really helps you, because with your Viking knit, because you haven't necessarily always used a, a bigger gauge of wire, um, you're using a smaller gauge, it would be quite easy to distort that shape. This is where your draw plate really, really helps, because as you draw that through, you get the same, you're not touching it, so you're not putting any heat into the wire. You're going to get that consistency, that size, throughout the design so this is why this is so handy to have because that's always something I've every wire worker that I've ever worked with here at Joymaker I've always said I can't help but transfer that heat from my hands through to the design I get kinks in my wire everywhere it doesn't matter how hard I try I just can't get it straight yeah, it and this is why I love um the uh, the draw plate here as well because that really really helps you to keep that consistency through your Viking knit. At £7.95, that is such a valuable piece of kit for you to have at home. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com. There is some uh, instructions in there as well um, that come with this as well. So if you've never used it before, oh gosh, how do I use it? Have a look at the tutorial. You've got your instructions in there as well. It's going to take you down, uh, to tell you what size. It tells you on the draw plate as well what size that's going to achieve as you're pulling that through the draw plate. 0800 644 655 at £7.95. and ninety-five pence. V W Z E ninety-two. Well done. Right. I'm going to quickly squeeze in some more wire. Wire opportunities. Um, I've got the uh, how many meters? 50 metres more wow. of wire. We've had some incredible wire opportunities and I have to say the thicker gauges as well tonight, uh, which is brilliant. 0.8 millimetre gauge you've got here. 50 metres in total. Huge, huge opportunity for you there. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. Again, if you're brand new to wire work, come in and get your wire and do you know what? If you waste a metre trying to make a ring with this, because 0.8 would be really good for making rings, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. 0.8, a fantastic, fantastic gauge for you to have. It's going to give you that little bit of structure there. Rings, very, very popular pieces of jewellery. How much do you think you'd use in a ring, Oh, um, gosh, Karen? very little. Um, it depends on what style you're yeah. doing, but on average, no more than about... Um, um, you certainly wouldn't use more than a metre, put it that way. This, it would just be impossible. So. Yeah, yeah. And, as Karen room. says, it depends on the, the design that you make in. If you know that you're not going to use more than a metre in a ring, you could potentially make 50 rings with your 0.8 millimetre gauge. Something really, really popular. And let's face it, whatever medium you work in, you're probably going to need wire at some point in your jewellery making. When we're taking this amount of wire down to low, low prices, this is when you need to come in and take advantage. If you're brand new to us here at Jewellery Maker, Get yourself some wine now. As I said, you're probably going to need it at some point. If you're just starting off on your journey, stick with us. As you tune in every day and see different guest designers, we can teach you different techniques and you can learn and you can sit and watch at home and you can join in on all the fun every single day. £7.95 for you. Actually, Pete, £7.95. 
Uh, seven pounds and ninety-five pence. XUPO two zero, and that's your rose gold coloured wire there. Again, if you follow any designers on any of your social networking sites, have a look at uh, the coloured metals that are being used at the moment. Lots of designers mixing up their colour, so it might be that you want to mix up your rose gold and your purple. Anyone else just thought of chocolate again? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, twisting those together is going to look fab. Mixing your rose gold up with your gold or your silver is going to look fantastic as well. Experiment. You've got 50 metres of wire there. 800 655. If you just dial that number on the bottom of your screen, it puts you straight through to a call centre. Um, press your number one button, speak to call centre. If you're brand new, they'll take a few details from you, set your account up. It's so easy next time you dial in. It's great. So much fun. So much fun. And you'll be back. Yeah, you will. You will. <laughs> <laughs> right, Karen. Okay, so just to show you how to finish that off, I've come to the last yeah. spiral. And to, and to form your spirals, um, all you do is start off with a, a, a very basic loop by f um, pulling that around with your, your pliers, either your round nose or your chain nose. Then you're going to hold it halfway al along the, the little loop at the end there. And try and move your work rather than your pliers. There we okay. And that will just spiral around. I'm going to speed up now just to finish it off. There we go. So that's what you're finished with. And then all you do is just bend it around. Mm -hmm. And as you bend it, it... it becomes sort of less ropey looking because it, it can look a bit sort of, oh, I don't know, that, that haven't come out so well. Yeah. But as you bend it around and you sort of push that wire out, it sort of adjusts itself, yeah. as, it, as it were. And you're just going to have them. It, this is a perfect design for, for having that torque effect as well. Yeah, the, this, this, nice, this particular weave is perfect mm. for because it automatically does it. Yeah, uh, as you as you're doing it, it automatically does this sort of thing. So that's the base of your napkin ring. Excellent. So what I've done then is make a, a prong setting for okay. for the actual um, shell flower. So to do that, I've cut. It's, it's probably about 40 centimetres mm -hmm. of wire. Yeah. So what you want to do is measure about seven centimetres in from the end. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And bend your wire. Okay, at a right which angle. is that one? Sorry, Karen, did you say? Did I miss it? Um, 40 centimetres the wire. The seven, uh, oh, this is point 0.8 again. Point eight, yeah, eight, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so from the bend, then, you're yeah. measuring about... 17 millimeters along okay all right so it's about there and take your chain nose pliers and bend the wire back on itself yeah okay and then just use your pliers to sort of gently coax the wire together so that you've got a very short sharp bend as it's bent back on itself there using your fingers again bend that wire along so between each prong you'll want about um you'll want about 12 millimeters so if you measure that on your ruler and then just bend it upwards again do a, the same again you're gonna measure 17 millimeters along mm -hmm. and then bend it back on itself and then using your Chain those pliers to gently coax it in tight. So what you're going to you do five of those. Yeah. So what you end up with then is is this. Okay. So obviously it, you, it needs to sort of each of these prongs need to yeah. sort of sit between each petal of the flower. Okay. So you're going to gently sort of bring these around, and you can use your chain those pliers just to mm -hmm. sort of gently bend these around. And be very gently, you're just coaxing them around into a circle. Okay. Maybe a little bit. I tell you, those round nose pliers are really. Oh, is that a chain nose or round nose? These are the chain nose. They really help you know, you're out there, aren't they? If if um if you prefer to use round nose, by all yeah. means, use round nose. Um, f for me, I, I use my chain mm. nose pliers a That's lot. That's just it's really helping you to curve that wire. It, it isn't is, it? yeah, and it, it's just sort of gently, sort of. I'm not sort of gripping it yeah, and pulling yeah. it, I'm just gently coaxing it. Mm -hmm. 
So where the, the wires then cross over when you've made the circle, yeah. that's where it's naturally going to it's going to end so okay. you get your chain nose pliers yeah. in between the, the cross there and you just and you just press ah. and that brings your wire yeah. upwards like that so you've completed mm -hmm. your circle so what you do then you cut a, a 20 centimeter piece of wire and you just bend it round into a loop okay until you get a loop it's the right size. It's just sitting inside the previous mm -hmm. circle that you've made. You can sort of adjust this with your fingers. Yeah. Pull it around, adjust it, and you're probably mm -hmm. almost there now. You can see how I'm adjusting it to fit inside that other circle. Mm -hmm. And then when you're about, when you're pretty satisfied with the size that you've got there, yeah. do exactly the same again. There you go. Sitting inside your circle, mm -hmm. and cut some of the point four wire. Okay. So I'm going to say a prob probably about um, a metre or so, yeah. but as long as it's a comfortable length. So what you s what you'll see I've done as well is I've got one lot of tail ends yeah. going that side and one lot of tail ends going this side. So I'm going to start at this end. And yes, it is a bit of a juggling, um, juggling going on there to keep the wires together. But you get used to this as you, as you sort of become more um, used to playing with wire. Let's get my tools up the way because I'm catching them. And then you're gonna wrap around both of those okay. rings bring them together this will then keep it sturdy and yeah. uh, uh, because you won't be able because these are not sort of um, these prongs are not sort of solid they uh, any pulling is going to bring them apart so this helps to keep them together when you when you actually sort of fix it onto a another loop on okay. the inside this this is going to make it a solid yeah. ring then yeah. in order to make um, a setting mm. and to be fair those shells they're quite heavy aren't they, they? Are. so, so, you, they, so they you do need, need that support you you do yeah you do need the support yeah <laughs> I'm going to let you carry on with that for a second, yeah. uh, Karen, and I just want to bring you, if you're brand new and you're tuning in to Joymaker for the very first time today, there are certain tools, there are, are certain bits that you will need to get started. Um, I think I've got a great little selection here for you um, as a starter kit. This is fabulous. Um, now, you've got some wire here. You've got your copper wire, which is your 0.4 millimetre gauge. Oh, there we go. Uh, your 0.4 millimetre gauge, which is your uh, silver plated wire there. You've got 10 metres in total. So your 0.4, that's going to be great for any kind of weaving. So if you're doing any of your weaving, around gemstones it might be uh, around a charm whereby you can weave around and add gemstones as well um, this will come in really really useful for you so you've got 10 meters there you've got your round nose pliers here as well which are brilliant your round nose pliers in fact i'll take them out for you these are going to create curvature in your wife view if you are making um uh, eye pins or shepherd hooks or anything like that these are really really useful as you can see there you've got the curvature um, within your round nose pliers there. You can also, these are going to help you open and close jump rings. You can use the flatter side there of the, um, of the pliers to open and close jump rings as well. Comfort grip. Also regular uh, regular viewers here, uh, many of you will know already that lots of you as jewelry makers have more than one pair of pliers. In fact, some of you have like four or five pairs of the same pliers just because you want one for your craft room, one for your work bag, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, one in case you lose the others. Um, so again, regular viewers can come in and take advantage of this deal as well. So you've got your wire, you've got your round nose pliers, and you've got your gizmo tool here as well, which is fabulous. This can really create some attention to detail in your designs. Now, if you're unsure of what this is, if you've never seen it before just have a look at Karen's design here because Karen has used the gizmo uh, tool here so what she's done if you can I don't know if you can really see on that camera but can you see this is wire what do you know what gauge wire did you use 0.4 point point yeah. gauge wire the point yeah. 0.4 gauge wire so this is going to be perfect if you want this kind of effect um, this tool is going to give it to you and all you need to simply do 
is wrap it around that coil. It's really quick and really easy to do, but it's so effective. And it looks great if you're mixing up your different coloured metals as well. Uh, the warehouse are not going to be happy with me. It's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just take this out and I'll quickly show you how you can use this. So you've got different, sorry about the noise, uh, <laughs> different size rods in there. Oh my gosh. I'm not like this at Christmas. It normally takes me a couple of seconds. There we go. Right, so you've got different size rods in there as well. So that's going to give you different sized um, coils. So obviously this one's going to give you a much narrower coil and this one's going to give you a larger coil. So once you've gone around here with your wire, you pop that in there, pop your wire, anchor your wire on, and then you simply just twist that. And it's really quick and that coil is just going to build up along the rod there and then you can cut that off but then also once you've coiled it you can coil it again if you want to and again and again and again it's entirely up to you um, but get it home and have a go with this because you get some fantastic results just like um, this necklace that Karen made earlier on. So you're getting the gizmo tool, you're getting the pliers and you're getting 10 meters of your silver plated wire there as well. £12.85. OTGC26 is your code for this one. Isn't that a fantastic deal for those pieces? It was a fantastic deal. It's about to get even better <laughs> for you now. 0800 644 655. Pliers, wire, gizmo tool, 695. Now, if you have a look elsewhere at prices of pliers, you could be paying anything up to £15 for one pair of pliers. Elsewhere, I've seen them more. <laughs> Six ninety-five, and you're getting all of this. If that's not a reason to come in and start shopping, do you know what? How easy is it to start? It doesn't have to be expensive. Building your stash up, having these a uh, few pieces to get yourself started. You're going to love your jewellery making journey, you really are. Just dial the number on the bottom of your screen. Free telephone number so it's not costing you a single penny. 0800 644 655. You can join us on the web as well, jewellerymaker.com. Go onto the web, pop things in your basket, just make sure you're checking them out. One P and P all day long from midnight last night right through until midnight tonight. And it doesn't matter how many times you come in, whether it's on the phone lines or on the web, you can buy as many pieces as you like in that 24 hour period and you only ever have one postage and packaging. It's fantastic, isn't it? Well done if you managed to get that. Well a deal. Uh, right, Karen, how are you getting on? Yeah, fine. We're just yeah. coming up to finishing the wrapping in between the uh, prongs there. So we're, okay. we're, what we're actually doing is is um, binding the two, um, the, the inner loop and yeah. the um, outer one with the prongs. So we're binding them together and that's going to make a nice sturdy mm -hmm. setting. And take your time with it, don't rush yeah. like I did because uh, mine's not the tidiest that it could be in all honesty but um, um, I want to get you're in, you're get in pressure you. though, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. When you're at home, you can just take your time, can't yeah. you? You know, you can start I, carry I on. took a lot longer at home, I can yeah. assure you. <laughs> no worries. So it's just coming up to the end now. Okay. And that's just your point 0.4 wire there as well. This is the point 0.4 yeah. wire going around um, the point okay. 0.8 gauge. Yeah. I didn't use the um, point 0.6 at all. So, and I yeah, my calculations worked out that you would get um, you would get just about four napkin rings yeah. out of, out of um, that's these brilliant out of your your point 0.8 wire. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that, that, that's good that you can get four of them out of yeah. just that one reel. Um, and probably still have quite a bit of your point four left over actually. Wow. And snip those ends off. And that's your, there's your setting. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just pull those wires down because they're the bits that are going to, um, they're the bits that are going to yeah. attach to the. Okay. So what you want to do then is, is just check this where your prongs mm -hmm. are all like. You want them to sit in between those petals. Yeah. Have a look on the back. Make sure that you've got them properly in the right place. Um, and then what you're going to do is just get your chain nose pliers and just bend those prongs upward. 
keep hold of them so they're all in place. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then you're just going to gently fold them over. Mm -hmm. And gently do it. You don't yeah, want to yeah. be... Um, it's so easy to slip with your tools and damage, um, w you know, the flower or, or whatever. And you don't want to cause chips or anything. Yeah. And that is so secure, that, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. So That's secure, done. that setting. There we go. And then that just basically yeah. wraps around. I'm just going to open that up a yeah. little bit. That just wraps around the wire, the cuff rather. Just make sure that's in the right place. Okay. Then press that down. Yeah. Trim the ends. And that, as you said earlier on, Karen, that would make a great bracelet or cuff, wouldn't it? Yeah, it certainly would. Yeah. those ends yeah. back down. Now, if you look, I'm putting the ends, yeah, tucking them down, tucking them down behind the setting. I don't know if you can see that, Pete, on camera too. You see that? So we're just tucked right in between the gemstone and the back there. There we go. So you're just tucking them away and hiding what them. I'll show you the back of this one as well, actually, just so you can see how that's finished at the back. Very tidy. Not very successful on my second go, but we, we got there. We, we know what we're doing. Yeah. So there we are. There's your finished yeah. napkin ring. Wow. Ready to go. It's so good. I love that. I've got two now. <laughs> Romantic dinner for two. <laughs> um, they really are beautiful, beautiful designs. And do you know what? There's 20 still in baskets. Do you know? There's 20 of you with these in baskets. There's not 20 left. It's fastest oh fingers first. You've obviously put it in your basket because you love it. Do you know what? You might not get it. You might not get it. Make sure you're checking out your basket. You've got four, four of these beautiful showers. They're just stunning. Four of these. Who's that, Fleur? Fleur. Guest designer, Fleur. Check out your basket. You know the drill. You know how it works. Come on, love. Uh, $19.95, you've got four of your uh, beautiful shells. You've got all of that copper wire, 30 metres of copper wire, and we're at £19.95. Incredible. Incredible value. Um, right, Karen, thank you so much for that. You're, You're an welcome. absolute star. She deserves a rest, I tell you. She's been working <laughs> on the birdcage for 17 years. <laughs> Give me <this> me. <laughs> get, get yourself a bird. Let's have a bird to go in there. Right, let's try and squeeze in um, a few more deals for you. Smoky quartz. Oh, look at these. Beautiful. Have a look. Smoky quartz. Oh, look at these. Attent See, we were just talking about, you know, the carving on the, uh, on the uh, shells that we had there as well. The fact that we've done all the work for you. Look at these. We've done it again, team. Don't you love? Don't, I love things like this, especially with the shells that we've just had, because I'm not lazy, but I just like it <laughs> when when uh, you can take the credit for something you haven't done. You know, you know, if you're setting this into uh, again, perhaps you could claw prong set them as um, Karen's done with the shell over there into a ring. But you know, that carving, you just take all the credit. <laughs> Five individual gemstones. They are 25 by 14 millimeters in size. And you've got 70 carats in total. There's five individual gemstones there. So they are approximately uh, 50. They're probably just shy of about 12, 13, 13 carats each. They're huge. They're absolutely colossal. Beautiful smoky quartz with the cubes that you had earlier on. They'd look fantastic, wouldn't they? I'm just going to pop that onto the hands there. So you can see just one of those set into a ring. Beautiful. Oh, 0800 644. Look at that for a statement. Look. 0800 644 655. 24 pounds and 95 pence for you there. That works out to five pounds each, does it not? Yeah. Less than five pounds per gemstone for you there. For a 14 carat gemstone, 
That's phenomenal. Well done if you've already checked them out. BZDL94 is your code. 0800 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com this evening. Well done to all of you that have managed to check out some incredible deals tonight, I tell you. Okay, rose gold butterfly backs. Bought you the gold ones early on. I've got the rose gold colour for you now. Simple studs. You can't go wrong with these. You know, I was saying earlier on that they are, they're timeless. You know, any age you can wear these. If you're, if you're uh, you know, perhaps you've got a daughter or a niece that's not long had their ears pierced, you know, this is a fantastic, fantastic thing. Maybe you do want to get them into jewelry making as well, actually. This would be a great place to start, making just a simple pair of earrings, butterfly back. You've got your post on there as well. Simple studs. You could, if you wanted to, you could just snip that loop off the bottom if you wanted a simple stud. Um, or just give you the option there to attach your gemstones. You could attach gemstones, you could attach a chain to that if you wanted to. 50 pieces in total. 50 pieces, that's a lot of earrings, isn't it? UIJD85 is your code for these. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. You could just keep your, ta your tash, your stash <laughs> topped up, couldn't you? Keep your stash topped up, have them on your jewellery stall as well, have them on your craft stall. If anybody just, you know, pops along and says, do you know what, I'd love, do you have any amethyst earrings if you don't have any, quickly make a pair. You buy JD85 at £4.95 pence for you, 0800 4 that works out to... How much, why can I not do this maths? 50 pairs. See, Danny's just said, I thought, 10 pence, yeah, 10 pence. We even did it earlier, didn't we? Uh, 10 pence per pair for you there. Great introduction to jewelry making. Again, if you are brand new, how affordable is this? So affordable for you. Well done. Uh, Kim, well done. Anna, Ann, Kathy, collector in Surrey, Michelle in Shropshire, collector in Merseyside. H in Merseyside, Susan, Catherine, well done. Rachel, Amanda, Kate, Yvonne, you all there as well. If you haven't checked out your basket yet, you need to do it. Do you know what would look fabulous with this? Rose gold. See, for me, rose gold has to go with pinks and purples. Perfect complement. Now look, those pink opals and the rose gold coloured earring findings you've got there as well. You could just take a few opals, couldn't you? And have those, I don't know, maybe five dropping down. They're beautiful. Do you know how many of you have these in your baskets? 67 people have the opal in their baskets. They're six pounds and 95 pence. Natural pink opal. Natural, over 200 of them went and there's 67 still in baskets. You're not gonna do it unless you complete your check counts. Of EU, are you 56, 40 carats? 40 carats and I've got to be completely honest 6.95 that is not a price tag I was expecting to see for this strand of opal and you know what we've got a flurry of people coming in again now uh, collected in Somerset Margaret Philip Sylvia Dawn Jenny collected in Essex collected in Greater London Alison Tamsin Rita collected in Bedfordshire collected in Conway you're there as well congratulations to you 0800 655 you can still do it this is this is second chance isn't it Fabulous, fabulous deal you've got there. Um, the shells that we took down earlier on. No, sorry, the pearls, the pearls, the pearls, the pearls. <laughs> Have a look at these. These are pretty. What price tag do we take these down to? Oh, my. £9.95. Again, I'm going to bring the pink opals back because they do look great together. How girly a design would that be? beautiful all the way down to just nine pounds and 95 pence we went to on these pearls do you know what you could get your money back on one of those wire wrapped into a ring couldn't you easy peasy oh 800 644 655 xsgp 74 is your code 15 by 10 millimeters in size and you had two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight twenty nine Approximately 29 at 9.95. Fantastic. Um, massive congratulations to all of you that have been successful this evening. You've had some incredible, incredible treats. As I say again, anything in your basket 
you've got to get checking out because it will disappear from your basket if you don't. Telephone bidders, they're hot on their heels. Uh, Karen, when are you back again? Do you know, love? Um, it's not next Tuesday, it's the following Tuesday. So wow. every Tuesday, yeah. Oh, not too like long that. to wait then. No, no. Oh, They'll be sick of seeing me lately, that's all they've seen. <laughs> Um, do you know, is it a morning show, a mere delight, do you um, know? Oh gosh, I can't remember. Um, no worries. I got the feeling it might be a morning show, yeah. but I'll double check and right. post it on Facebook anyway. Um, yes, Karen is very good with her Facebook, so do check her Facebook page as well. And of course, Joy Maker's Facebook page, but your schedules will update you there. Um, I will be back with you on Monday. Monday on The Late Show. Whatever you're doing for the rest of your weekend, have a great weekend, have a safe weekend, and I shall see you Monday. Take care, good night, good bless. Right, okay, fantastic. Uh, right, okay. Alison, we're going to see your demo being carried on. I've got a few of the leather tools to bring you.